Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the fantastic bug snacks. This one's PS only game has arrived on Xbox and thanks to developers and publishers Young Horses, it's also currently available on Xbox Game Pass if you have it for free. So to put it simply, we are a journalist who gets sent a video and we go on a mystery, mysterious adventure to find a woman creature named Elizabeth the Hunkle Fig, or whatever the hell her name is. Uh, it's a weird one, but it's a simple story, but it does get a lot more interesting as the time goes on. Now this was a bit of a doozy of a pickle of a bollock head to put together, purely in terms of achievements and a particular order, so you're not having to do that much backtracking. So I'll quickly break it down. We're going to be doing the literally the majority, like 98% of the main quest first. We also have to catch 100 unique bug snacks throughout the game, so we'll be grabbing some as we go along too. After the main quest, we will be doing everyone's side quests. Now, that is very important for an achievement, basically the end of the game, or end of the main story. After that, we're going to finish the game, do most of the miscellaneous achievements before finishing up with mailbox requests and catching the rest of the pug snacks. Sounds easy, but boy oh boy is there a lot to do. Luckily, it's all fun on the burn, so it'll be an enjoyable experience, hopefully. So, as we begin, you're looking at around 15 to 20 hours, maybe potentially between 10 to 15 um, roughly about, the hours are all a bit of a guesstimate, but we're looking at around sort of 10 to 20 hours anyway, and with that being said then, let us begin, and we begin with a cutscene, like the majority of games, so these cutscenes are unskippable, we're going, oh hey, wow, well, that's a cool little island, and then like a flying pizza, yes, literally a flying pizza is going to come at us and smack us down, om nom, oh, we didn't even get to om nom, you son of a nom nom. So, as we begin, move the right stick to look around, the left stick to move, obviously, the A button to jump, ignoring the Minecraft headed spider, press the B button to crouch down, and there we go, that's the end of the game, congratulations, 5,000 game score are yours. Uh, no, uh, this is obviously just a very linear path for now, so just keep keep going there is going to be again a c good couple of minute cutscene as well that we won't be able to skip so just go through all the trees and enjoy the scenes of life hmm although then again if that's been flying up in the air that's probably uh, staler than morning breath so maybe not are we rolling <clears throat> greetings I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures, and she's a real charmer. <laughs> Egabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snacktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ouch. Good effort, Philbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumpfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, if you truly recognize your talent, you are just the grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to see. All right, so she's an Aussie, which is cool. She's got bigger teeth than those that live in Britain. Yes, even though British people don't really have bad teeth, for some reason that's an ongoing joke with Americans. I don't know why. But anyway, when that begins, just press X to talk to Columbia right here. And again, we can skip all the... Um, dialogue just by smashing through the A button, which we will be doing a lot through the game. We'll just be smashing the A button. Again, there is a lot of interesting dialogue, but just for the purpose of the video, we're going to be smashing through it. 
and C. Clumby Clumber Nut. Um, if you want it, you don't have to um, talk to her at all. Literally, we can just speak to someone and choose the option with the exclamation mark there just to get us going. But C. Clumby Clumber Nut, I thought spelt or said something else entirely, which we uh, <laughs> won't say because I'm trying to swear less. Because swearing's naughty. Right, so we're going to press B to stand up. And if you want to. Uh, never mind, we're not going to sprint. Here is Philbo. Um, Philbo Baggins, he does say his name, no. Again, just choose the option with the dialogue, uh, with the um, exclamation points, sorry there, just make, just get through this as quick as we can. So basically, Philbo, he's, he's a hungry mayor, he's pretty useless, but he's all good. So, click in the right stick, and then press the right trigger to scan. That will, basically, later on we'll get a diary, um, where we scan all bug snacks and all things, and it'll just come up in there. But after we scan the Strabby, which is literally just a walking strawberry. So Mayor Philbo Baggins is going to give us the snack trap. So press the left bumper, use the right stick to move over to the snack trap. And then what you can do is press the right trigger. As you can see, the little purple arrows on the floor, that's basically um, the Strabby's place where he starts walking. So wait till he comes out, open it up, wait till he comes out. As soon as he goes in, right trigger it. Press X to pick it up, and that is how you catch bug snacks. So that is our first one. Um, and then press the white button next to Philbo Baggins. So we are going to, as we get an achievement, of course, you will get that as well. Press the white button there next to Philbo Baggins. And then press A on the Strabby to feed him. And then, as you can see, his arms turns into strawberries. Now, a lot later on, we need to get all characters... Um, basically to change their whole bodies with bug snacks. But again, let's not worry about that for now. For now, we're going to grab another missable achievement. So if we turn around directly a 360 from where Philbo Baggins was, go into the left side waterfall, and we are already going to get to a second achievement. So flying high in the sky within 10 minutes. Only another sort of uh, 8 hours to go-ish. So, two achievements done already. So we just have to catch three bug snacks. So, let's... This is all tutorial, all a bit of practicing. So, left bumper, right stick on the snack trap, right trigger to place it down, walk away so that the strabby will come out of the bush, and then when normally it'll have like a little um like a little buzz and you'll see on your little pocket wash thing, it'll light up right like now. Then you can press the right trigger to activate it. Press the X button, that gets us another strabby. Now remember we have to catch 100 unique bug snacks. So you know, um, it's up to you. You can either just follow along with what I do with the video, or you can go off and catch them on your own later on. But all 100 are in, will be in here with timestamps anyway. So, go back behind the waterfall. Ignore the flying dudes for now. Um, this is basically the first area of the game. It's a very easy one. We are going to catch this Rootle, which is that what that is called. So, if you press in the... Also, by the way, some of your olives, your lolives, can um, <laughs> get your thing. So, if you press left bumper there, as you can see, press right bumper on the snack trap, basically, to re retrieve it back. So, again, if you uh, press your right stick in, then the right trigger, that will take a picture of the bug snacks. It'll also show, like I said, the location where they're sort of walking, like with the little purple arrows on the floor from earlier. Yes, so that is definitely that will definitely come in handy for some of the bug snacks a little later on. Now you don't actually have to go back to Philbo and feed them to him one at a time. Basically, in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see little, basically the little circles, as you can see. Well, at the moment they're behind the Welsh Hunter sign, but the little circles basically allow you to. That's basically how many bug snacks you can have in your inventory at one time. So, going behind the waterfall and back up there, you can see another strabby. So, place... You have to be careful. Wait for this green lolive, is what they're called. Those flying douchebag ball sacks. Wait for him to bagger off. Again, if you need your snack trap or anything back, just press the left bumper and then the right bumper when you uh, are on it to retrieve it. Otherwise, we can just catch this wild strabby, and that will be all three out of three for this one. Now we can go back to Philbo and feed him. So yes, you can catch... First of all, you can catch up to six in um, bug snacks and leave them in your inventory. There is a way that we can upgrade our inventory later on, um, and that is for with donations with the farm which I highly advise doing as we go through the game, but I'll come to that a little bit later on. So, speak to all Philbo Baggins for two seconds, or a few seconds, and then just give him a little follow-follow. 
I'm following a purple monster with a, with a weird tiny little quiff. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. I'm supposed to take you. I don't know where, but who knows? I'm ready to go. All right. Through here. Yeah. Wimbus. <laughs> You're still alive. Nope. <laughs> They're also pretty good at hunting bug snack. That's not. Don't you want. No. I got my paws full with my ketchup. Without Lisbeth around to catch. Uh. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. No, no, but, uh. Maybe you could start another. I don't quit. Now kindly leave. And take. Bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger. <laughs> Whoa! Darn well, goddamn, dude! That is a burger with French fries coming out of his nostrils with an underpants on his head, but he just whacked him hard. So anyway, he gives us a sauce slinger. Now, what we could do, you'll see these flowers. They will basically have lots on them through the game. Ketchup, chocolate, cheese, uh, lots as we come through the game. Press the left bumper to go into your inventory. Go down to get the sauce slinger out. And then eventually later on you'll be able to press D-pad to go on to something else. Um, aim with the right trigger and then you can just... Well, that's pretty much it. Aim with the right trigger, put it where you want it to. Sometimes to lure him in you'll have to put it closer to the bug snack so we can actually start looking for it, as you can see. Um, I did actually try catching him here, but it didn't work, so... Yeah, it just didn't work at all, so there's pretty much no point trying to catch him. But that is how we lure a lot of bug snacks through the game. You have to put a bit of sauce by them, they go yum yum, and then, you know, you just keep leading them away, etc, etc. So, speak to Wambus again. Basically, this looks like the cast of Sesame Street, if they were all high off, uh, you know, red sauce and stuff. Uh, just, again, just trying to catch him, doesn't work. So, again, remember, left bumper and then right bumper if you want your uh, particular thing back in your inventory your trap or whatever so speak to old bag bags again i'm sorry stranger i didn't i know farming would be easy well i'll be cold and buried but let's start with the frighter and now we'll be doing more tutorially catchery stuff so this is garden groves which will come in handy incredibly much later on for specific catchings etc etc so if we just head past this bush down the stream to the left you can see this cave we need to catch a frider which is a spider that has fries on it it's yeah pretty catchy this is like the new pokemon games pretty much so put your snap track to, snack trap down get some ketchup anywhere sort of on your snack trap doesn't matter where he's gonna start coming down what you have to do is go back to your snack trap and then press the right trigger to activate it so it doesn't do it automatically so again later on when we have to catch a few particularly tricky bug snacks remember if you want to lure them you have to go back to your snack trap to activate it now every time we see these flowers make sure to be grabbing some of these because you can only hold up to 20 of these in your inventory there's not a lot of times that you run out through the game because we don't really use it an awful lot as it were but it's always worth keeping yourself stocked up I mean we are like a bear or something so again I don't know where you're gonna be sticking all this ketchup and crap but uh, man that underpants burger head has uh, some serious strength on it right so grabbing all these ketchups and then we are pretty much done with this little bit So go back to Wambus he's gonna give us a new quest right. yeah. Although it does beg the question, before we came along, what the hell were they doing? They were starving to death. Can't even catch a bloody frider. You put red sauce down on the ground and eat it. Jack. Anyway, now we have to catch two shishka bugs. Now, you have to do this the supposedly the proper way first, but there's an easier way to do it later on when we get more stuff in our big inventory, when we get more weapons. So, you see this bush that's moving? That's got a shishka bug in it. What you need to do is place your snack trap down, get your sauce slinger out, put ketchup on it so the bunga will hit it, Go back onto your snack trap, as you can see, and then the shishka bug is going to go straight into it. Kablam! So, you got, obviously, you get 10 to 15 seconds to usually grab what you can. Uh, but it's pretty much as easy as that. Now, again, you don't have to keep going back to people to feed them one at a time. You can catch as many as you want first before heading back. So, the weird Sesame Street, if they were high on red sauce and ketchup, 
people, we are going to grab another one. So again, it's just the same thing. So where the sort of path leads down from the bush, put the snack trap down, whap out some tomato ketchup, stick that on. You'll obviously have to lure the bunga over here this time. So put some, um, aim some red sauce right over and you should be good now. Get into your snack trap, activate that, kabrano! Sheesh cutting bug. So I'm telling you, this is the, this is basically what everyone who develops Pokemon does these days. They just go, right, we, we don't know, we're not sure what to grab anymore. Well, we don't know what to name stuff. We'll just name every, everyday household, household items. But obviously they've gone nuts this time and gone with everything's just food in the game. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So now we have to catch one Bunga Bunga. Now, they will not be <laughs> fooled to get into your snack trap. In fact, they'll just smash that away. But what happens is, um, when bug snacks are vulnerable, i.e. they get stunned by walking into something, they will <laughs> we'll just grab another shishka bug for some reason, uh, by pressing the X button there with the net. But when they stun themselves, they stun themselves for a couple of seconds. So what you have to do is put ketchup this time on one bunga, and then lead the other bunga to it, and then hiya, skablam! And that is how you knock that one out. Press the X button there to use your net, and that is how we get the third, fourth. I've already forgotten how many bug snacks we've got, but that is how you would normally grab a bunga anyway. Now there is a weapon we grab called the trip shot a lot later on in the game, which is just is one of the better weapons in the game for catching stuff. So, feed Wambus the Bunga Bunga, turn his arm into a curly fry. Starting to feel like Homer Simpson right now. Ah, the land of fries and burgers. Wow, chocolate. Half price. You hold on, I got this. There we go. Y'all just get along. Hey there, um... Like, oh my god, is this squeeb really... I'm not a squeeb! It says right here on my snack scope, skills, none. It says that because you wrote that in your... It also says... I... Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! Ah, Befica the Biatch calls him a squeeb. <laughs> squeeb! That, that's funny, but... Buddy, with a nose like that, you're in no position to be calling anyone a squeeb. You've literally got... <laughs> You've literally got gonorrhea and thrush on your nose. Still, anyway, we're going to speak to Befica. Um, she's going to become our bestie, which... Okay, if I'm getting paid for it, then awesome. If not, I don't care. So, we need to pick up the journal. So, in her cave behind her, just go in the cave behind her, like I just said. Um, now, she loves wieners, apparently, as you could just see, the uh, wiener on the wall. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> who doesn't love a good wiener between the between their buns, huh? So, uh, we're just going to um, teabag Befica's bed. Make sure to get all your juiciness on there. And there we go. So when she goes to sleep on a pillow next, she's got all your juicy squeeb juice on it. Pick up the be uh, journal anyway and then <laughs> give it to Befica. So, press the select. I still call it the select button. Now this is, you can just see a whole bunch of things here. So the bugopedia on the left is where we'll be seeing how many we've caught. Um, go to the left, this is basically for all the characters that we grab later on. Clues and leads, again, we don't really, we're not gonna be really using this much until a lot later on anyway. The snack pack just um, just shows you what bug snacks you've actually got in your inventory. The quests, uh, and it's obviously always worth, if you want to pin a particular quest, just press the X button, um, otherwise it's not too bad. Again, I don't really use it throughout the game, Obviously, you're more than welcome to. Um, the map is over there, if you just press the right bumper again. So, again, obviously, left bumper and right bumper. And we've got a list of tools, which we never really look at as well. Now, there is one particular bug snacks we need to catch when it's only specifically raining. So, if you go on your map, it'll tell you when it's going to be raining next. So, but again, we're just get, getting a little couple of hours ahead of ourselves here. So, we'll just wait to come back. So, after you do Befica's quest... Speak to Philbo Bag Dogs and get your bum snatch in there. Now, as you can see as well, on the bottom left-hand corner, just above the inventory, you can probably see the time. 
Now, what we can actually do, if we're at a particularly different time and you needed to catch one particular bug snack, so you have to do something for a quest, you can literally sleep till 5 a.m., noon, 5 p.m., or midnight. So you don't have to wait around too long, which is always nice. Go on and feel about Bog Bag, follow him, and we're going to get the Gone Home achievement. And we're going to do some interviewing since we are a journalist. Luckily, we're not part of the scum slash sun journalist. Otherwise, we would have made up a false story and, you know, just basically been suckish as hell. I'm sorry. So, now we can press... I went a bit quick there on the dialogue option, but basically, every time... So, the, the majority of the story is... Uh, we just quickly... Again, just smash through the A button, go through all the questions with Mayor Philbo Baggins right here. You don't have to do anything else, but let me just quickly see what we're doing then. So, we need to grab all 11 grumpuses, is what these weird creature Sesame Street, if they're high on cookie juice, is called. We need to get all 11, basically do all uh, their little main quests, there's only about 3 or 4. Get them all to the island, this sort of main hub area, snack to, um, Snacksburg, I think this one's called. And then... That's basically it. So that's basically all we have to do for the main one. Plus, we have to interview them later on. So, again, that uh, becomes an achievement. So, um, yeah, that's what we have to do. Do all the main quests, interview them, and go from there. But the, so that is the main majority of the, the main sort of story that we have to do. Right, so we've already got our first one then. We do have Wambus as well, but we're not going to interview him just yet. I'm pretty much certain that I actually forgot. So we are going to go ahead and grab Grumble. Now, only three things are open for us. Um, so, you can either go back to Befika and do her main quest, or we can just turn to the left from where we were talking with Philbo, go to Simmering Springs, which is the beach, which is a nice little beach, and do some stuff for Big Grambog. Grambog, the Big Gramble Dog. Uh, hello. Now, this little fluffy, this little creature is called Floofty. And we don't actually have to give a crap about this bucktooth nerd. Bucktooth nerd! Until a bit later on, so nay no panicking. This is the snack -tivator. Feed me Strabby. Poke snack -tivator. Hey, you son of a. I wanted to eat that goddamn strawberry. So we have to turn Floofty, but we don't know his name yet, sorry. We, uh, he's called the Mystery Grumpus. So we've fed him. Right, nice. So you see these flowers? These are full of chocolate. Now this is the main area where you can get them until Wambus gets his farm going a bit later on. But again, we'll come back to that more later on. So what you can do is press left or right on the D-pad when you get your sauce slinger out to choose between ketchup and chocolate. Um, and then other stuff a bit later on. So, well, let's just worry about the now, is it? So going down to the right here, you're going to see Wiggle, who's another one of the main grumpuses. She basically wants to sit on Gramble's face. Gramble's not very interested because that voice is oh so makes you want to rip your own ears off and shove them up a pig's bum snacks. Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like... A date? Of course, singing the night away. No! Uh, sorry. So no to all the- Ugh. Oh, calm down, little ones. Who are you? If you're looking for bug snacks, you best- Well, that's a relief. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snack- I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm- so, after we speak to the Gram Dog, he's basically one of those that doesn't eat bug snacks, or don't know what he actually eats, to be so, well, looking as head as big as that. So, 
um, this is going to be our next weapon of choice. He's basically going to give us actually after we get it out of him. But of course, we've got to do it first. So, again, just like in every video game, we've got to do everyone's quests for them because they're lazy as schnit. Right, left bumper, go into your uh, buggy ball, and then we are able to guide it with using and holding the right triggers. So, very easy linear path. You just have to put him th up the ramp through this hole. Keep going over these little bouncy boys. The bouncy logs of life. Up the ramp here. We need to go down the next ramp. Underneath the bridge. Over the pole, Prince. And to the finish. So for some reason, what took us 30 seconds was taking Gramble about a thousand billion kajillion years. Guide him over to Big Gramble. Press the X button to pick him up. And then we can talk to him. Hooray! Sprout loves adventure. Anyway, I'm missing my three. Please find... So, what we need to do for Gramble is catch a couple of lost peel bugs. Now, what I do first, or what, what I originally planned to do was catch all of the miscellaneous bug snacks on the island that we can, and then do the main quest. I do it now, but I, I end up not doing it, purely because just by doing the main quest and the side quests, we end up catching over three quarters of the bug snacks anyway. So, there's really no need... Um, to go all out, trying to catch every single one, and then, you know, going back to it later on. Um, you, literally, just through main quest and side quest, we end up catching over, like, literally over 75% of them. So, for now, after this one, we just we just crack on with the main quest. Now and again, we will grab one uh, bug snacks, miscellaneous one, if it's there. But if not, don't panic your bums about it. So, for now, though... We are going to grab a few things. First of all, we're going to grab this Queeble. Again, like like I said, if you take a picture of them, it will show their path and location, which way they walk in. A lot of these easy small ones, you can just put a snack trap down and whatnot, but others you have to use specific, weirder ways. So, we grab a Queeble right there. Queeble, which is basically just a Kiwi with a beak in it. That is called a Crapple. Crapple? I've been calling a Crandall. Which we cannot catch. Um, he, he does have a particular path. Um, although you can put chocolate. Dude loves a bit of chocolate. Get your snack trap out. And you can grab it like that. So apparently, yes, we can. <laughs> so we can get a... I'd be calling her a Crandall. Uh, the old crapple, which is just hilarious. And now we're going to get the first peel bug. Now, the first one is in this log. Which is just close to where we came down from Gramble's bit. And then you need to put the buggy ball into the other side. And you have to be quick. So guide the ball in. Then go immediately to your snack trap. As soon as the peel bug comes out, press the right trigger on it. And then press the X button. That is going to get you the orange peel bug. Now there are another two around here that we need to grab. So we need to panic in once again. So let's go over to the next area. Now I actually get the... There's a miscellaneous achievement for, as we can uh, see the Rasby, we are going to be catching the Rasby next. But there's an achievement for catching two snack traps, uh, two bug snacks in one snack trap. Um, there's loads of opportunities you could do it here, but I actually, actually, I actually end up getting quite lucky with this one. But again, I'll show you um, an easier way as well to get it later on, so don't panic. As we grab this Rasby first. So, right, we've grabbed that. We are just looking once again for his peel bug. Again, keep... see If you see some flowers, remember to keep topping up right there. Because what had happened was... Um, a queeble. I scared a queeble that went into a log. The same log as the orange peel bug. Um, so, <laughs> that's why I get lucky with that one. As you can see. So, there's the orange peel bug. So, we put the snack trap down. Again, doing the same method. Put the ball down. Guide him in. And then... Press uh, the right trio when you go into your snack trap. I end up actually missing it. So as you can see, the Queeble and the Orange Peel Bug are <laughs> just about to go into the same log right here. So again, I do get lucky with this one. But remember the second area that we went to where we had to catch the Frider and the Bunga? That is where we. Uh, that is where I'm going to show you where we get this uh, Double Trapper achievement later on. So don't worry if you don't get it now. But otherwise... Put the buggy ball down, put the snack trap down, put him in. Again, press right trigger on your inventory and pick them both up. 
if you run out of room, don't worry, because we don't actually need them for anything specific. You can just release them into the wild. Um, sometimes it's worth keeping specific ones for main quests, etc. Because some, sometimes they want to be fed particular items and stuff like that. So, um, But things like Queebles and stuff like that, we don't really need. So, as you can see, I just got the Double Trapper achievement again. Don't worry, we'll be doing going back to Garden Grove with the two... Because uh, there'll be two Friders on the cave roof. So again, don't worry if you don't get it yet. We'll grab that later on. Which I've said about 20 billion times right now. So, when we grab the second peel bug, finally, we can go basically back to where Gramble is... On the other side of the beach. Uh, there's the two. Now the third one. If we turn directly around from where Gramby Dog is. You can see there's the whole. And there's a big sign with a bunch of oranges on it as well. So this one is a little bit uh, different. You can go into your uh, inventory release. Uh, just release some bug snacks if you want. But. Obviously, it'll always tell you that you can anyway. So, two holes, put the snack trap down on one, put the buggy ball down on one, guide him in, then immediately go into your snack trap and just wait for the orange peeler bug to come out as soon as he's out. Pick him up, and that's the third out of three all done. So, go and give him to the grab dog, you lazy son of a bear. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, chunky head. Oh, right, okay. So, now we're going to get your bloody quibbles. And we have to do it without trapping them as well. Now, one other thing that I should mention. If you end up catching um, some bug snacks, they won't appear until you go to sleep. So, if you go... So, basically, if you've if you've caught one... So, say we've caught a couple of quibbles. We've caught a couple of orange peel bugs, etc, etc. But if you go and sleep on Gramble's bed, um, as we go to the opposite end of the beach, there is one quibble. So, obviously, what we need to do is just put a snack trap out, wait for him to come out and grab him there. But, yeah, if you've already caught a bug snacks and you need that particular bug to come back, go to a bed, which, if you want a bu uh, bed in this area, there is one uh, where Gramble is. There's just his little hammock bed. Um, just sleep till whatever time, 5, noon, midnight, whatever. But that bug snacks will appear after you've gone to sleep. And that's the only way they'll appear. So if you go out of an area and come back in, that doesn't matter. It won't count. Um, you actually have to go to sleep in order for the other bug snacks to appear again. So what we have to do, remember we have to get this Queeble to gramble without trapping them. So get your buggy ball out, put chocolate on it, and then we're able to guide it. So you have to be quite sort of um, tactical with it. Not too fast, but not too slow either that the Queeble will smash that up with his big chunky fat nose. Do, 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 do. So make so let's just um, guide it all the way back until we get to Gramble. Again, if he starts walking the other way, just put the chocolate ball over to him and he'll... Well, you know, you know the trick. Then he'll start coming back and then... Ta-da! da boom Right, so there's the second one. So again, because we caught a Queeble earlier on, if you're needing another one to return, one will return on the beach, but just take a little nap till whatever time you fancy. I always go with noon, just because it's the brightest in the day, etc, etc. Otherwise, we's all good. So if we go back to the sort of first part of the beach, the Queeble will start coming out. There he is. So just do the same thing. This time can be a bit more annoying because there will be a crapple that will come after him uh will come after the chocolate ball there will also be the pinantulas as well um so just keep at it just keep trying to lure him away don't you can't catch the pinantula just yet anyway so you just have to keep getting him up this ramp and he will eventually get there <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
Let go of my chocolate salty balls. Let go of my chocolate salty balls. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put them in your mouth and suck them and suck them. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, Quibo, follow this smelly chocolate salty ball. It's all for you, you little kiwi head. Hey, there we go. So we've got that one then. Finally. Stupid kiwis. Right. Speak to Gramble. We're all good. He will now head back to the ranch. Like I said, this is what we'll be doing with the lot. Cup three or four, three or four main quests. They bagger off. And that is job done. Right, so what we can do now is basically just go back to Snacksburg and see what Befica wants. Now, I didn't know this. I didn't realize this until the end of the game. But basically, if you go into your map, you can actually fast travel to a, lo to a location. I'm not sure if you can do it this early, but since the option's already there, you pretty much can. So, instead of following me, what you can do, I'll just tell you where we're going, and then you can just fast travel there. So, press select to open up your map, go onto your map, and then just press the location that you want to fast travel to, and that will save a hell of a lot more time than doing what I'm doing and walking to each place. Um, so, if you want to, we can... In fact, we're going to interview Gramble first. So it's always worth coming back here anyway. We're going to interview Gramble. Smash through the A button there to slap the dialogue down some, boy! Uh, Gramble giggle funny. I heard Lizbert was... I did, but... Well, they're just the ki... I don't understand how any... Uh, um... Without Liz to... I... The next night, I panicked, and I let me. If she really likes Lizbert, sometimes she. I liked. Sometimes. Well, I know it's wrong, but I like to make love to my bug snacks. They tickle my pickle like no other wriggle. Anyway, after the interview with Gramble, whatever the hell I was just on about, after the interview with Gramble, he's going to give us a key. A diary key. Now, every time we interview a lot of these people, they're going to give us certain items for stuff. So that is why we interview these Grumpuses basically as soon as they go back to uh, Snacksburg. Because they will give us items for achievements and for main quest keys. Even if we don't t um, mess around with it until later on. So, now we are done with this area. Here is Wambus's farm. Now, he will always have ketchup, chocolate... Basically, the more you progress through the game, he will have the stuff there. So, you can just pick that every time you go down if you need some. But, give Wambus the old interview anyway. To start... Like I can afford it. Oh, uh, what do I think about... It? Well, they ain't... And you have to eat them raw, or they turn... Well... When Lisbert vanished, I knew we need though we would have been <sighs> that would Philbo needs to shut his grump <sighs> Well uh... Oh that's the town doctor. You know, I, I couldn't say dangerous work. Seems like a waste of your time. Here. With that big I got got no doubt no tank now, Wampus man. Why he gonna give us some uh, strange notes about a device, about a strange device now now man. In which he does after the interview. So again that is for basically the last main quest. We'll come to that again a bit later on. So every time we go to a new area, he plants a new flower, so make sure to grab and try and maximize everything that you can out. So we've got basically max ketchup, max chocolate before going back up on ourselves and going to the second area, which is Garden Grove. We're going to start doing Befica's quest again. Remember, I'm pretty sure you can fast travel, so if you go into your maps, press A to fast travel to the location. That'll save a li little bit more time than <laughs> just walking everywhere. So, Befica is basically the gossipy, annoying kind of wiener girl. Um, uh, which, again, we, we'll see. But what she wants us to do is basically take pictures of everything. So, we've got the bunga, we've got the sweetie fly, which is the fly flying in the flying ozone layer. Um, the bush, which is not a bug snack, so don't bother taking a picture of the bush. <laughs> I mean, 
you can if you want. Uh, you can take a picture of my bush. It's <laughs> trimmed to perfection. But let's not go on about that. Right. Um, go over the bridge and then back up to where we've sort of seen uh, Wambus for the first time. There is Befika's favourite thing, which is the weenie worm. So basically, Befika loves the wiener. Well, don't we all? I mean, I'm not a particular fan of the wiener, but it's another story. I do end up catching him as well. We will need him for the next quest for Befika. So all you got to do is get some ketchup on that boy and catch that weenie worm. And of course, that will add as a new snack in our bug snacks inventory. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we can take a picture of the white strabby now. So that is obviously a strawberry that has gone off. It's pretty moldy. Um, <laughs> it's been left underneath your settee for a couple of uh, months. But we're going to catch this boy as well. Again, this is what I mean. Little easy ones like this, we will just capture just to get it out of the way. Uh, but the more sort of complicated ones, we won't bother doing until the very end of the game. Uh, so, you know, don't be, you know, don't go too nuts on trying to catch one if you can't yet. But that should be scanning six types of bug snacks. And we've just caught the weenie worm and the moldy strawberry. Again, grab some ketchup if so desiring. Um, so what do we just take a picture of? The strabby, the white strabby, the shishka bug, the bunga, the sweetie fly, the frider. Oh, you can take a picture of the frider if needed. And the weenie worm. But we can go back to Befiga and we're all good. You've got to wait, but enough about you. I want you to use... So this is the one we need then. We need to scope out and catch Befika's big favorite bug snack, which we already did. We also need to find out which one that is. Now, of course, remember... It is our little old weenie friend. Um, and the way you do that then is go into her cave. And as you can see, she's put a picture of her favorite wiener. Hey, it looks, <laughs> looks a lot like mine. Except mine is a lot, 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 lot smaller than that. The, the hot dogs, you know, hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's feed her the weenie worm. Don't know why I just pick a, took a picture of Beth's, Beth's diary. And you can stick her wiener on her foot. So that is, uh, well, that's, well, that's furry foot fetish stuff. And I know a lot of people out there who have just gone mm -hmm, at the thought of <laughs> furries with foot fetishes. A lot of weird people out there. Right, so what we can do now, this basically is telling us we can, um, uh, at how to advance time. And that is, like I explained earlier, you just sleep on a bed. We need to go to midnight and go back to Snacksburg. So go back past Befica. And we need to see what Wambus is doing between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. So, uh, all right, thanks, Philbo Baggins. We don't need you, you big dill. Thanks very much, Phil. So as long as we get to Wambus' house before 1 a.m., so go onto the farm, and then directly in front of him is his house. So just stand right here until the dialogue goes nuts for a minute. And God damn, what the hell's going on with you, Wambus? You've lost your mind, boy. It's all that eat. Oh, crap, Run! Wambus just caught us doing stuff to a cactus. Jesus. What were you doing with that cactus, Wambus? And how come you're not... Pr how come things are not prickly? Ugh. Anyway, so... When we've done that, we can go back to Garden Grove. Again, fast travel if you'd prefer. To make things a little bit quicker. Otherwise, we can just go back to Befika. And he's basically... Well... I mean, he's... I wonder why his two fingers in his... His own weenus is prickly. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, he's got a little cactus wife. Right, go into Beth's cave when we are done here. Interact with her diary to get the Perf Dirt achievement. So, we pick up a diary, but it is fake. But we get the Perf Dirt achievement, like I said, anyway. So, you can only grab that one after you do Befika's main quests, which, of course, we just did. After seeing um, <laughs> the cactus lady and the weird farmer ketchup man. So, when we go back, when we're all done, we've grabbed the Perf Dirt Achievement, we can go back to Snacksburg. <laughs> Small celebration! So, what that basically means is, we've done everyone else's friggin' job for them, so Philbo wants to celebrate there being four Grumpuses on the island, which, you know, fair play to him, you can't blame him. But basically, if it's night time, Normally the Grumpuses, of course, will be asleep, so here is Philbo's house, just uh, just to sort of left of the main area, the main sort of campfire area there, so, <laughs> I mean, you can, you can sleep, 
I find it easier to basically sleep until noon. If it's too early in the morning or whatever and some characters are still asleep or you can't find any, just go with noon and they'll. if you sleep till noon, they'll all be up then. Otherwise, we can speak to Philbo and we are... Well, I mean, let's do it, man. Let's do this, bruh. All we got to do then is speak to all three party guests. Wow. Wow, this is... Uh, <laughs> It's like one of those birthday parties that gets hyped up, but then only like three or four people attend, and then it gets particularly awkward for a lot of people. Not mainly the birthday boy. Anyway, mingle with Gramble, Wambus, and um, Befika to just get this one going and done. And of course, Margarines are going to break out, and blah de blah Basically, the norm that goes on on a party, because there's always that one weirdo that dances to everything and nothing. He's probably stoned off his ass. Uh, there's always that one girl that's like, <laughs> I'm better than you. And then you've got the two dudes that are arguing because they fancy the one um, Befika big teeth right there. And But she doesn't actually like anyone, so they end up being friends in the end. It's how normal parties go. Befika, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug Snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and... Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Shriffany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Triff me back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. Uh, either way... Oh, hey! I just... Look here! Have a Strabby on... That's the spirit! Strabby! So, as it turns out then, us eating a bug snack basically is poison, and that makes us feel like absolute poop. And this is how we usually feel after the night out at a party as well. After all the drinking stuff you've done, whew, you end up going green and spewing for the next day or two. Especially when you're over 30, it takes about two and a half weeks to get over a hangover. So, what we're going to be doing now then is interviewing Befika. Now, usually she is in her house, but for some reason for me, she was in Philbo's house. Um, so check Philbo's house for Befika. If she's not there, uh, just have a little wander around. Again, obviously these grumpuses are going to be in random locations for you. They're not always going to be exactly where they are on my video for you. But go ahead, find Befika and give her the interview. Old wiener foot. Ah, wiener foot. I'm just saying, if you... This would be a great... Oh, they're so cute, I could live. Ugh, there's drama. We have too many jet. Uh, hey! Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started loop. So, I like. Pu what? Uh, Liz. She's practically. Egabelle. And if I've learned anything. Liz, if I'm. Be no prob. Oh, and before, it's the key. So, after interviewing Befika then, what she's going to do is give us a secret little key, which again, for, for another achievement later on, will come in handy. So she gives us Elizabeth's cabinet key. You sneaky little bum, but thank you very much. And what we can also do, we've already done Gramble, of course. Now, the, the little exclamation points above the head are the side quests. But, like I said, we're not going to do side quests. We're going to get the majority of the main quests done. Then the side quest basically all done at once. Um, otherwise, we can just head straight from where we just were with Befika to go into a new area called the Scorched Gorge. Oh, buddy, you are gorgeous in the Scorched Gorge. Now, if we head to the left, following the river, you're going to see another Grumpus up there just going, Hey, you! 
up here. My god, my nose is falling off, mate. Etc, etc. If we have a look at the flows in this area, though, you can see that they are hot sauce. Hot sauce in the Scorched Gorge. So again, obviously, we will be grabbing 20 of those eventually, just to maximize that. Um, uh, but otherwise, there are, so like I said, there are two here. One is Triffany, and one is Cromdo. Cromdo is just at the top there. Spuddy, we will get him a bit later on. But if we head towards the exit again, but go straight this time, you can see a Scorpino on fire. Hates hot sauce. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Dude's on freaking fire, man. And a pop tick, which looks like my nips. Pop nips, they should be called. Anyway, into this vast new main area. Spuddy, which is basically like a potato crab with a piece of butter on him. Okie doke, sounds good. Uh, what we're going to do, there was Triffany though in the main area, but we're going to go in here, take the picture of this Ribblepeed, and we're going to catch this Ribblepeed. Right after, I think we're going to speak to Triffany first. So yeah, speak to Big Triff, and then she's going to send us on a little a little mission to catch the ribble peas. Now they sound goddamn delicious. I just love barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs are blamissimo. Damn bones, yo. So let us go back into that first cave that we just was in. It's uh it is basically barbecue ribs with eyes. So put the snack trap down. Put the hot sauce. So again press the right on the D-pad to go over to hot sauce. Um, so he might start glitching out and being a bit bum snatchy for you, but if that's the case, just whack some hot sauce right on the wall, and then he should start get going. Barbecue ribs loves hot sauce. Oh, I mean, if you're in TGI Fridays, then oh, oh god, I'm so hungry right now. Anyway, that is the new bug snack ribble peed, but we do have to catch another two anyway. So again, like I said, the majority of these bug snacks are unmissable. Now what we're doing, we're going to get this spuddy, we're going to get him to crack open this wall, so cheers potato head for that. Um, again, that'll be for the next main mission for Triffany. I thought she was glitching into the floor then, anyway. Go into the next sort of cave-like area, and you can see another set of TGI delicious barbecue ribs up on the floor. Put it uh, just below him, put the hot sauce down, and boy, he's going to start coming. Oh, in we all, with that TGI Fridays. Oh my god. Expensive, but worth it. There's the second rebel peed. Now we can get out of here, go to the right, into the next sort of little cave door-like area, and just do the same thing again. Hot sauce for the win. So after we grab the three, we're going to head back to... Oh, well, thank you very much for the ad. Uh, we, we're going to head back to Triffany. Again, press the Y button there to feed her. And the lucky git gets three of the most delicious barbecue ribs you'll ever see. Now, if I was on that island, I'd probably want to get all uh, barbecue ribbed up as well. Anyway, doesn't matter where you're going to put these things. You can just uh, pop them wherever you want. Normally, if a body part already doesn't have a bug snack on it, it'll just automatically go to that body part. So you can just press the A button on all three if you want. Um, but it makes no difference. Right, we can already talk to Triffany because we just opened up the ruins, of course, with the spuddy just now. Or just earlier on, a little bit five minutes ago. There he is, potato... <laughs> Alright, potato head! I can whack you out in the good way. Also, of course, one good thing about this game is you cannot die at all. So that always comes in handy. Um, which I obviously forgot to mention earlier. So we're going to speak to the big Triff. Have a good one! <laughs> Thanks very much. Now we need to find and enter the hidden ruins. Come at me, potato butterball. Ah, <laughs> I'm over here, you stupid douche. Anyway, there is a little crack in the old cliffs that we can just go through to the other side. Basically where we found Cromdo and the two other spuddies earlier on, just down by the lake. So just keep heading here and just where the hot sauce is, as we grabbed earlier, remember, the hidden ruins from here will be on our left. There it is, so now... We need to get this old butterball potato head to smash through and enter those hidden ruins. But for some reason, this dude's having, I mean, depth perception is not fantastic. Ah, oh, god damn it, you son of a, you missed. Okay, right, we're in. Now we need to catch one shy weenie worm. Which, I don't know why there's any difference between the weenie worm from earlier. Maybe it's got more mustard on it or something. Anyway... 
Luckily, what you can do is just get this spuddy and run him into one of these uh, shy weenie worms, which is probably the easiest thing to do. If not, you can just get out your snack trap, like so. Get the ketchup on it and just catch one that way. Then we can head back to Triff. Like, come on, man, you've already cut. You've come out here by yourself. You can catch stuff, eat stuff yourself. Jeez, man. Oh, leave it up to the stranger, eh? Anyway. Where is Bone? So, Triffany is back, going back to Snacksburg, but we're not going to follow her just yet. Um, now, Triffany, also, just to let you know, you've been replaced by a cactus. If you're wondering why. There's a couple of prickles on places there shouldn't be on Wambus. You'll have to ask him for that one, buddy. Right, so, um, we can catch the Spuddy if you want to, which we are going to, because there are two, as we go back through the crack in the wall, there are two here. Again, it may be random. They may not always be in these locations, um, but it's easy enough just to lure one Spuddy over anyway. Just get him to follow you and just catch him. So that is a new bug snack for the Snackopedia. Right, grab some more hot sauce, and now what we're going to do is go up, just past the hot sauce, up the steps, we're going to start speaking to Cromdo, do a couple of main quests for this bra. Hot sauce, hot sauce, come on buddy, get your hot sauce. <laughs> Great dancing, bro. Hello, friend, welcome. Come on over, take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> The name's Cromdo Face, the one and only friend Cromdo Face, eh? That's a uh, heaven name, buddy. Right, so now we are going to get a new quote unquote weapon, if you want to call it that, called the Launch Pad, or the Lunch Pad. I don't know why it's called the Lunch Pad. I'm pretty sure it was meant to be the Launch Pad, but still. So, what we can do, I'm going to be doing this to catch many bug snacks later on as well. Um, so, again, switch to the Lunch Pad. With the left bumper, of course, as per usual. And that will be at the very top. Uh, grab a rock by pressing the X button on it. Press and hold the right trigger there to aim and throw it on. Now press the left trigger to aim. Now normally you'll know when you're spot on because... Uh, the, the, uh, the target reticle or whatever will turn a nice white colour. So when it turns nice and white, usually that means that you are spot on. So again... Hold left trigger to aim, fire it at the other spider web to get all three of these going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You used it, you bought it. Hey, you can pay me. <laughs> so now we're going to be grabbing yet another bug snack. So, a uh, little bit of practice, is it? So, just like the um, snack trap from earlier on, if you want to retrieve it, just press the left bumper and then the right bumper to retrieve that one. Um, now, I'm trying to aim absolutely nothing at it, at the chi booth over there, but that's what we're going for next. So, put your snack trap on the lunch pad, again, just by pressing the X button, walk over to the chi booth, and just like earlier then, hit it, go over to your snack trap, and then <laughs> press the right trigger. As it is flying on it. So I, I got away with that one. Got quite lucky with that one there. But we've got a new bug snack. The cheap poof. But that is how we do that. And it's a very good one to be honest as well. I do like this lunch pad. Lunch pad slash launch pad. And we are going to be coming up to uh, another missable achievement. Again plenty of opportunities to get this in the game. But what we can do. There is a bunger up here. That when we put the snack trap down on the lunch pad to catch the cheap poof. The, bu the bunger will try and hit it away. So as soon as he's on the, the launch pad, just hold uh, aim at the cheap poof there at the top and then press the right trigger. So he's on it now. So hit it over, 
get onto your snack trap, press the uh, right trigger there to activate it. I obviously ended up missing the cheap roof, I think, but I got the launch party achievement. And that's just for stunning a flame, a bug, a flame bug snacks by launching another one at it. So that is the easiest way to do that, because the bunga will always try and hit your, um, uh, your snack trap off the lunch pad. So as soon as he's on it, aim at the uh, particular bug snacks, and job done. So, again, if you don't get that yet, don't worry. Again, there's plenty of opportunities in the video and in the game to grab that. So, obviously we didn't grab it last time, so make sure that the bunga is not on it this time. Launch it, trap it. Job done it. Aw, yeah! And if we want to find the last one, then we're going to have to go back up. Basically, the final one is where we were with Crom, though. So, we are, we're going to go and get our lunch pad back. Again, for some reason, I took the long route around, where we could literally just um, press and hold the left bumper and press the right bumper on the top of the wheel there to retrieve it, but whatever. Get, get away from me, you tablecloth fool. So head over the bridge here. As we can see, we are exactly by where Cromdo is. And the cheap hoof is just the other side of this other bridge. So these areas do seem big, but they are generally quite small. So there's the lunch pad. Put the snack pad down. Chuck it on the old what's it poof. Kabla oh, oh, damn it, I've got Damn it. Right, so I missed it the first time. So I kablamoed at the complete wrong part there. So, <laughs> fantastic once again of me. Right, come here, you little cheesy poof. I love cheesy poofs. Grab that crab my poof. That's a third cheesy poof. Now feed them all to Cromdo. Right, another easy quest coming up called Fry With Me When You're Not Stra- Anyway, turn directly around and you can see the sweet fry there is over the other side. So, it's another lunch pad down, snack trap down, aim with the left trigger, put it onto the sweet fry there with a ketchup uh, thing as a hat, activate it, and we can, we can launch ourselves over, but usually it'll fall on the floor, just enough for us to grab that bug snack. Done! And we can just head back up to Crom, though. Feed this boy. Now, out of the... You know what? Sweet sweet fries and normal fries. I'm just not a sweet potato fan. Even though they're healthy, I'd rather be Chunky Monkey forever. Yum, but uh, moving all this... If you make both, but I gotta... So then, that is Crondo's main quest done for now. We have to turn his feet into bopsicles, or big bopsicles, and we don't get that until we get the to the area. Sugar Pine World! <laughs> so what we can do, we're going to head back to Snacksburg, and we're going to interview Triffany. Again, if you want to, as I said before, go ahead and fast travel if it makes it a bit easier for you, which it probably does. <laughs> Oh, had to come by and... Yep. Well, that depends. Man, Triffy, I'm so... Yep. It's just... Yeah, and you gotta... We may have different goals sometimes. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and... You better. Now... Gladly. Welcome home, Triffy. What's that now? Nothing. Oh, sure. Oh, 
I go dig enough bits of history. It's usually not so dramatic. Oh, goodness. I heard about the trip to... Or I could... You might have heard of Veronica, Lada Blog. She filled up... Amazing. Don't you think... Grumpus Sibyl... It's... Imagine... No, no, nothing. But he wouldn't... Lovely gal, that Lisbert. And when we were, we usually we'd swap. Adventuring as a but you know, especially not to be more. And after that one with Triffany is done, she should be in the same place as you, of course. By the way, as we entered there, she gives us Lisbert's diary. Why do all these people? Oh, da damn, Triffany, thick. Uh, why do all these grumpuses have different parts of everything? Why can't they just get everything together and go, All right, we know where she is. Let's go grab her. Right, so we're not going to bother with that. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. Um, so what we can do now is either crack on with Cromdo, or, well, <laughs> what's going to happen is Philbo Baggins is going to take a little uh, talk with us at the minute. So we get our very own house. Job done. And I mean, it's about bloody time, actually. Where the hell have I been sleeping? Dear buddy, that's you. Thanks for walking me back home, and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg, well. Great question, buddy. So, I'll just go, I'll uh, g g give you a little explanation anyway. So, these mailbox requests, basically, as we're going to see, we're not going to do these until oh, pretty much the very end of the game. Uh, but what we can do, as you're, as you do more side quests and do more quest main and side quests for people, um, they end up giving you presents like this. So it'll be walls, it'll be um, um, items for your house and stuff. Now for an achievement. The Live Laugh Hut achievement, we need to put a at least one item in every place in the house. Which means we have to do all of the side quests. And at least, if you do all the side quests and main quests, we have to do at least 23 of these mail requests. So, as you can see, we've got to find a lost item for Befica. Um, go and find a mystery bug snat and put that in Gramble's barn. Scan a shy weenie worm. All very simple. But we have to do them in order to get all of the items anyway. So, but again, we won't be doing that until the very end of the game. So, don't, you know, don't worry about it too much. Again, that's what I'm trying to do. Just put everything into blocky sections so we're not too confused with everything. But what we're going to do, as we can see, we're going to head to Simmering Springs. We're actually going to speak to Wiggle Darling, who's supposed to be a singer. <laughs> But, you know, she sounds worse than, uh, she sounds worse than my toilet after an Indian. Um, so, let's just do some for her anyway, huh? We need to get a pen. Pineapple pen. Does anybody remember that song? I have a pen, I have a pineapple, pineapple pen. Blech. Anyway, the way to grab one of these pineanchulas, which of course is directly on the beach, stick it full of chocolate next to a crapple, the crapple will pick it up. Move a little bit away so the crapple doesn't schnit his pants. He throws it on there. That will stun the pinantula. We can catch him. Not only does that get us a new bug snack, that also uh, completes this que quest. Remember, we've got to turn Wiggles here into pinantula air. So do it over there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Pinantula. With a new head, I can... Right, so for the next one, we have to catch, like I said, a green grape skeeto, but they only appear after 4 p.m. and before 4 a.m. So keep that in mind. Great lyrics there by Wiggle. Woo, la, 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 a. Okay, who do you think you are, bloody Rihanna or something? Anyway, now we need to catch a green grape skeeto, and they are exactly where we are on the beach, flying around, and there's only one way you can get this. Get some chocolate on your sauce sling, sling it on the raspberry. You'll have to move away a little bit, but as soon as the green grape mosquito sees it, uh, well, sometimes, now what is usually supposed to happen is the green grape mosquito will start eating the chocolate off the raspberry, get chunky. Damn, that is some quick, <laughs> that's some quick hips you just grew there, green grape mosquito. 
and that basically stuns it, and that is what allows us to capture it. But of course, he's got to catch the Rasby first. Normally, nine times out of ten, he'll catch him first time. Other times, Rasby will just get a Usain Bolt bit of crap on him and go nuts. But this time, as you can see, there was a bit of an edit in there because it did take a while, but we do have him. So, when you catch old Green Day Grape Skeeto, which is basically a flying grape, again, very, fan you know, fantastic. Uh, I mean, well, what can we say? Very original there. Oh, look at this piece of food. Right, we'll stick a couple of eyes and a wings, pair of wings on him and call it a green grape. Skeeto, of course. Right, now we've got to catch two pop ticks. Now, pop ticks are not in this area. Rather, they are in the squashed gorge. So, like I said, you can either just uh, follow me with the path I take or just fast travel there and then pause the video and wait for me, bruh. Wait for me. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, not just with chores and stuff. Yeah, no, no thanks, Big Phil. You can uh, you go bit pig I'm trying to get through. Here's to a hard day's work. So here we are then at the Scorched Gorgie. Now, the pop ticks, as you remember, if you go slightly to the right, they are the little... Little nipples, little flying nipples on the floor, right next to the Scorpino. Right, and there is only, of course, another way to get this. So, get a snack track, but sort of put it away. If you put it too close, you'll just get burnt. So, what you need to do is put it a little bit away from where they're guarding, or where they're walking. Get some hot sauce on it, so, um... <laughs> you don't need to get some hot sauce on it, sorry. The Scorpino hates hot sauce. What we need is some chocolate, and it's going to be like... Oh my god, I love me some chocolate. Get him over to the snack trap. And scablammo it. And there we go. So that's another new bug snack for us. But of course, don't leave just yet. We still need to get the other one. So, do the exact same trick trick with this one. Um, snack trap, put some chocolate on it. Lure the pop tick in. Job done. They set me on fire! Damn, that's a pretty big fire. Who does he think he is? Bloody Charmander? Huh? Charmeleon? Charizard? And the other newer fire Pokemon that don't really give a crap, we don't really give a crap about. So when we've grabbed those two pop ticks, remember we have to go all the way back to Sizzling Sands, or Sizzling Beach, or Simmering Spring, sorry, close enough. Um, all the way back to Wiggle, give them to her again, do a bit of fast travelling if you'd prefer, which would probably be easier again. Aloha, darling! Or oh, bubble, darling. Well, spanks very much. So that's, um, well, I suppose that's Wiggle done. Yeah, so let's grab some chocolate and skedaddle back out of here. <laughs> oh. 
And when we do get back into the old burg of snacks and housings, uh, again, you can keep having a look at the mail if you want. Uh, basically, like I said, every time you do a main quest or a side quest, you'll keep getting presents and letters, letters in order to do more mail, uh, mail requests, etc, etc. But again, let's just not worry about that yet. What we're going to do is go and see Philbo Baggins. Um, now, obviously, we've been to another new area. We get ketchup, we get hot sauce, and we got chocolate. So make sure to max it up. Wow, hello. Let's take a look at... Okay, what we're going to do is do a bit of teabagging right here. Just, uh... There you go. Get your uh, sweaty bug snack juice all over Wambus and, uh... <laughs> Triffany. <laughs> Damn, Wambus, you thick boy. Anyway, sorry. We're getting a, a, bit, a bit out of control with my rhymes right here. Let's go and talk to Philbo. And basically, it's going to be going? a bit of a main quest, but a lot of unskippable dialogue coming up. So, um... Well, yeah, let's do it, man! Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Who is this spooky ghost? Right, so the mill is directly behind you from where we were sitting. Go grab some firewood, go and put it back for some more unskippable dialogue. Just fantastic. Hey. Where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Ah, no way that's true! Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ah, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. So then, you know at a party where we have to go and check on someone who's either thrown up or crap in their pants super bad? Well, that's what we're gonna do now. So, behind you, just to the right of Wambus' farm, there is where the bathroom is. So we're gonna go and have a little check. There's a little gurgle going on, so... Hey, buddy, you do you... Oh. Well, <laughs> goddamn, that was a pretty unnatural growl. Oh, so it turns out Philbo wasn't in the bathroom. Right, so we've just... Right, okay, sounds good. Let's get the hell out of here. Has somebody just... He's flashed himself down the pooper. 
There it is. Have a little poke with your stick if you want. That's, uh... <laughs> well, certainly interesting. Let's go and tell the gang what we've just witnessed. First hand. Ugh. Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, uh, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. No need to freak out. It's probably just, a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus! I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. When ghosts come to life, they make your life a living hell. Uh, or something or other. So, uh, you don't actually have to put your stick on fire. I just thought it was a pretty cool thing to do. Try and, uh, <laughs> put Philbo Baggins on fire. Right, go behind you, into the mill, the door's been busted wide open, head up to the top of the stairs, and... Oh, it's just another little Grampus. Was that you pooping your butt off in that toilet, bro? Because that is, uh... God damn. I noticed. I s then I remembered I left some stuff. Oh, no. Major bummer, bro. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I got... Don't you at least... Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you- Oh well. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um... Oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. So, with that mystery completely solved, it turns out it was just Chandlow. Nobody makes noises like that on the toilet, by the way, do they? Unless they've had a, you know, 20 pints the night before and a huge ass kebab, then you know what, I'm, I'm pretty much with you there. So, what we're going to do, now you see that donations box there, um, on Gramble's farm. Now, every time you've got a full set of bug snacks, I highly advise, just go ahead and pop in your bug snacks that you've caught in your inventory into the donation farm basically what that will do when you collect enough um he will end up upgrading your inventory so you can have more bug snacks in your inventory so um i don't do it until we do the first side quest but i would highly advise doing it now um or you know as as 
you know, completely up to you. You can do it now or you can do it later. But I highly advise, rather than just releasing them, put them in Gramble's farm and, um, yeah, upgrade your stuff. Right. Now we have a new area. This is basically Chandlow and Snoopy's new area. Again, uh, it's called Sugar Pine Woods. We've obviously got new bug snacks and everything to catch here. And the first thing we're going to be doing is heading directly to the right through the trees. We're actually going to be grabbing Video Diary 4. Which, um, for an achievement, there it is, just on the cliff edge. Right there is the fourth. Right, I mean, it's number four. The Video Diary. But for the Documentarian achievement, we have to find and play five videos. Five of Elizabeth's videos. Three are in her house, but you have to get that through through keys and stuff like that. And this is the only one that you end up finding just sort of on its own. And the rest are just chilling in Elizabeth's house. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to grab this sinner snail right here. So, pop your lunch pad down, pop your snack trap on, and aim. <laughs> Ready, aim, shoot, fire! And kablabo! Now, that will come in handy, uh, purely because we've fought one of Chandler's main quests now. Assuming, of course, that you can jump up and grab it. There it is. Um, but we need to grab, I think, two or three of these Sinner Snails anyway for one of Chandler's quests. So, um, he will come in handy. We have to come here and grab him in a bit anyway, so might as well just do it now. Big Bopsicle, who is, yep, yeah, just again, it's just a frozen lolly with, um, with legs. It's just, again, it's fanta fantastic, <laughs> fantastic thinking there going on in the department of what shall we do? Right, Chandler and Snoopy. Better to work in these shadows when I cannot be- Bro, if you're not- it, it, No, what, what? You cannot- Oh, yes, sir! Do not lift my crib, Chandler. I have delicate instrument- Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. <sighs> Whoa, it's you again. It's easy to stick. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With nah, I'm. I mean, I like being in town. Why don't you talk to him? <laughs> oh, he did, did he? What is your business with? Hmm. I'm. Not I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the snack grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandlo with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rather. So, we've got a new weapon called the Snack Grappler. So, nice. again, just go ahead and speak to Chandlo. And then, obviously, press LB to press and hold LB by uh, to get your weapon wheel up. The Snack Grappler is on the bottom right-hand corner there. And all it is, you just sort of, I mean, you can grab Chandlo's, a grab Chandlo's ass with it, boy. Damn, man, that's a thick ass. Uh, or you can try just try and you know grapple him in the back and stuff. Y you know that's uh, that's how you get people to trust you, right? By <laughs> snap grappling him in the back, right? So how you use it, of course, is just by right pressing the right trigger. That's all you got to do. So grab the one basketball from behind Chandler again. Press the right trigger to pop it in. The next basketball is going to be just <laughs> just where we were, just above the basket. So pop that one in. Um. Dude, that are some heavy ass weights for such a little, little grumpus man. And the third one is on the tree right next to the sin snail where Chanlo is. So grab that again, right trigger then to pop that in. Return to Chanlo. And life is. Damn, man, he is stacked. Stacked. And. <laughs> buddy, we've secured your balls. Your balls have been secured. They are. They are. Tight. I'm. Right, so what we have to do now is just go ahead and feed the one Sinner Snail that we caught to Chandlo. But again, we need this other Sinner Snail anyway for his next main quest. So, eventually, all you got to do is put your lunch pad down, put the snack trap on it, aim, shoot, fire! But for some reason, I'm making a bit of a meal of this, but that is literally all you got to do. <laughs> See, I told you we'd get it eventually. So, when you've grabbed the other second, uh, that other Sinner Snail, stick it down, 
pop it on wherever you want, and that will be this main quest done. Now what we have to do is go back. Now, uh, Chanlo nips off up there. Now, the launch pad there is actually broken. So what we have to do is go back to where the basketball is, get your snack grappler down to gr grab this bridge down, go up, use the snack grappler. You can use snack grappler on any sort of rocks, any sort of broken, crumbly looking rocks like that. So when we get to this area, just turn to the left to go back down to the hut and have a speak with Chen Dog. Nice, you made it. me. I got the same time I always get. There's got to be more. <laughs> so there we go. We got to catch two cinder snails now. So remember, we got the one from the rock just by the honeybees when we first entered. So that one is fine. Oops, I didn't actually mean to go down there. But if you do, that's fine. Um, because all you got to do is on the same level as the hut. Just go around, turn to this area with the, uh, with the. Big popsicle is at the bottom, and a big hole right in the middle there. All you got to do is just get your lunch pad out. Cinder snail, snack trap, bam. And then use your snack grappler to pick him up. Have to get a bit closer than that, there we go. So, it's literally on the same level as the hut there, just literally turn around. Stick him in Chandlo. <laughs> stick, your, stick your snails right in Chandlo. And, well, you enjoy that. Yeah! I can't wait to check Honeybees. No matter, you got him. Hey man, now why you look at me like that? Have a snack wrapper on your nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now nah, it, it doesn't do anything, which is fine. So let's go catch a couple of honey baby bees, huh? And there is only one way that we could do this. Oh, hello, little Oreo, running on the ground. Uh, grab the peanut butter here. We don't use the peanut butter all that often. Um, but of course, when we do, we'll be able to get some from Wamus's farm in Snacksburg, in our main area. So what we have to do then, we're going to put the lunch pad down. We're going to put the snack trap on. And it is as simple-ish, simple as just aiming, shooting and firing. And you're going to catch, you're going to catch one or two eventually. Anyway, that's going to be the new bug snacks. Hey! You covered me in your white stuff. I do not like it. Oh. <laughs> well, we just caught two honeybees because one of them stunned itself as well. Ah, what a stupid butthole. Hilarious. Stupid bum. Uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and catch a third one anyway, just in case. Uh, you know, I got kind of got lucky with that one. So, um, I'll just show you how to catch the other one. There it is. Go back, feed them to Big Chandlo for the carb load of a lifetime. Now, if you have a look, actually, um, on your Bugipedia, Wikipedia bug thing on uh, from your diary, it tells you how many calories there are. And it's like, you know, six, 7,000 calories for this little honeybee and stuff like that. It's, it's interesting, but it also makes me want to spew my guts up. Honeybee. Yeah. Oh. Bro. Bro. What? I ain't go... I can't get... Whatever. But I... <laughs> Ah, yes. Anyway, you have my thanks for- I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and sit here, new chum. Lean in cl- Ah! Ooh! Well, isn't this a delightful hug, Mr. Ah. Fizzlebean? Excellent hunt now. I need your- Splendid! Then, once you have it, I will- So, let's go ahead, get a tool from the Bug Watch Tower. So go behind, channel right there. And to the left there, you can see where the bug watch tower is. And for some reason, I am deciding to take the long way around. Why I'm doing that, I <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Um, I think I was looking, there's a bug snacks that appears there, uh, but it only appears after, I think, 4 or 5 p.m. So for some reason, I was trying to look for that. But let's just go to the bug tower, bop yourself up. And just interact with the bow and arrow, or the trip shot, sorry, the trip shot. This is a very, very good weapon. Um, or weapon, if you want to call it that, whatever it is. But it will come in handy, so what we have to do, we'll pick up the trip shot. Press the left trigger to aim, fire. Uh, right trigger to fire. Now, as soon as you put that on any particular surface that you can, you can put it on any surface apart from, um, like, dirt and stuff like that. Um, 
don't try and catch him because this is what will happen. So if you try and catch anything that's on fire or frozen, you'll either get, I mean, on fire or frozen as we try to put Chandler on fire. Um, so we've got the trip shot, but that is how you do that then. It's literally just a case of aiming, firing in it. You've got to put the trip shot on one surface, put the trip shot on another surface, and bugs will go into that and pretty much it's your <laughs> it's your window to catching them pokemon style except it's not pokemon of course nowhere near but it might as well be pokemon it is the, all this stuff's going to be in the new pokemon game by the way bopsicle and cheeser and stuff right anyway there is Quookie, who is literally once again just an oreo with legs now when, again we've taken a picture of him so we've got his exact route and location down so get your trip shot out pop it on the rock or any surface but of course obviously what you have to do is put it on a surface where it goes between the obviously little purple arrows that obviously makes sense what you also need to do is do it low enough so that he actually gets slammed up like that um even though he could have easily avoided that but still that's fine so that's the first kooky now the second one is just chilling in this area the one with the trees you can see him there so again take a picture of him so you know exactly where we're walking to going to Pop it on one tree, deploy it with the right trigger there on the one tree, aim, fire it to the next one, wait, 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 die! No, don't die, sorry, no, don't die, they, no, they, they don't die, they just faint, you know, so kids don't get traumatised by battling food and stuff dies and stuff. Right, so when that second one is done, all we're going to do is go all the way back up to Snorpington Fizzlebean, and um, make sure to turn his... Teeth into Quookies. That's the whole point of the main quest. Putting his teeth into Quookies. Quookie. <laughs> Splendid. I no longer have, but now I hunger for charm. So for this next challenge, what we need to do is at least sleep until 5 p.m. Because this next char mallow that we need don't doesn't appear until I think after 4 or 5 p.m. So Depending on the time, um, yeah, go to 5 p.m. Now, there's a bit of a, a bit of an edit there. The game messed up on me big time. So, basically, it's just to the left. Where we caught the other Sinner Snail earlier, um, literally just as you come out of the hut and then go to the left, that is where we're going again. So, what you need to do is get your trip shot down. Well, in fact, actually, apparently we're catching a sinner snail first um <laughs> so after you get that put your trip shot down again you can put it on the tree or to the ground next to you but, gosh darn it son of a goddamn monkey butt bag we'll try again put it on the ground put it over and then we wait for the channel to come around what what this is going to do is stun him but then the bopsicle is also going to fudge him up unfire him so that we can catch him job done so that's the first Charmallow done. So again, apologies about the edit there. Um, game did have a bit of a mess up. Now, when the Bopsicle gets stunned, what that will do is um, it just goes in half like that. <laughs> it just snaps in half, and then we can catch him. So uh, there's a new bug snack. But we will be coming back. We have to get one of these Bopsicles for Cromdo in just a little bit. So, um, but what I advise actually is when you've got the Bopsicle, I I'm I end up getting very stupid and release them. Make sure that you keep those two bopsicles. So you don't have to come back and catch them again. So make sure that you keep those two bopsicles in your inventory. Now, put this buggy ball up in this hole. Again, this is literally just opposite the hut. Literally just opposite the hut. Exactly where we were with the bopsicle and everything. Jump down to where the bopsicle was. Put the um, snack trap down. Again, where that big bopsicle was. And catch him. So, <laughs> we caught the yellow peel bug. Also, you should get the quartermaster achievement as well by now um, for catching yet another another bug snacks. So, again, that we don't actually have to catch him, but I figured while we were there, we'll just do that one quick. So, grabbing the yellow peel bug. Again, that hole right there is just opposite, literally opposite the hut. And after that, we can just go up because the next charm mallow is in this little snowy area to the left. Now, the way to do this, again, there's a big bobsicle here, but you've got to be careful that the bobsicle doesn't chase you, freeze you, and then it just, you know, annoys the crap out of you. So, take a picture. Let's see where this charmel is going. Put this trip shot over 
so uh, right in the middle of the purple arrow so that he gets fudged up. Then the Bopsicle should find him, smash him up like so. And then that is our window to catching him. So he's like a marsh he's got a marshmallow butt with crackers for wings. I didn't know that was possible, but evidently tis, tis. Right, so now we've done that, we can actually just go back to Snorpington Fizzlebean and feed the crap out of him. And again, I, I have to apologise about the uh, slightly poor edits there. The I got really confused when I shouldn't have got confused in this area. Uh, so yeah, apologies about them. But, you know, we're all good. You, you've caught what we need. We've got the yellow peel bug, right? We've got a quartermaster achievement. We, we're all good. And <laughs> we've we've sorted out Snoppington's head as well. This guy seems clear. Oh, just a minute. You've been an in. Bro. Oh, what? Yep. What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town? No, please. Don't. If you're not, a no, no, you're lost. And Wait. that's the way. Ah uh ha! -huh, ah uh ha! -huh. We do it. Ah uh ha! -huh, ah uh ha! -huh. So, we've got Chandler and Snoopy back to Snacksburg, but what we're going to do before we leave, so don't follow them and leave just yet, we're going to be grabbing the Grab Bag achievement for getting all snack pods in one biome, in one like area. So, let's just start off at the beginning here so we know exactly where we are. So from here, from the beginning, we're going to go to the right through the trees. Now get your snack grappler out because as you can see there are some rocks that we can slam down. Kablamo! So there's the first one. So, again, this just acts as, like, an, another bug snacks, these little pieces of crisps or whatever. From here, we're going to turn around, and just on this rock in these trees is the second one. And then if we just keep going, basically, sort of to the right a little bit, we're going to launch ourselves up where the bug tower is right in front of us, or the, you know, whatever the hell that tower is. Uh, we're just going back to the hut, basically. So what we need to do, there is another one on top of the hut. So... What you'd normally do is put the lunch pad on this um, um, bucket of water or whatever it is, jump up and then grab it. But for some reason, this lunch pad wasn't playing balls with me. My balls are secure, sir. Well, whip him out, boys! No, uh, so since it wasn't working, I could stand on it, launch myself up, and then use the snack grappler to grab the uh, next one just on the roof there. So if you can't get yourself up, Jump up, use the use the snack grappler, job done. Again, like I said, don't waste or don't get rid of the two bopsicles. I've already got rid of the bopsicles, very silly, silly lily ish of me. Don't get rid of the bopsicles just yet. Crondo's going to need them. So, head up to where the next couple of bopsicles are. And go all the way to the left, past where we found the char mallow. And the fourth one is going to be on this rock in this beautiful looking... Ah, god damn, that is warm. Ah... My balls are now not secure, sir. Not anymore. Right, so, for the final one. Yes, that's a bobsicle. We all know what a bobsicle is. Uh, keep going straight. We're basically heading past, going past the Bug Snacks Watchtower. Or whatever this thing is. Down here. And the final one is right there, up behind the basketball tingy majigger. Yes, I know, a whole bunch of Americans and basketball fans are going to hate me for calling it a basketball thingy majigger. The hoop thing. But you know what I mean. So that is how you get the grab bag achievement. Now there are a bunch of grab bags in pretty much every area. Some have five, some have four in them. But the achievement is just for grabbing every single one that is in an area. So it doesn't matter if you've got four or five, as long as you've got everyone in that particular area. So, um, now what we're going to do, what I'm going to do anyway, is grab the Bopsicle again. Because, <laughs> remember silly me, very stupidly. Got rid of the two bobsicles earlier. So, if it is in the middle of the night, you can just use the char mallow to um, stun him and then he'll pop in half, etc. If that's not the case, all you got to do is lead the bobsicle to the bit of water just by the ramp. Um, just by the ramp right in front of us there. So, there's a bit of water. You can just put the bobsicle in and he'll stun himself and go nuts like this as well. Uh, but sometimes, honestly... Pretty much easier as we grab the two bobsicles there. Sometimes it's easier just to go to sleep until a certain point of the day and try it again. Instead, it, honestly, it just saves so much time doing that. But once we're done, so we should have had the grab bag achievement, got Snoopy and Chanlo back to Snacksburg, and we've got two bobsicles. Remember, we need those two bobsicles. So grab them. <sighs> 
Right, now that we are done, we are going to go back to Scorched Gorge. So again, either follow me or fast travel and just head all the way back up to Cramdo. Give him the bopsicles and then he nips back to Snackenbergen Haugen Traugen. Now again, depending on what time of day it is, obviously for me it's the middle of the night, but what I'm going to be doing here is catching a white chi poof. Now don't worry if this isn't here, because we have to grab one of these for Wiggle's side quest later on anyway. So, if you want to just go straight to Crom, if it's a different time of the day for you and you go straight to Crom though, and complete his main quest, that's fine. If it's the middle of the night, again, like me, you can catch this white chi poof if you so desire. You know, obviously you're going to do it a lot better than me, who apparently does it more moronically um but again don't worry if we don't grab this now we have to grab one of these for wiggles side quest again later on anyway so you'll be get so this one is pretty much unmissable we'll be grabbing him anyway so uh once we grab him apparently the white cheap eve which are basically doritos with a set of eyes on him uh we could just go back to cromdo stick popsicles in him on him, not in him. Oh, God. Imagine one of them bopsicles. Oh, Doesn't bear thinking about. Although, you know, a lot of people get paid for sticking bopsicles in themselves. Anyway, we're just going to give him the bopsicles. Cromdo's obviously not on OnlyFans. He wouldn't be making that much money, I'm telling you. Sorry, Crom. But anyway, he'll nip off to Snacksburg and job's done. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet relief. These things better... Anyway, a... And so you know, crumb them if you need it. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot, too hot. Ech! Bro, just try killing us. What the hell, man? Right, so basically, across the bridge, the bridge will be fixed later on, but across the bridge is the one of the final two areas where we're going to find one of the final two bug snacks. So again, we're just going to crack on for now. So, all we're doing is getting our big but <laughs> big butt snacks back to Snacksburg. So again, for some reason I'm getting extremely confused as to where to go. But either go back to Snacksburg, uh, or just fast travel there, which again makes your life a lot easier. So apparently Philbo wants to talk to us. Philbo always wants to talk to us, but Philbo never wants to bloody pay us, does he? Nah. So <laughs> there's going to be a little conversation there between Cromdo and Befica, but after this one, what we're going to do is start to interview Cromdo. We're going to get our interviews on now. So Cromdo, let's interview the crap out of uh, old Big Blue Nose right there. And remember, as we're all good now, so we can interview him. Sorry to just wake you up from your slumber there, old uh, what's it leg. Um, but we need an interview. Um, now remember, of course, with Gramble's Farm there, the donations, remember to keep putting your bug snacks in to upgrade your bag in order to carry more, etc. Well, you know the drill. But anyway, interview the nuts off this Cromdo boy. You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? She came on TV, so I quit my dead-end job and followed that... Uh, I used to... <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! It was... Yeah, I tried. I was salvaging! That's a community... But... <laughs> oh, dude. She came here to stroke her eat. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove... I, I gotta confess, I, but when I went, uh, yeah, 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 I, I learned early on, just go check out where the boat was. And after this one, Crondo gives us a map to the boat. Now, I don't actually know what that is because I never actually used it, but um, hey, I mean, it's uh, apparently it's coming, it's going to come in handy for something, so we've got it anyway. Right, so from here, we again, we're not going to go ahead and speak to Phil Boak because... Philbo Baggins, he wants us to go on an adventure, but bro, again, doesn't want to pay us. Wiggle, again, wants to stick her pineapple right where the sun don't shine in Grambles land. 
Sorry, honey, not the day, but we are going to give... Wait, get, get away, Triffany. Sorry. We're going to give Wiggle the next interview, so, um... Well, you know what to do? Spam the A button. Grand. You certainly... You see, Wiggle Wiggle but Well, I'm here... Away... At every... Ten bug snacks. Bug snacks. She will come for... That's simple. No! No, I wouldn't... Ah, oh, they... But if... Not near... The... Well, but if... Ah, I know my... If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Ooh, now Wiggle's giving us a map to Liz's last location. Which, uh, nah, we're good. we all good. Right, so what Chandler was basically done. So again, as soon as you progress the main story uh, a little bit more, Chandler basically comes up to you and says, look, I built some walls. Um, because <laughs> bro's a bro, bro. He is bro stiffed up. So we're going to interview Chandler, of course, since we haven't anyway. But thanks for building the walls, bro. Bro. Chandler funk bun. Funk it. If I want to... I heard... Hey! I don't know what... Bug snap... Bro... Lizbird is top dog, you feel me? But, uh, that's about it. I'm real... Pegabelle's a sweetie, but she was all... Yeah, we'd go run... I wish I... They gotta be okay... So, if you wanna think yourself punny... No, that's, this is basically, what Chandler's reaction is, is basically everyone's, everyone who watches my videos, that's the reaction to when I tell jokes. Bro, just don't. Okay, so I'm sorry. But anyway, we get Eggabelle's <laughs> chest key. That's pretty much a running joke, isn't it? I tell a joke, and all you lot say, oh, for God, just don't, don't do it, son of a... Right, so anyway, what I ended up doing was... Um, just putting it to 5am so that we could go ahead and find Snorpy right there, which is why there was a bit of an edit. We want to go and interview Snorpy. If you find him elsewhere, that's fine. If not, just um, go ahead, sleep in a bed till 5am and catch him sleeping upstairs in the mill. Snore redacted? Well, that's a hell of a name, pal. He's dragged. He's never said... I surmise... I'm so glad you asked. I have charts. I was t I could see them. Elizabeth, do you really? Elizabeth, we would share. <laughs> Excellent. Ah. <laughs> Man, I just want to eat his teeth. Would that would that make me a little funny? I just want to stick my mouth on his nose. Hmm. Anyway, so we've got another little something something there of Snorpington Snorpy. And what we're going to do is head... <laughs> Hello, Chanlo. What's up, bro? All we're going to do then is head to our house. We're just going to pick up some mail right there. So, obviously, like I said, more main quests and stuff we do. We get um, all types of different presents thrown our way. Beautiful. So, a couple of things there, a couple of things. Also, obviously, as you can see, we can get some more mailbox requests to do. So, kind of like mini -er, mini, mini side quests. So, whatever, whatever is mini -er than mini -er, whatever is mini -er than mini, that's what they kind of are. So, this is our house. Press the Y button there, you can go into build mode, but again, we'll come back to that a little bit later on. So, for now, we are actually going to... Excuse me, Chandler. We are going to speak to little Dildo Philbo Baggins. And, well, now it's break time. Until Beverly starts screaming. It, I didn't show her anything. That, that wasn't me. D don't don't listen to her. I didn't. I was sleeping. It was you, Philbo. You shown Beverly your little carrot, you little wiener. Beverly, Gramble, what happened? Ooh, we saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but, like, something about it was... Wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... <laughs> until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and, like, scattered. 
Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, uh, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking into huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. Oh, get off me. Stop. Whoa, hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the rest? Actually, maybe it was Befica's wiener foot that was uh, alive. That's why she screamed. Wiener foot. Oh, Chandler. What's up, buddy? Right, so what we have to do is just take some pictures where it's sort of glistening right there. Um, so we got one, which was just where Triffany was. One by the bathroom. Or the toilet, the only toilet for some reason in all the land. Again, if you want to, grab some more peanut butter and chocolate and stuff. There is one just by Gramble's farm. There is the no more bug snacks sign, which is harsh. Uh, actually, it's not harsh because we are eating live things. Here. And there is one, uh, well, there was two actually right by Gramble's farm, two uh, things to look at there. So that should be six out of six. So go ahead and talk to Philbo Baggins once more. Um, you found what you were looking for? No, again... It, any vegans and stuff are gonna love that bit. No more eating animals. You can survive on grass and chair legs and stuff. Well, that's. Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monsters, a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a one. Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the grump and our- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. <gasps> I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Oh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. No, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. Yeah, <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but... We have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <sighs> I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And last time I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. So then, all of a sudden, this cutesy little game about finding and eating all types of um, alive bits of food or whatever on the floor, it's starting to take a bit of a dark turn. 
How interesting. So, what we're going to do, we have to find um, Floofty, who, remember, we had to feed the mystery Grumpus in Simmering Springs a lot earlier on, uh, towards the beginning of the game, a strabby. Uh, but we're going to find him in Boiling Bay, and then we're also going to find um, Shelda in Sizzling Springs. What we're going to do first, sorry, is come to Sugar Pine Woods, and Triffany and Wambus is going to have a little bit of a... A little bit of a, you know. His back's hurting because he's almost 50. Mate, my back's hurting and I'm 32. So walking up here is just killing me off as well. Do not worry about that. So we're going to go into this new area though called the Frosted Peak. And as you can tell, you can probably tell why it's called the Frosted Peak. It's snowing and it's at the peak of a mountain and stuff. Yep, pretty much that's all there is to it. So what we're going to do from... Our starting position. We're just going to go left, up this little ramp, and we're going to see Eggabel right in front of us. Not in the bush there, right in front of us in the cave. In the cave, in the cave, in the cave, in the cave. Stop looking at the bush, damn it. This is not Pornhub. Um, no, just have a look. <laughs> have a look at Eggabel, and then go ahead and chat with her. That's basically Elizabeth's missus. She's a hairy egg. Tidy. That's pretty much looks like my bald head right now, that. Another I can I'm no we just go back home and So then all we gotta do now is follow Eggabel. So apparently when Lenny says it has not been proven that eating eggs actually raises cholesterol levels in the body, a Homer Simpson reply is So one of those egg council creeps got to you too, huh? It's not like that, Homer. It's not like that at all. You better run, Egg! And that is why we are running after the Egg. Purely, this is a Simpsons quote fitted into this game beautifully. Egg Council Creep, run away, let's follow her, and let's discover some secrets. Damn Egg Council Creeps! Come on, Egg. Ah! Well... Some kind of. I've almost got it. I was... So even though Eggabel knew that we were following her, apparently she didn't see us following her. So um, right, okay. Now as you can see, there are four things to do. Now two that we should, you should have already done as well. Finding Liz's device notes, find notes on the mountain map. They are for doing the main quests for certain people. I forget which two, but interviewing them after. That's why we've gotten um, some pages and some keys and stuff like that. So if those two haven't appeared yet, just interview everybody in Snacksburg and you will get those two. Lizbert's journal, we already know where that is, um, as we're just going to start heading back towards Snacksburg. Remember, Lizbert's journal is um, when we uh, interview Triffany. So that is in the main area of Snacksburg. And the, the final missing page is basically in the Boiling Bay. But what we're going to do, I don't actually end up doing this now. We're going to come back and do this uh, quite a bit later on. Um, it's pro probably worth, probably should have done this one first, but, you know, it makes no difference. What I'm actually going to end up doing is we're going to go ahead and get Floofty. We're going to go ahead and get Shelda. And then we're just going to start cracking out the majority of the side quests. So we'll come back to Eggabel's main quest um, quite a bit later on. Oh, here, hun, what's up? Yeah, thanks very much. Right, so what we're going to do then, we're going to... In fact, what we do first is head over to Boiling Bay. Now, for whatever particular reason... Oh, in fact, we've got to come here to fix the bridge. So, it's always worth coming to the Scorched Gorge. Go to the left and then up to where Cromda was. Chandler's basically going to say, Yo, dog, I built a, built a bridge, dog. D doggity dog, dog. Because for some reason, all dogs talk like dog. Hey, bro. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo. Anyway. And now we can crack on and welcome to one of the final two areas where we find the main uh, grumpuses. Sizzling Sands. Um, now, for whatever particular reason, I will go and find Shelda. And then I'm going to go to Boiling Bay and do Floofty's main quest. Um, there's no reason for it. There's, you don't have to do it in any particular order. You can do it as literally as big or little as you want. As, 
you know, in whatever order you particularly want. But I'm having a bit of a scan, having a little look around for the time being. But we're going to speak to Shelda to get Shelda's main quest going. And then we're just going to go to Boying Bay and do Floofty's main... <laughs> Floofty. Floofty the Lady Garden. That's what that sounds like to me. Oh, put your Floofty away. Um, <laughs> but that is what we're going to do. So, Shelda, after you... Um, uh, done having a little look around and everything shell that is basically right in front of you just across the pond um, Yeah, so let's just head towards shelter. Let's stop looking at things. There is a drink with straws for teeth <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and catch Mr. Sodi again. There are a couple of these in different areas So let's just catch him for now. Let's just grab this one while we're here while we're already in the water uh, Scablamo here we go, and this one is Sodi D. So I don't know why I don't know where the D comes from. Maybe we like the D from the Sodi D. So this Shelda, we're going to obviously just get his main quest going, her main quest going, its main quest going for for the time being, for a sec. Seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material. So seek the <laughs> seek the yellow soul. And we will be back with Shelda later. Now again, there's no particular reason why I've done this. I just wanted to show you how to get to Sizzling Sands. And I'm just going to show you how to get to Boiling Bay. Luckily though, as we just head back on ourselves, there is a shortcut that we can use. Plus get an achievement for it. So we don't have to keep um, walking and travelling all this way. Which, uh, <laughs> I mean that would get annoying after a while, wouldn't it? But what we're going to do is catch a new snack pot actually. Uh, so if we just turn to the right, just before we, or just after we get over the bridge, you can see this little snack pod right there, just having a little chill. Um, so we can go ahead and grab him. Now he wasn't here earlier. He doesn't. I think again that's just um, main story progression. Doesn't have anything to do with, do with time or anything. So just make sure to grab that puffy snack pod and then be on our way. So again, so where we're going this time, after we get to Snacksburg, we're going into the Simmering Springs. The third area that we unlocked, the beach with where Gramble, where we found Gramble. g g g gramble g g g g g g gramble Job done. Get cheese sauce. Now cheese, we actually grabbed from where uh, Shelda was sitting uh, a little bit earlier on. But for now, you can stuff, shove that banjo and put it where the sun don't shine, Wiggle. No thank you. Although I do like a banjo. Can't play one for crap, but I do like one. So, to get to Boiling Bay, here we are at the simmering of all the springs. And now, if we actually walk, as in walk forward, there we go. So, I forgot, I forgot how to use my legs then, or forgot how to use my thumb, apparently. Go down to the right, go down to the main beach area, and you're going to see Floofty there. And he's like, hey! And we're going to be like, hey! Come back, dog! And Boiling Bay is basically right through the boat on the right-hand side. So, that's a job done. So, we are going to do uh, Floofty's main quest first. Welcome to Boiling Bay again. The Sizzling Sands looked like a massive area, but it's not too bad. The Boiling Bay also looks like a big area, but it's not too bad. Generally, they're quite small. Again, a few scans to look out for. We've got a La Saud... For some reason, this is basically like a French part of the town. La Saudière. Hiding tree. Green crapple. Um, and paletos. Yeah, there, come here. Yeah, that was French, right? Yeah, it sounded French to me. Uh, no, just joking, my French. My English is awful, so everything else is going to be awful as well. So there is a paletos and green crapple. A couple of good things that we're going to be grabbing. But all we're doing, we are heading for the... Stop running after me, douchebag. We're going to be heading for this broken boat. <laughs> Just keep spamming the X button there when you get frozen to break free. Um, you angry little, you angry little lollipop. Go away. <laughs> Go away, angry little lollipop. So here is Floofty. So, uh, again, have a little chat with him and let us uh, do our first main quest for him. But what we're going to be doing first, if we go down the beach, head to the left here inside this open lava cave. Now we're going to open up the shortcut between here and Sizzling Sands. Again, don't worry about these flaming dudes. You ain't going to be able to catch them yet because, you know, fire and stuff. Now, there are four things with straws coming out of the mouth. All you got to do is put this in a particular order. 
Um, so the first one will be on the very right. So we're basically going one, two, three, four uh, in terms of how many straws are in the mouth. So the very right one, which is the fourth one, then the second one, then the third one, because it's got three straws in its mouth, and then the very left one, so we'll call that the first one, because it has four straws in its mouth. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that was a lot confusing or not, but anyway, as you can see, the lava goes away, we can now head into Sizzling Sands, plus we get the, that reminds me of, a puzzle achievement. But if you are on the Sizzling Sands, and you wanted to do it the other way, basically you've just got to get these worms, uh, I think you've just got to get those worms to face each other. These worms right here, or Incheritos they're called, basically tacos with diarrhea coming at the mouth. Um, you just gotta, I th I'm sure you just gotta get them facing towards one another, and that will open up this way, so we can get to the boiling bay a little bit quicker. So that's just in case you want to do that. Either way, you're gonna get that achievement and the shortcut. So, now let us crack on. Let's get out of here and catch a random banop nop. So the red bonopper is a bit of a hopper and he ends up in these trees just to the left of where we came out of the cave. So you can see where the trees are just bustling and moving right there. What you're going to see is the red bonopper moving. So just ignore where I've put the trip shot for now. Um, we will come back to that in just a little second and I'm going to tell you why. As you can see right there on fire. I'm just being chased around by a palatos by the way. That is why there was a bit of an edit. Will you? You angry. You angry man. So apparently, um, the Palatos will always chase you there anyway, because he's a bit of a douchebag. I don't know why they're trying to attack you, we could just lick you to death, mate. <laughs> How many people want that as a death, I wonder? Quite a lot. So anyway, we are going to be grabbing this little new bug snack. Since he wouldn't leave us a note, uh, since he wouldn't leave us alone, um, again, nine times out of ten, if you stood in that area, the Palatos will try and grab you. So just get him across the lava, so he goes on fire. Wait until he gets stunned out, goes in half, and then you can grab him. Then, we can go ahead and grab our final, <laughs> finally, the red bonopper. So, actually what we do, we're going to put the trip shot on the rock just in front of the lava. Put it up above the piece of wood there, or piece of whatever that is, just above. And then, you just got to wait. Wait! And then the red banana thing, that's basically what it is. They basically took a banana, shoved it red... And called it something else. Anyway, he finally gets the message and, you know, gets all smashed up. So, the red bonopper we've got. We don't actually need the bobsicle anymore, so that's all good. Now we just need to go back, turn Floofty's hand. Turn our little lady garden's friend uh, hand into the red bonopper. Nom, nom, nom. Intriguing. Excellent. That is one moth, the old snack. It is now capable of altering snack matter. Ugh. My body remembers what I eat. Use it. So, I thought we had to go all the way back and grab a strabby, but all you got to do is just press X on any of these uh, bug snacks. Assuming that you've got a couple of bug snacks just chilling in your inventory, um, just press the X button on any one of them and use the strabby on it. Um, right hand, left hand, doesn't matter where you put it. Um... But uh, that is just what completes that main quest. Very easy. Now we just need to turn his peg leg into a strabby. So again, on any particular snack, uh, bug snacks, press the X button there and put it on his left leg. Or is that right leg? No, left leg. We are looking at it right, but it is his left one, yes. So, do the same with strabby there. So we can get a strabby on his arm and his foot. But I refuse to use the snack activator again. Transform my limbs... <laughs> So, now we've got to grab a couple more bug snacks, Coco Mites, and the way we do that, we're just going to go and hop over this bit of lava, and on this tree you can see an X, or the, the sort of snack wrapper sign, if you will, so use a snack wrapper on that, grab the coconut, and then what we can do is throw it basically into the lava, and then that should basically go on fire, and it will smash them open, there we go, so we've got two bug snacks here, one greater and one lesser Coco Mite. And the way to do that, let's just them um, cool them off first, of course, so put them in the water. And then what we can do is grab the trip shot. It is as simple as using the trip trip shot, because they end up chasing you. But make sure to cool them off with the water, get them following you, and then just put them on this one tree again, right here by the lava. Pop it on this other post, 
and then just get them chasing you. Come, oh, come back here, douchebags. Come in. Right, there we go. So, kablamo, Marge. Well, that's going to hit one so we can grab... Oh, nuts. Eh, 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 I'm on fire. Will you... St Look now, you monkey's little butt bag. Right, try this one again. Ah, so this time we managed to get both of them. <laughs> so the greater and lesser Coco might. Right, so after a uh, well, pretty <laughs> pretty annoying first time around, if we can get both of them at the same time, we can. If not, just grab one and then put the trip shot in the same place. Well, you know what to do there. And then grab the other one. So now we just need to um, put both of those Coco mites uh, anywhere. We're going to give him straw teeth, because that's always funny. And then just do the same thing. So there is a snack grappler tree right by the boat, so do the, just do the same thing. Put him on fire, douse him out with water, trip shot him both to hell, and your inventory and back. Intriguing. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Hmm. My bot, can you even this means that all bug snacks are and now, now, use I want limbs of noodler, cocomite, banaba, and str Right, so what we need to do now is grab a noodler. So we've already got him as Kokomite. We've also we've got him as a strappy as well. Um, don't worry about the red banoppa. We don't have to catch another one. We can just use that snack activator thing and turn any of his limbs back into a red banoppa. But we do need to catch a noodler. And no, it's <laughs> for those who get excited about um, getting precisely zero nudes off women. It's not a noodler. It's a noodler. As in the noodles on fire, as in basically the hot and spicy pot noodle. Which, by the way, America, you are missing out. Pot noodle is, uh, oh, it's easy food. It's delicious food. So anyway, get your buggy ball out. Put some hot sauce down. The noodler is swimming right there in the hot and spicy lava deliciousness. Obviously, he's not going to follow hot sauce if it's already in the lava. So what you need to do is just put it on a rock. Um, oh, and just get it. You basically just need to get him over across enough uh, so we can come out. Get the buggy ball out so we can guide him out. Remember to keep the noodler following you. If he starts going back, just um, put the buggy ball back. Otherwise, he's going to come outside. <laughs> Look at his little <laughs> noodle nose. That's funny. Anyway, just keep him going until we get to the water. And La Saudière will uh, squirt him out. And then we can catch him. <laughs> Unlucky noodle bags. So there we go then. That is how we get the noodler. So we've got another new bug snacks. Plus we can finish off this quest. So just turn around. Go back to the floof bag. Noodler. Yum, yum, yum. And remember for the um, red banoppa. Just press X here to go on the snack experiment. On any of the bug snacks. And put the red banoppa on it. Anyway... Where there is already a body part with bug snacks on it. I have learned much. Despite your good, no matter how many bug, is there a threshold of grumpiness, or will I simply be? Hmm. The answers won't come to me without. F I will expect. <laughs> so off the old lady garden floof bag goes. Uh, he's going to stop showing us his floofty finally, so there we go. Uh, right, so what we are actually going to do now is just go to Sizzling Sands. Um, I was going to attempt to start catching this Sherby, but uh, we'll just come back to it later. Let's just get a nice tan by setting ourselves on fire. Uh, I mean, that is one hell of a tan, by the way. And then all we're going to do then is go back through the cave where we've done the puzzle earlier and just head back to Sizzling Sands to do Shelda's main quests.
Hi, Shelter. We're back, buddy. So, let us do this, then. So, Shelter's gonna need some cheese sauce. So, from where Shelter is, turn directly to the left, right high above the sky, on the cliff edge right there, you can see some cheese. So, we can snack grapple those, get five of those each. Um... The new Scorpepper, that's not Scorpino, Scorpepper, that's the um, second evolution there, apparently. He will start trying to fire bomb you to death, so near what he's about that. This is an Incharito. Now, we can actually catch one of these. What, what do you do? On When he gets onto hard ground, as you can see, you can just catch one of those. So, if you see one of those bulges coming towards you, go to any of those bits of hard ground. He is going to try and attack you, knock himself out, and then we can grab one. Again, don't worry if you don't get one yet. We'll have to get one later on in a during a side quest anyway. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What we're going to do just before we finish this main quest, we're going to see this egg right here, which is just in Shelda's, just next to Shelda's bag. Put some hot sauce on it, and we're going to pick it up. What we're going to do uh, for this one, for this next main quest, we have to catch two egglers, and this is the way we do that. So we'll just do this first before going there. So go over to this flying chicken wing right here, and again, make sure to put some hot sauce on it, because he's going to smash it open, because he doesn't like hot sauce. Imagine being so annoyed with something that you just want to smash it open. That's a, <laughs> that's a weird thing to have. So he is basically a big flying chicken. What we have to do now is obviously wait until Eggler chills out, but because he is a small one, he's, he's one of those little wiener ones that's just scared of everything. So he's going to go into the nearest bush. So just like the Strabbies and the Raspberries, etc. Put a snack trap down by the bush, move back, wait till he comes out, and kablamo, Marge! Okay, third time lucky. Let's try it again, Marge. Eggler. We caught cheesy poops. Right, so that's the first Eggler done. The second one is going to be on top of this big old steppy monument right here. This is where we're going to be catching one of the legendary bug snacks a little bit later on. Uh, so grab some hot sauce there if you need it. Otherwise, we can just put more hot sauce on this egg. Go ahead, grab that. And again, you're just going to do the same thing. So go over to the buffalo cust, which honestly just makes me starving. Hot and spicy chicken wings right now would go down an absolute treat at 11 o'clock in the morning, UK time, as I'm recording. Um, so just pop him down. I do try to get him on this little bit of um, broken rock right here, but he ends up missing the rock. Just smashes the egg open. Anyway, catch the egg and then head back to um, uh, Shelda to do this first main quest and get the second main quest all done as well. Egg Lightenment is going to be the next one it's going to be called. It should have been called Excellent or How Exciting or something or other. But what we're going to do, we're going to be grabbing another achievement right here. So get some cheese on your sauce slinger, throw it at Shelda so his uh, cheese and his whole body is all cheesed up. Take a picture of him, again clicking on the right stick, then the right trigger of course, and that will unlock the Say Cheese Achievement. Now, if you don't if you don't manage or you forget to do it in, on any of these Grumpuses, because um, you can't do it in Snacksburg, uh, for some reason it doesn't work, 
you can just go to the Frosted Peak and do it on Eggabell. So don't worry if you end up missing out. You can just go to Eggabell on the Frosted Peak, do that. Um, so you can't miss it, more or less. So what we have to do is now break two Prey and Picantuses. Now, I think I got lucky with doing one. Um, I'm not sure if this is automatic or if I got lucky or whatever. But what we have to do, we just catch a loaded Spuddy here, by the way. Um... Now, again, this one's pretty much admissible because there'll always be two that will always want to crash into each other. So, if they have crashed into each other, just make sure to grab one. If not, just, um, you know, get one to follow you over to another loaded spuddy. Make them smash. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just make sure to grab that one then. So, we've added that onto your new bug snacks. Right. How to um, break a prey in Picantis. What you have to do, he's obviously on fire, so we just have to lead him into the water. So basically like the Bopsicle from a bit earlier on. We have to lead him into the water, and after about 15 to 20 seconds, he'll just break apart. Now, I did get lucky with one. You can't actually um, get him down from here, annoyingly. So what I would do now, if you did get lucky with the one on the smaller rock a little bit earlier on, and I'll show you exactly which smaller rock there will be another one on, um, if you just turn around, <laughs> I, again, this is me just trying to get him down. Uh, so let's just, yeah, we're not having a, we're not having a good times. So this one just doesn't work. But look, to, to turn around, Kirschberg, turn around, because he's not coming down. All he's going to do is smash us around. So there's the smaller rock right there on the left, which should. Have housed the other one. So, if we've already managed to break one, again, I've probably done it accidentally. He went into the water and broke himself. All we have to do then is just sleep until any time, sleep till noon, sleep till whenever, and he will reappear. As we can just see, he actually just reappeared there as we went around the lake. So, it does take a bit of time for him to unlock, but still, when you grab him, when he appears on the small rock, put him into the water, wait 20 seconds for him to break apart. Now, what he does is actually break apart and turn into other smaller bug snacks that we can catch. But we won't actually be catching any of those for now. We will wait until a bit later on. So if this is your first one doing it, break him apart. Go for a sleep until noon, 5 a.m., whatever, and then just do the same thing. Then you can go back to Shelter. But apologies that that bit took a long time. I actually got confused as I didn't know when the hell I broke the first one. <laughs> For only an <gasps> so here is the final main mission that we've got to do for Shelter, and to be honest, it's kind of a bit of a slight pain in the old bumder snatch in the old buffalo chicken butt. Um, so what we're going to do is pot some hot sauce on the broken bit of rock right there, and Buffalo Cust is going to be like, "Hey!" Now you can try and catch him, but of course, remember he's on fire, so. That is going to go as well as, you know, crap in your pants. It's not really going to go that well at all. So, until you're on fire, we're going to head underground. Now, we have to guide a black raspberry. We cannot catch him at all. So, when we come underground, use the snack grappler on this gate. And you can go ahead and just grab some chocolate if you want in there. But, there is the black raspberry. So... There are two in Charitos, and remember I caught the one from earlier on and said not to worry. <coughs> Excuse me right there, how unprofessional as I talk about butts and stuff in my videos. Well, anyway, get the buggy ball out, put some chocolate on it, the black raspberry's going to love it. Now, the in Charitos are not going to love it as much, so they're either going to knock the black raspberry out for 10 seconds, or they're just going to smash the ball out of the way, which is just goddamn annoying. So, I highly advise, instead of trying to work your way through there, just get on one of these big broken rocks, like there, and catch these Incheritos just to get them out of the way. So, if you didn't catch the one earlier again, don't worry. You'll pretty much have to catch these just to get them out of the way, because these diarrhea tacos are goddamn annoying. Ah, right then, 
So, when that one is finally done, get in my belly! Diarrhea taco. So, we just gotta, again, we have to move, if the black raspberry, of course, goes in a bush, we have to move it, move far enough away so that he comes out. Get the chocolate ball going. Um, I mean, the path is quite linear. Um, there's obviously just a few obstacles there, so keep him going, keep him going behind. There is the another black raspberry path. Uh, we have to use our snack grappler on this bit of broken rock. Now again, he might just be in the bush, uh, just in case you get too close to him, but that's fine. Put some more chocolate sauce on it. Again, try not to get him in the water. You kind of have to guide him around this time. Um, and that's why there's a lot of chocolate flowers, by the way. Man. <laughs> so yeah, so let's get him up on the path. There we go. Get some chocolate sauce on him. And you'll have to guide it either very carefully or you can get kind of lucky there. And the black raspberry will just follow you anyway. Keep it going around. Now what we can do is just... We are basically at the end anyway. So now we can snack grapple that big part of broken rock. Don't go all the way up the ramp. There's no need to do that. What we can do is just use the snack grappler. Kablam! Put the uh, buggy ball full of chocolate on the launch pad right there. And the black raspberry will follow. So that is that main quest done, so while we're here, we might as well catch him now. Like I said, the quest is done. Um, <laughs> sometimes you may get lucky with uh, there being no enemies about. Sometimes you may get a bit unlucky, as you can see. Man, two inch Doritos are doing... Now, you can go ahead and clap, catch that flap jack rack right there, the flap jack with legs. Um, but I'm just trying to focus on the black rasby. Because... <laughs> God, oh in fact, there we go. That just made life easy for me. So you can either try and catch him with a snack trap, or you can just wait until a couple of Incharitos smash their nuggets straight into the black rasby. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. So we've caught him. Now we're just going to head back to Shelda, and that's the end of that chapter. Max Power. He's the name you love to touch, but you mustn't touch. I it. Now... Ah, my grumpy butt is so sore. Oh, note to self. Get a chair. And so, scooby doo wop wop that shall the bloody done. That's a nice flowery hairdo, bro. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head to Scorched Gorge. We're actually going to grab, because it is 8 o'clock in the morning. Again, I'm pretty sure this is just story related rather than time dependent for this one. But there is a new thing that's going to be flying around in the Scorched Gorge called the uh, Crystal Sweetie Fly. So that is what we're going to catch. There's the old cheesy poofs. You love cheesy poofs. And the Crystal Sweetie Fly is quite close to the en entrance slash exit. There it is. So that's a new one that we are going to grab. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is story progression rather than time dependent. Um, so what we can do, we're actually just going to go onto the floor. This is just going to make it easier. We're going to use the trip shot in order to um, catch him. Because using the lunch pad and the snack trap doesn't work as well as you think. So use the trip shot. Put it to the left of you. Put it to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with poo. With you. Sorry. Um, there we go, so as soon as the Sweetie Crystal Fly is on the way, that's going to get smashed up, and we're just going to catch that. Before, we're going to head back to Snacksburg, and interview Floofty Bag, the old lady garden part. Or, I suppose if you want to call a Floofty a fart, you can do that as well. Oh, excuse me, I floofty edited it. Although it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Uh, so anyway, we're going to interview... <coughs> Oh my gosh, please excuse my unprofessional ways right there. Um, so, Floofty is going to be on the left-hand side, and then Shelda is going to be next to Wambus's farm. But there is Floofty, right in the same tent with Triffany. We are going to do Floofty first, because he gives us one of the keys for Lizabeth's videos for the documentarian achievement. So we'll interview him first, smash through that. <laughs> I am Floofty Frizzlebean. 
in baby land to study bugs. <sighs> when Elizabeth, she was keeping it hidden, but she displayed. You are asking every time danger. I simply wanted to. I'm no. St <laughs> Would you prefer the truth? Eggabel truly are what to shelter, scram. Ultimately, yes, I have. The past so then, the little floof bag of fun has given us a myster mysterious key. Now we're going to use this key on the box we grab after we interview Shelda. So if we head to the farm on the left, um, obviously we've still got Eggabel's main quest to do, which we'll do in just a little bit. But we are actually going to come up and start doing these side quests soon. So let's just having a little check, see if there's anyone left to interview. Um, again, just have a look in the quests. And for me, of course, there was only Shelda. We will get the achievement as well for interviewing absolutely everybody, so that's pretty much unmissable. But Shelda, as I said, yes, that would be Flufty's house. Shelda is just next to Wambus's farm. So, yeah, you can see Wambus. There's Shelda having a chill. So, interview uh, the big shell dog. One is a one who... is a the toxin the mother one so it would she thrice were they warned so this a two look not upon it <gasps> or so I heard everyone is a fraud in a everyone is a fraud in a sense <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point actually we're all frauds we're all douchebags, but God, I wouldn't have it any other way. So, this is why i done Floofty first and Sheldon now. It just saves literally, like, 20 seconds of backtracking, but still. We've got... This is Eggabelle's locked box. We will now, as long as you've been following the video, get talking about bug snacks. If not, you just haven't interviewed someone yet. So, uh, have a look in your quests and then just interview that one person. Put the mystery key on this locked box and we're going to get the uh, video number 5. Which means we've only got three left to find. Now, after interviewing everyone, we should have all the keys necessary in order to complete the documentarian achievement. So, let's go to Elizabeth and Eggabel's house, which is right there, right in the middle of the main sort of square, if you want to call that. The first video is directly on the projector, in the projector on the table in front of us, so grab that one. Turn very close to the right, to your <coughs> immediate right, excuse me again. And we're going to use the cabinet key. This is cabinet key on this one. Grab the next projector and the third or the fifth and final video diary. If we go into the next room, ho oh, oh, a little, uh, little egg head bed on the floor. Use Zegabel's chest key on this one. That is where we're going to get the final video. So remember the the four or oh, video number four we got from Sugar Pine Woods. Directly to the right through the trees on the cliff edge, if you were somehow missing the one there. So if we have a look at our uh, clues, we should now have five videos. Three in the house after the keys, one in Sugar Pine Woods and one in Eggabel's locked chest that we got from Shelda. So all we have to do, go over to the projector, press the X button on it. And now we have to watch all five of these videos, which can take... I think they're literally like a minute and a half each or something. So for the next five minutes or so, watch all five videos. That is where we get the documentarian achievement. Then we are going to start the side quests. Yes, my friends, it is time. And the side quests actually take kind of almost as long as doing the main quests, which is that's nice. Anyway, keep watching these for now, and we will start the side quests in just a bit. I'll have to restrain. While the camera is on, trying to look strong for your audience. <coughs> so, how's it look, Bill? Think I'll be up and hunting soon? No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Edgar Bill, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> Speaking of, 
You haven't seen the hall from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack, and you'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me. Sydney, hello. Surprise! Hey. I'm back early. And have I got a story for you. Bill, you okay? I'm worthless. That's not true. We're just having one of those days. Every day is one of those days. Did something happen? Everything happened. Trifany broke her leg. Gramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. That's... None of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I just sit here all day while everybody else is out there all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like when I cut my paw. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Belle. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you, too. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. I'd fall to pieces without you. Damn, one thousand. Whew. You scoping my form? Egg? Uh, eight. Uh. Uh, hey, Inga bro. Good workout today. Let's hit the showers. No. This is pathetic. I won't break yet. Whoa, that's hard-boiled, Egg. Who lit a fire under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but you've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. No, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. And I will get you there. Thanks, Chanlo. And, uh... Ooh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Philbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Floofty. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that grumpus. Floofty's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiments, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine, so why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life, and you're just upset because it doesn't involve you! I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofy. Maybe I will. What's going on, Wiggle? Hello, darling. Today is the day I, Elizabeth Megafig, solve the greatest mystery of this island. 
I found a door near the frosted peak. What could be behind it? I wonder. <sighs> Wait for me, Liz! Belle? What are you doing out here? Following you. <sighs> Did you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun to hunt bug snacks together. I... if that's all right with you. That'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Chalo to show me the ropes, bro. Ugh. <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't know you were working. So just as this last video is playing, I'm just going to quickly tell you about the sort of edits and stuff on the side quests. Now, what you know, I've edited it down some, so I'll obviously show you all 38 side quests, but I have edited it down some, so that you're not just watching me go from place to place to place. Um, basically, what I'm going to ha what's going to happen is we're going to get the side quest, and I'm just going to basically load myself in two. The next place, wherever it is that we need to get the side quest done, if that makes sense. Rather than you just watching me walk to the next place, and then this place, and then that place. We're just basically going to get straight on with it. So hopefully that helps. Obviously, you may obviously have to do a little bit of pausing. Unless, of course, you can just fast travel to the place. Um, but that is what's going to happen. So now we should have the documentarian achievement. Now, like I said, we are going to start... Um, all of the side quests. So, as I said, you know, we've waited until this long, basically until we're at the end of the main game, as it were. Um, now, we've got all 11 characters to do, all 38 side quests we will be doing, and the first one we're going to be doing is Gramble. So, again, like I said, the, the video or the side quests have been edited down some in order just to save a bit of time. Um, and it doesn't, it's not as boring as watching me just go from place to place. We're going to ask the person. And then we're just going to get straight on with it. So, let us get a cracking. Now, if you feel like the commentary for the side quest is a bit maybe out of place with what, uh, with what I've been talking about so far, as we finally find Gramble, you're right. What I've done is I put the side quest into a separate video, and I've just popped that separate video in here with the commentary already done. So, it's a lazy way to do it, but sometimes it's just got to be done. So this is why I actually held off donating any bug snacks, because this is Gramble's first main quest, or side quest, sorry, and what we have to do. So his first uh, request is to donate six bug snacks to the ranch. Now I've got six on me, which is absolutely fine, but you have to go and get six of these bug snacks, put them in the ranch. Now what that also does is give yourself a snack pack upgrade, so you can carry an extra two bug snacks. So every time that you've got, and I highly advise, just every time that you've got a full set of, well, now eight, go and just donate them, and you will end up getting, I think, 12 or 14 overall. So just keep on doing that. But that's the first main mission done. Now we can go back to Gramble again. Sometimes you might have to go and sleep till either 5pm, or go to a new area and come back, and then the next side quest will appear. Um, sometimes, because sometimes it just doesn't work if you are just waiting for him to, uh, want to give you another side quest again. So, just be aware of that. I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug or not, but if the side quest doesn't appear above his head, go to a new area, come back, and let's go. Right. This one is a bit of a, an, an, it is a bit of an annoying one, to be honest. So, what you have to do is get the Queeble to the other side of the farm. Now, obviously, put the buggy ball down, get it in some chocolate. This first bit's not bad, but it is this bit. So you've got Befica, or, F or Flimbo, or Philbo, whatever his friggin' name is, and Wiggle, either side of the uh, farm. Um, oh, no, it is Befica, sorry. Philbo doesn't bother you. Um, so put some chocolate again on the ball. Now, what you can't do is actually just go straight through, because they'll end up just catching you. So what you have to do is basically lure them in. So make sure you got the Queeble. Make sure to lure them in. As you can see, you just cannot go straight through. You need to lure them away, and then basically send them on a chase. Um, so again, this one may take a little bit of time to do. Chuck some chocky walkie doodahs on that boy. I get the buggy ball going again. Right. So the easiest way I've done this then was... Inch ever forward to wiggle, and then get out of the bloody way, you queeble dingbag. That would have been the easy way. Get wiggle, and then go around the bench. But um, obviously, queeble got in my friggin' way. So we'll try this again. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head through the middle, ever so slightly, very gently. 
Okay, you need to be a little bit, a bit less gently than that. And then Wiggle is going to start chasing you and then just go around the bench. I just about end up getting quite lucky there. And there. <laughs> and then just keep it round. Now you have to walk up to the other side and put them in Wamble Farm. And of course you need to just do that as quickly as you can. And then as soon as we're here, Wiggle will leave us alone finally. And that is basically the end of that. Go over to the ramp. And that is how we complete this one. So... Yes, this one, to be honest, is probably the biggest pain in the ass side quest to do. Um, just because of that middle bit right there. But, once you've done, you've done, and you can put it up the bum. Oh, not that inch wrap burrito thing on the floor, though. No, don't put that up your bum. That looks like it's coming out. Right, so anyway, once again, I've slept till noon. I've gone to a new area to come back to find Wambus and Gramble arguing. So, speak to Gramble to get another side quest. Now again, with the, the whole side quest things, they might just be able to, you, a lot of the time you'll be able to just talk to them straight away, but again, sometimes you may just have to nip out to a new area to come back. So, what we have to do is do a bit of, um, a bit of catching some bug snacks now. So we have to go and grab a praying picantis and a scoopy Bloopy. Now, the praying picantis is in, um, 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 Sizzling Sands. And at this point, <laughs> at this point in the game, of course, I have not realised that there is fast travel. I'm not sure if fast travel is only available to you after you complete the main game. So we go in for a lot of long walks. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? So head off to Sizzling Sands for now anyway. So, as we begin then, we are going to go over to the right of Praying Pecan. This is a flaming dude who's just... I mean, he is uh, one of those... Um, uh, 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 Jesus Christ, I don't even know what they're called. This thing. That ugly bug thing right there. So, get him to follow you. Make sure to put your trip shop down first. Because, of course, we're not going to be able to catch him when he's frozen. So, when he does that and he is now on fire... Now... <laughs> Now, what he's actually going to do is go ahead and get revenge on the thing that kicked, killed him off. So, just keep going all the way to the trip shop. Hopefully, he doesn't do that for you. But if not, just lead him into the trip shop when he's not on fire. Catch him. That's how you get the prey in Picantis. Picantis. Yes, thank you very much. Now, what we can do is just head all the way to the Frosted Peaks. So, again... Uh, sometimes, a lot of the time, I will be editing down, so I'm not going to show you me running all the way over to um, <laughs> the Frosted Peaks a little bit, especially a little bit later on. Because, you know, you should know if, I mean, we've played the game this far, right? We, we know how to get to Frosted Peaks by now. But apparently, I'm going to show you this bit anyway. So, <laughs> let's just get there. Ah, bunga butt. How's it going? Flute. No. So, I'm not partis- You waste your- I'm never a- Oh, please. I'm no- You still have- But whether that- I thought-
So once we finally reach the frosted peaks then, uh, now like I said, there are two ways that you can catch this Scoopy Panoopy. Now you can either put the trip shot, which I end up doing, there he is, Scoopy. So you can either put the trip shot across the campfire, and then just have the Scoopy run into it, and then, um, I mean it's basically job done then. Or what you can do is just get him to chase you, put himself in uh, oh, actually, no, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm putting the trip shot. I'm going to tell you exactly the second option. Get him to chase you, although don't let him catch you, of course. Put him on fire, and then put him through the trip shot. You see, because you're trying to catch a Scoopy Banoopy, and it doesn't... Uh, yeah, yeah, so that... Awfully silly of me, old chap. <laughs> so, as I was saying, what you can do is put the trip shot on, put the Scoopy Banoopy on fire, like now... But of course, once again, I've done it in a particularly mongish order, but that's fine. It's it's still an order. And then eventually we get that. So, to make things a lot easier for yourself, put the trip shot down first. Put the Scoopy Binoopy in the campfire. Uh, lead him into the trip shot. Makes life a whole lot easier. So, when we are here, we're just going to go back to Snacksburg. Go back to Gramble. And put it in his barn. Hey! Rondo! Oh, hey, man! Oh, hello! Scoopy, Scoopy. Oh, hi! Uh, those... Well, no matter what's... So, nice easy one coming up then. Visit Gramble later. Ooh. Well, you want me to come around midnight? You want me to bring a bottle of wine and a Chinese? <laughs> no? Okay, well, I'll just bring me and my big old gramble. Right, so we can sleep until... Um, I think any time's fine, actually. So we're going to sleep till noon. I mainly sleep till noon just because that's most daylight and you can see more. Uh, so go ahead and find gramble. Sometimes conversations will happen, sometimes it won't. Just, you know, if it does, just smash through the dialogue, as we've been doing so expertly in the game. Expoitly. There's Gramble, then. Oh, you stupid Banoopy praying mantis. Oh, I know what it is now. It's a praying mantis. Sorry, I forgot what it is. Picantis, praying mantis. It all makes sense now, yes. Anyway, that is Gramble's side quest done. So nice and easy one to start off with there, to be honest. So now we're going to go with a bit of floof bag. Floofter Moofter, the Fluffter Muffter. Well, do you need my assistance again? Well, now these ones are going to take a little bit longer, and the main thing is eventually he's going to want to be fully transformed, which means we just need to feed him a total of 14 bug snats in order to fully transform. But for now, I mean, well, for this one it's easy enough actually. We can just go ahead and ask eight Grumpuses to help Floofty. So if it's in the I'd probably end up going to um, the daytime, go to noon, just because it'll be a lot easier, because there'll be a lot more people about. Uh, otherwise, all you got to do, you can ask any people, any ones at all, just go up to them, ask them to help Floofty to end this side quest. You doing all right? Oh, well. Catch you on the flip-flop. Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? What, are you kidding me, pal? I'm like... Well, that's that one done. So, you've asked eight out of eight people, or Grampuses. Does, again, does not matter which ones you ask. We're going to go back to the floof bag. Oh, yes, it's because you're absolutely nuts, my brother. You know, no? Perhaps then, as for you, I recall... Consider it a... 
So, as you can see, he wants to be fully transformed. Now, like I was saying earlier, every Grumpus, um, you need to feed them a total of 14 bug snats in order to fully transform their whole bodies. Right? That's good. Fair enough. Now, through everyone's main uh, missions and side missions and stuff like that, you will pretty much automatically get about six or seven already done. So, to finish this bit off, I would highly advise just going to Garden Grove, and there's pretty much at least 10, if you uh, include the snack pods. Um, there's five of the snack pods that should be unlocked by now in this area as well. Um, then you can pretty much just grab every, nab everyone once, and then job done. But otherwise, you can get, I think it's about nine, yeah. So you can get nine from this area with the two shish kebabs, Dr. Sodi, two bungers, white strabby, the two friders in the cave behind us now. And the weenie worm. So you can get at least nine. Miscellaneous achievement here. We're going to put our buggy ball down. Put the trip shot. Uh, use the trip shot on the tree. Onto the buggy ball. Wait until Bunga hits it. And that is the close line achievement done. So kind of easy that one. Just grab these nine bug snats in the matter of, you know, literally two minutes or something. And when we do that. Uh, after we do all of that, so we've got the Friders. Again, we're looking at nine. That is what we're pretty much going for. If you can grab eight or nine, that should pretty much uh, fully... You should then be able to fully transform the Grumpus. So, grab the eight or nine from here. When you're done with that, head back. Oh, in fact, we're grabbing the uh, White Strabby first, apparently. Okay, now we're going to start heading back. <laughs> so, yeah, after doing all of that then, we're just going to head back now to Garden Groves. And, well, that's all you got to do is fully transform the floof bag. Now, it's easy enough because if, if there's a body part that hasn't yet been transformed, it'll automatically go to that bit. So you don't have to, you know, go through each and every single body part to, you know, figure if you're missing one just in case. It'll always be automatically onto the... One part that doesn't have any bug snacks on it. So, go back to Floofty, do that, and that will be the end of the last meal side quest. What are you looking at? <laughs> what? Friday. Intriguing. Bunger. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Unbelievable. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. Strap <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. Very good. I have a few more pre- oh, I hmm. borrowed one of my brother's patented- Once the device has act- I don't. I need you- Plus another two random achievements right there, which is always good. Right, for this next one, all you got to do is push the button next to him and a little cutscene will play out. Oh, sorry, you got to feed him a bug snack, sorry. So, I've got the one Strabby. Whatever you got, give him a feed. And Snob is going to be like, you are put a start to this nonsense right now, Snorpington. If my hypothesis... And if you're wrong, even after everything you've done... Don't try to win. What you... Sh you are... I would think you... See, this is why... It's pit. <sighs> I can really. My work should stand for it. With the others, it is. <sighs> I cannot make myself under. And perhaps. And there, there goes. Therein lies the conclusion of Floofty's side quest. Right now, where we're going to go, we're going to go and find Shelda. Who should always be in its place of this hippie yoga mat thing. So give Shelda a little wake-a-rony. Bug snacks lately. 
you who continues, but one will behold the box of purity. Those box nuts placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. <laughs> So this first one is at least very easy. All we're going to do is offer a bug snacks, any bug snacks to the box. So as soon as you're able, or if you still need a bug snacks, just nip off to Garden Grove and grab one of them quick, very quickly. I've got a spat a strabby once again. Pop that in the box. Talk to Shell there. Job done with that one. Nice and cheesy. A wise choice was made. So I'll just go ahead, speak to the lad, lady lad, lady lad, lady lad again. Right. <laughs> That's a funny reaction. I was doing things about bug, and so it is. Ever the same. So. So once again, we have to go a little bit of traveling. We need an entrap, a cheese, and a green peel bug. So the first location we go into is Flavor Falls, which of course, as we all know by now, is the first area, the very first area of the game, past Garden Groves. So head to Flavor Falls again. Like I said, I've just started editing down you. Uh, me f showing you uh, just running there. I'll just tell you where to go and you can just make it and pause the video uh, That's a pinkle which we don't need so let's not bother with that um, What I'm also grabbing at the minute uh, to go to the right as soon as you head here into this little cave area sort of opposite where the waterfall is Now the in trap is just underneath it's underneath the ground But what I'm actually grabbing is a caramel pop tick because they only appear When it's raining in the day, so make sure that you need um if you need it for the 100 bug snacks achievement, make sure to grab the caramel pop tick down here when it's raining. Now we can just crack on with the side quest. So, there's an entrap. What you need to do is get him to start chasing you, and he will try and fly up to smack you on the boobs. Or whatever journalists, or whatever we got as uh, whatever. Uh, he'll try and smack us anyway, so just keep touching him. Keep touching him, and then he'll get all amber hurdy and be all like... <laughs> And then we can just shove your middle finger straight up. Come on, you big douchebag Amber Heard. Eventually, right, there he goes. So eventually he's going to get on land and he's going to try and hit you. But you've got to get him, you've got to lure him onto a hard piece of hardness. The best way to do that is probably to get the snack trap. So there we go. So if he doesn't do it by you just poking and prodding him, get the snack trap out and he will try and knock that one away. And he'll just get on the ground. But he needs to be on a hard piece of ground for him to get fudged up by, yo. Right, next, we're going to go to... Yeah, I told you we were going to this location, which is Sizzling Sands. Told you, yep, I told you that 30 seconds ago. Right, now, this one is an easy one. But it can be a bit of a pain in the butt if there are other enemies about. Because it's as simple as using a trip shot... Um, but of course, these spuddies will come try and chase you. The one burger thing with the tornado on his back, for some reason, will try and chase you as well. Sometime, if obviously, if you're in close proximity. So, to find the cheeser, he is around here. You can probably just see him waddling off in the distance, to the left. Can you just about see him there? There he is. So give him a picture. No, not the breakfasty bits, damn it. The cheeser. So like the Oreo things from, um... Um, from uh, oh, Sugar Pine Woods, this one just goes around in one big circle, as you can see. So all we have to do is find the perfect place to put our trip shot down. But again, like I said, <laughs> with these spuddies and all types of crap after you, it, sometimes it can make for potentially annoying viewing, or doing, as it were. So I do try and put it on here, but it's not actually, it, it doesn't work here, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. It probably would have if uh, the cheeser didn't just walk past. Anyway, this is where I actually end up doing it. So just in this area here, put it on the stone to the left and just wait. Put it across. Now again, be mindful of there, there may be some others that will try and smash the tra trip shot down. If not and you get a nice easy run, this will happen. You can just pick up the cheeser and job done. Now we need a green peel bug, which is in the location of... Scorched Gorge. So as soon as you go back one, we're going to end up back here in the Scorched Gorge. 
go across, get your buggy ball out, go across the bridge, take a look down, and you can just see a hole just in the wall there. So, we're going to be sticking our balls straight in, completely dry. Guide your balls in the hole, and then make a run for it. Give us some money in them, I mean, just make a run for it. Go into the hole, this sort of hole with the shy weenie worms, get your snack trap ready, and there is the hole. Make sure to get it out, and then, bam, that's the green peel bug. There we go. When you get all three, now we're going to head back to Snacksburg and give them to Shelda. Put them in Shelda's box. Put your balls in Shelda's box. There's something for you to think of. Blessings be yours. So long. Hey, how's the journey? Oh, great! <clears throat> Return one. Now again, bit of an edit here. I had to go to a new area just to come back in order for Shelda's next side quest to pop above her head, the symbol. So when we do that, we can now go and, well, do the next thing. So we need to... A sprinkle peed, a palatos, and a flat jackarack. Now the sprinkle peed is here in Sugar Pine Woods. So make your way there, and then we need to go up, basically onto the snowy part of the area, and we need to have a look at this big tower right in front of us. There it is, it's the donut. It's basically a donut with sprinkle legs, right? Happy days. So what we need to do, just get out your trip shot and just put him anywhere where the um, little obviously purple arrows are. That one is done, that's when you know he's going to start walking into there. So to do, to get him off, get your chocolate sauce slinger out, put your sauce slinger out, put chocolate on it, make sure to lure him down, and then he will start running away. Eh, after his chocolate, he bams, we slams, that's the first one done there, so sprinkle pedios. Right, now we need to go to Boiling Bay in order to get this pallet toss, or pale toss, pale tosser. Um... Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Right, so the Pale Toss or Palatos will always be here in Boiling Bay. And instead of trying to mess around with fire, what you can do is just lead him into the water. Pale Toss. Sorry, looking a bit pale to me. Lead him into the water, and eventually he'll start counting down. 15, 14. Ah, my butt! Get your stick out my butt, boy! And now we just wait for the countdown. Ah, and my butt! Oh, it's knocked out the soda can as well. Palatos! And there we go. Once it goes in half, you've got 10 seconds to catch one. Job done. That's the second one done. Now we need to get a flapajacaraca. And what we're doing is heading into the cave. Now, obviously, by now, if you've gone this far into the story and you're doing all the side quests, obviously, like we're doing after the main missions, etc., you should have opened up this secret area for us. Uh, the shortcut to go into Sizzling Sands, otherwise you've got to go all the way back to Snacksburge through Scorched Gorge. And it's just not, it's just horrible. So we're going to take the shortcut to Sizzling Sands. Right, the Flap Jackarack is, uh, he is in this area somewhere. And there he is. So he's kind of like a burger looking thing, except he's a Flapjack, that's why he's called Flap Jackarack. And it's the same sort of thing then, all you need to do is just get a trip shot, whatever he is. Make sure to just get a bit of stone, bit of tree. You know how the trip shot works by now. <clears throat> as soon as he does that, then he's a pancake with bacon coming out of him. Job done. Right, once all three are caught, head back to Shelda. Stick them in the box. And that's this side quest done. Hello, Tiffany. Hey. Nice to see you. Thanks. Yes. No, what's the plan? Might as well. Well, it's not in time. It's just. But the one who is why I have to set an example for the. I ate them. Spy. 
And in fact, that is the end for Shelda's side quest mission. So, getting through it. Right, next up, we are going to do Snorpy. Again, there's no particular reason why I'm doing it in this order. It's just pretty much because I can. So, we're going to do Snorpy's first. Or Snorpy's next, even. Big old Oreo teeth right there. And what we do is have to catch one Scoopy Banoopy. And of course, that means we have to go all the way up to Frosted Peaks. Now, apologies about the edit there. For some reason, I was... Being a bit of a dongleberry again, so I ended up sleeping. I accident—I accidentally blew him up, which of course we don't need because we have to catch him as, as one. So if you accidentally blow him up, just go to the camp there uh, next to Eggabel and next to the big main door. Go to sleep for a bit, and come back and then find the Banoopy once again. -y. So there he is, old big banana arms, but banana arm arms. So again. What may be easier to do is just actually lead him into the campfire as so. Bam. Scoop. And then get the trip shot out. So, get the campfire. Get him all on fire. Uh, through the campfire. Campfire. Get a trip shot. Will you stop hitting me, douchebag? There you go. Get the trip shot out. Uh, stun him there with the trip shot. Scoop him up with the Banoopy. And head back to Snacksburg. And just feed it to Snorple Dog. Well met. There is an unused disassemblage. Scoop. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Delicious. And while we're enjoying. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpinati. However, I have defend- I've said- Now, this next side quest of Snorpies will happen automatically. We just have to light up all seven of the flares. Very easy, this one. Not too difficult at all. So, there is the first one, which is already lit, of course. That counts as one. Get your trip shot out. He uh, have a look over Gramble's farm, and we're going to see the next one. So, there's that. Boom! Oh, we did just like uh, Scoopy Banoopy on fire as well. Well, that melt him down a bit, won't it? Right, from this second one, have a look behind you. Up. Uh, if you're going sort of towards Garden Grove. And give that one a smash as well. Okay. And of course, catch yourself on fire. If you need a tan, you do anything, wouldn't you? Right, so here's the next one. Drag that down. Pop that down into Wambus's farm. And again, catch yourself on fire if you so choose. <laughs> you know, preferably not. Now we can go back to the second one that we did. Take a look to your left. And right in the middle of the town is the campfire. Campfire is down, down. Um, and you got SpongeBob and Patrick there. No, just Chando and Snoopy. Right, the next one is to the left. Right next to our mailbox, pretty much. The sixth one is just on Elizabeth and Egbert's house. Uh, well, we can try and hit Chando with it as well if we want, but it was not working. So, the next one is just on Elizabeth and Egbert's house right there. And the seventh one is just on Philbo's house, which is just to the left, or to the right of Lisbert's house. Once we've done that, return to Snorple Vision to end this side quest. Now, what we are actually going to do is start the final bit of the main quest there for Eggabel. The reason we're doing it now is to get Snorpy's final side quest up, we actually have to have completed Eggabel's main quest because that is where we need to go. It's basically the first out of four legendary bug snacks. Um, and obviously Eggabel right now is in the way, so let's crack on with it. So the first one we need to do is open up the diary. We found Elizabeth's journal, of course, remember from Triffany earlier on, so open that one up. That will complete that one. And now what we have to do is go all the way back to the Boiling Bay. So, yeah, so again, apologies <laughs> that there is a bit of a um, bit of a break in the side quest there. I, To be honest, I actually thought I'd gotten enough of the main story complete in order to not be disturbed. But as it turns out, yes, you actually have to complete Egg of Bells a little bit first. I think I was worried about the game sort of going straight through the point of no return. Um, but as it turns out, no, it doesn't. So, we have to do... Eggabel's little main quest, which is fine. It doesn't take it doesn't take too long, probably ten minutes at most. Uh, so we can just go all the way to the end of the boiling bay. So past the palatos, all the way to the end. Uh, you know, set yourself on fire if you're still needing that excellent tan. You've got a palatos there to balance it out if you want and some water. But the uh, missing page is right here, right where that sherby is. 
Henyo. And the missing page is just in a bag right next to the sea, somehow not being washed away. So that is all of the codes done. Now we can just return to Agabel. So you have to head all the way back to the Frosted Peaks. Again, like I said, I'm pretty sure you can fast travel by now. I know I've said it enough, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to. So fast travel your way there, or run there, or wait for me, please. Jesus Christ, mine are bloody knackered, mate. So anyway, we have made it <laughs> all the way back to Eggbell. Now, what she's going to get us to do, we actually have to do a little puzzle. And all it takes is catching three bug snacks. And that's pretty much about it and putting them in these specific um, statues. So after we smash her out, not, not literally smash her out, of course. The old council egg creep, as it were. We need to activate these three bug statues. Now, like I said, what you have to do is take a picture of it, and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So when you scan it, that's a Chili Nilly statue. Into, so Mount Sodi, that's a Studler, Chippy, um, Flutter Jam, and this one is the Scoopy statue. So what you have to do is grab at least three of these, any of these uh, particular bug snacks um, Obviously, we're just going to go for the easiest ones and then put those three any three in the specific statue that it's at So what we're going to do then head back into the cave and then we're going to take a little sneaky snoop until 5 p.m Now the reason we're doing that is because the chili nilly not the chili willy I knew you were going to think that but no, I'm more mature than that supposedly not um, but this chili nilly only comes out after 5 p.m. So that's the reason why we've just slept until then, just before. So head out, head out, head out. There it is. Look, the old cracker jam in the sky. Kind of like the charmallow from the spring place, whatever we were. Um, sugar pine wood, sorry. So get a trip shot. Put it on the campfire so that it is on fire. It does take a little bit of a while to sort of go around. But of course, all you need to do is put the trip shot, which is on fire, onto one of these trees. Of course, make sure that the purple arrows are in the middle so we can go straight through them. Well, goddamn, that didn't seem to work too much, did it? Try it again. Eventually, it's going to work. There it is. So that's fan, just fan. Don't worry about it. Running out of fire, I'm pretty sure it uh, just stays on fire without ever burning, which is good. So, there we go. Chili nearly done. Whoa, where'd you bounce to, boy? Get back here, man. Use your snack wrapper if you can't um, <laughs> reach him for whatever particular reason. So that is the Chili Nilly. Now, uh, ignore the halfway there um, achievement. We're actually on 49 at the minute. Um, if you have a count anyway, we are on 49. So what we uh, <laughs> there's just something that we have to grab a little later on. So anyway, going up the uh, up the ramp where the Mount Sodi was and the Scooby Benoopy. This is where Chippy is. Literally, he is a cookie with legs. Pretty much like the majority in the game. So, all we're going to do is just find a place that we can put the trip shot down on. 
Anywhere around here, I think, would be great. Or you can just use the pole, of course. The pole's always going to be a lot easier to do to use. Um, so there we go. So now we can finally use it. So get it just enough. I think I might have just missed with that one. Yes, I did. So you need to put it a little bit higher. All right, I think we're good. So it can be a bit of a tricky one to do, but it's not too bad. Make sure to use your snack grappler as soon as Chippy is caught. And Flutter Jam right there is the very top of the mountain. But we're not going to be grabbing him. We're going to be grabbing the um, the Mount Sodi, I believe. Yes, we are going to be grabbing the Mount Sodi. So as you jump down, again, a bit of an edit. I started editing... I started heading back, but we're not going to grab that. You'll have to wait until the Mount Sodi is right in the vicinity. Otherwise, as you can see, it freezes. Freezes quicker than Dr. Freeze freezes his old freezing freezers. So just wait until he's right there and then quickly, as you can, grab the Mount Sodi. But you have to be quicker than that. Evidently. So, <laughs> so you have to be quite quick with this one. God damn, how cold is it in here, man? So just quickly jump in, grab it as quick as you can. <laughs> or I'm pretty sure you should be able to use your snack grappler as well. That will also come in handy. Anyway, we've got all three bugs now. Now again, there was a bit of an edit up there. Um, which said I'd already done two. But that's because I thought we had to get the Scoopy Banoopy caught. And as it turns out, it wasn't that at all. So, we've got a Chilly Nilly. So put your Chilly Willy Nilly Willy in there. Put the... Um, uh, chip, chippy one in the chippy one. No, that's not going to work. We need to put the chippy one in the chippy one. And we need to put the Mount Sodi in the Sodi one, which is the middle right one. There it is. So, Mount Sodi. Right, that opens up that. And we're going to have a little check with the egg council okay, creep. Right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I got the rest of the snacks. Okay, next she says... Oh. She says we need three Grumpuses to do the final step. No. The more of us... I can't let... It... Oh. I'll wait for... Right, so now we've got a nice easy bit to do. So what we've got to do is just head all the way back to Snacks and Bergen, House and Trousen, and just ask Philbo for help. So go and talk to Philbo, and you're going to come all the way back up here. So again, fast travel, probably your safest option, your easiest option, your quickest option. Good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Eggabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. The point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Whoa, what 
is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of... Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbert get in... Because she... Well, it, it... Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. No! Agabel? Yes, I. I was being. The earthquake hit and, and I was gonna fall, but she got. I'm so. Don't be. Please just. <laughs> I, I couldn't catch. And, and, and by. That's when we. Fill both. <laughs> and it's time. <laughs> I need some time to. Th and then. Thank you, Phil. Well, that went down like a pretty much lead balloon right there. So anyway, we'll get the Know Thy Neighbor achievement for returning every Grumpus to Snacksburg. That is pretty much story related. We ain't going to be able to miss that one. Um, so now we can actually just crack on with the uh, side quests again. So what we're going to do is head back to Snacksburg and head back to Snorpy Snorpington. Snorp, Snorp. So when we get back here, what we're going to see is the new assignment called Major Celebration. This is the final main quest that we can do, but of course, we are not going to do that. That is a point of no return. If you talk to Philbo, he will actually ask you, uh, or ju just the game will remind you, it's a point of no return. Do you, are you sure you want to go? Ignore this bit of black screen right here. It's just a slight edit. There we go. So we've s yes. found Snorpy. If now. it's the night time, he will be sleeping, of course. So go and get him up. If not, he will just be around here right by the mill, right by the basketball bit. So um, you speak to him and then eventually... Now again, if the side quest thing doesn't appear, just go out, go into a new area, come back and it should appear. Otherwise... Well, this is our final one. Let's get a bit of legendary, legendary boss bug doing. Which, of course, I do have a separate video for if you wanted to know tips. But I'm going to let you know these quick tips anyway. So, there's basically three phases, three different locations that we have to go for this cake boss. The first being right in front of us. Now, there are two ways... Yes, the sort of cheating, but it's not really cheating way, and the legit way, what you're supposed to do legit. So, put the trip shot down, blow up the candle, the daddy cake legs is going to appear. Now, what you're supposed to do is put a trip shot, again, take a picture of him so you know exactly where he's walking to. You're supposed to put a trip shot down on one of the icicles, and you're supposed to get the uh, two birthday candles on either side of him lit up. Again, you can either do it this way... Or, what I highly advise doing is setting yourself on fire and just running up to him. And that will end it quicker than Indian food passing straight through you. Well, not too worried. Right, so now we've got to go and find him once more, and then another time. So, this is the reason why we had to complete Eggabell's uh, particular story, is because this next cake boss location is located in uh, the place where Eggabell was standing, right in front of the mountain door. So when we come down here, uh, turn around after we grab the baby cake legs, go all the way around, and that is where the next one is. And then the third and final time that you have to fight Daddy Cake Legs is... Where we've been fighting the Boopy Scoopy Banoopy, 
all those times. So basically, from here, go straight up, and you'll see another mound with a little um, candle on it. Just smash it out, and that will be the end of Snorpington's side quest. <laughs> Another tactical retreat. Chin up, chum. We've almost got it. Sights. Let's say we take the cake. Brilliant work. The seismic activity had no. What a sick, I mean, honestly. But... Ta ta. Daddy. Come on. Ooh. A happy birthday indeed. Now let's hurry back to snap. Right after that one is done, then now we are going to go ahead and start Chandlow's side quest. So, yes, he needs help. These ones are pretty fun as well. All, all, all old Acorn nose right there. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be strong. Uh, if you go find the biggest... <laughs> so then, for the first one, he wants us to catch some aggressive, meaty bug snacks. Now, we only need three. Now, what I'm telling you is, crabs don't count as aggressive or meaty. Neither does a caramel pop tick, a scoopy banoopy, or a baby keg legs. So none of them are aggressive or meaty. Um, but, you know, we need them for the fully... To, to <laughs> fully transform every grumpus, so... Get it down, him, then. So what we're actually going to do then, we're going to head up to Garden Grove. Now, we only need three, and the three that we can grab are pretty much right there. And they are all for catching bungers. They are burgers. They are aggressive and meaty. I mean, they're meaty at least. I don't... They, they, nice and harmless. They're not aggressive. But apparently they are. So, first bunger. Don't worry about the shish kebab. He is not... <laughs> shish kebab, sorry. Not the shish kebab. But go ahead and grab this first mighty bunger. Bunga 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 bunga. Bunga 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 bunga. Right, there he goes. There's the first one. There is another bunger directly behind us as well. Just at the end of where Dr. Sodi and the river ends. Also, we've got a new snack hat. Chanlo's cap. Um, that is for completely another achievement for collecting 10 hats. Which I do have a video for as well. A separate video for if you want to watch that. Uh, well, let's try and do this trip shot again, shall we? There we go. So from one tree to the other, make it so. Bunga's going to nip there. Bam! That's number two out of three. Right. Let's go and find our third aggressive meaty bug snacks. And it's going to be... Well, would you look at that? It's going to be another bunger. <laughs> so what we're actually going to do is go to Befrica's cave. We're going to sleep till noon or whenever you want. Go down, catch a third bunger, then head back to Chandlow. Job done.
Sup? Bunger. Yeah. Bunger. Bro. Bunger. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, almost. I got a new... I got a new egg. I set up these... So this next one is a fun one. What you have to do is get your snackle grab, and you see there are weights just above uh, Chamlo's head right now. So we need to drop the weights on Chamlo. So the first one you can just about do sometimes you may miss sometimes as you can see i missed incredibly right there if you do miss they end up just resetting themselves anyway uh so here he comes again so bam make sure to get him dead on the money right there so that'll be two out of five. Third one just about grab the third one fourth one they're all pretty much dotted around all in one sort of circle circular motion which is fine but again if you miss as you can see it just resets at the top so they panic Wiggle, go and wiggle yourself up my way, please. Dumble bag. Dumbledore, dumble bag. So we've got three. Now we're just gonna wait. Sometimes it can be hard to tell exactly where he's just gone over the weights. It's it's kind of guessing, sort of in a way, sometimes. As you can see right there. So now we wait for him again. So yeah, only because because you're looking up at the weights, it's hard to see if he's actually on the platform. Or if you've missed him or not. But still, it may take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Just about got away with that one. There you go, 5 out of 5. That is what you call a workout, by the way. None of this squat, deadlifts, bench, and military press and everything. Just drop weights on your head, because that'll make you huge. Huge. Right, after we've either gone to a new area or gone to it and come back, we are going to... Um, basically do Chandlow's final mission, and it is for getting the secondary, uh, the second legendary bug snacks. Now this one, if you have watched my other video, my separate video for the four legendary bug snacks, you will know exactly what it is. It is Mama Mewen, who reminds you of one of those, you know, one of those, you know, Tinder girls who were like, Basically, she's very protective of her kids, so she's one of those Tinder women who are like, you know, these bloody plenty of fish and other crap that's out there now. God, how how old do I sound? <laughs> Just keep following Chandler anyway, but she does sound like one of those dating app women that's like, Nothing can between me and my kids. If you don't like it, then we can't date. Oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing coming between my and my 13 kids, right? Right, okay. And I don't know why she sounds like she does there, but... Uh, there we go. But that is what Mama Mowen reminds us of. So when we follow Chandlo, a little bit of a cutscene is going to happen. There it is! Wambus wasn't kidding. That snack is huge! All right, you big bug. Here comes the Chandlo Slam! And so, to smash out Mama Mowen, what you have to do is see all these statues there, the frog statues. You need to get the wee Mowens in front of it. And then what's going to happen when you catch one, Mama Mowen is going to be all like, Oh, I get off my Tinder profile. You don't like my kids. Piss off. And then we're going to be like, damn. And then, but when they're in front of the actual statue, you can just see the stalactites just above where the uh, frog statue is. So, that's what we're going to do. You know exactly where this is going, don't you? Um, as I'm just having a look at me, wee Mowen. So, put the snack trap down right in front. Try and put it right in front of the middle of the statue. Grab one, get your snack grappler ready. As soon as the wet big one comes, hit the stalactite above, and that will hit Mama Mowen. You have to do this three times. Don't worry, there's plenty of statues to go round. You just need to hit her three times, and then we need to hit her a fourth time for the final blow. Oh, my God. 
So what's gonna happen then for the final blow, which you don't want one of her 13 kid mother, uh, just joking. Chandler's gonna go and distract her, get your snack grappler ready, and as soon as she goes over to eat Chandler, get the stalactite above her, and she'll shrink faster than a cold wiener. Um, <laughs> just joking. Hey, <laughs> well anyway, that is a new snack, Mama Mo Me Mama Mewen, and that is concludes Chandlow's side quest, so getting through it, slowly but surely, yeah? Yeah! I was hoping I'd get twice as bigger. And Chandlow isn't- I spent my whole life climbing up, bro. There's always gonna be something so next up then, what we're going to do is Crondo's next missions, you know, this clown looking dude who's just angry with the world. Kind of reminds us of Danny DeVito, but we all like Danny DeVito. We all love Danny DeVito, in fact. So, again, you'll look like you're scheming. Yeah, we're going to do naughty ones, but as soon as we press the A button there to just get rid of all of this snatch... <laughs> Funny. Right, so what we need to do is catch a buffalo cast. Now, where we have to head to is Sizzling Sands. So I just like that bit of dialogue. Fifteen. Right, there is the Motha Supreme. So that is the big one that we have to collect, the third legendary bug snacks uh, just after. But the buffalo cast is basically a flying chicken wing on fire. So, yeah, make that what you will. It sounds delicious, actually. So, the way we get him down, obviously he's on fire, so we need to lure him into some water. So, get a buggy ball out and whack out some hot sauce on it as well. Because, again, there's nothing wrong with a bit of hot sauce on an already hot buffalo wing. Especially one that's on goddamn fire. Oh. Right, so, get him over to the buffalo. And, again, try and stay next or close to this little body of water right here. As soon as he starts flying, now I'm like, oh, crap, where's the water? Where's the water? And it's just right in the middle of the map, obviously. So, make sure he's still following. As soon as he is, Buffalo is going to get shot at. Squirt, squirt, squirtle. He's going to get squirtled. Bam, bam, bam. And <laughs> you can just catch him right there. So, kind of looked like a tanned lady was just about to give birth more than an actual bug snack. But, but hey, but, hey, it's some good designing. I can't, you can't beat it. You can't. And now I've just I've just got buffalo wings. Hot and spicy buffalo wings in my head, to be honest. No. Oh, the joys of this game actually makes you incredibly hungry with the half of the crap that you put out there. Especially the daddy cake legs. That was a Yeah, that was a nice one. But anyway, right, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Back into Snacksburg. Go back to Cromdo, and that'll be the first one done. Hey, <laughs> I am stuffed thanks to my f Guess so, just- Did you say buffalo -cus? Take it? Uh, well... Never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not letting a crook like- No, 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 wait, 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 I- <laughs> Business as usual. I try to play nice and fair, I get a- Yeah, well, if meet me outside- <laughs> All right, now, here's the plan. I'll keep watch. So, now we're about to be naughty, not naughty, naughty, you teasing me. But we are actually going to steal Triffany's map. So, we are outside. You don't have to go the long way around the house that I did. The, the entrance is right behind Cromdo right there. So, um, you know, if you want to waste sort of 10, 20 seconds, then go the exact way I did. But there's Cromdo. Then I'm like, oh, you son of a... Anyway. Uh... You can slowly walk in. I'm not sure if sprinting or anything makes too much of a difference. I just go nice and slow and quiet like. Like a re like a cat. Like a ninja cat. Like a ninja cat with AIDS. Apart from the AIDS bit. Just a regular ninja cat then. So the map is on the... St 
at the top of the stairs on the desk. Slowly climb back down and we're going to see Wambus um, talking to a cactus for some reason. Tell him to go back to sleep. Cack, Triffy. Ah, cack. Ah, <laughs> it reminds me of a cack. Anyway, once we are out of here, obviously turn right to give the map to Crando. Cramdo, Cromdo, I can't even remember his bloody name. And that will be it for this one. Now, we can't actually do his third side quest until we crack on with Befica's. Um, I think we have to do three of Befica's side quests before they have an argument, and then you're able to do Cromdo. So, for now, we'll come back to Cromdo a little bit later on. What we're going to do is crack on with all of Befica's one. And Befica's... Hello, bestie. bestie! Yeah, they're big gums. Um, yeah, Bifika's are very easy. She just wants you to find out what people do at midnight and stuff. So we got to find out what Mi Wiggle does at midnight. It's already about half past 12. Of course, if it's not, just go ahead and sleep to midnight. And then just follow Wiggle right here. Wiggle, Wiggle, that booty right up the Grambles farm. You know what she wants. You know what she wants. She wants a bit of a Britney Ouch. Any South Park fans in here? <laughs> Come on, Queeble. Don't be... <gasps> Darling! Uh, well, I'm... Don't worry, Wiggle. Don't look all pissed off. We are, we've all been there. A little midnight sneaky sneak around. Anyway, when you... I want to have found out what Wiggle does. Well, let's go back to Befica, tell her what we know, and then we will start the next side quest. OMG! Sounds like Wiggle has not in my old life. I would have... Uh, I used to... Oh, right. Have you found any... They're the best snack ever. There might be some hiding. And luckily, this one is uh, very easy as well. It's part of the rumor mill, but apparently you've just got to catch one crispy snack pod, and that, once again, is in the Garden Grove. Uh, so, uh, let's go to the Garden Grove. Yeah, nothing else much to say right there. Now, the first one, and only one that we can grab, I say only one, there's five around, but the quickest one we can grab is, as we enter Garden Grove, go to the right, go into Beth's cave, and there should be one there, but apparently, I've gone straight and grabbed the one off the cliff edge right there. Um, so, you know, either one, doesn't matter which one you get, but there is one in Befica's cave right there, if you wanted to grab that one instead, makes a difference. Anyway, head back, and that'll be the next side quest done for her. Ah, uh, chum, I need, you see, my seismic Chandler and I are headed to... Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the chance. Chandlo! <laughs> hey, hey! Snip. So again, automatically, the third quest for Befica should appear. Also, just ignore Snorpy's one right there. That is just for the free DLC, which we'll be doing at the very end of the game. Um, or if you want, I've got a separate video for that one as well, if you wanted a complete playthrough. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and sleep until midnight here. Obviously, it depends on what time it is for you. But uh, I'm going to sleep until midnight, and then we're going to go to Cromdo's house and just follow him. Come on and do the wiggle with me. Do 
the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. I do the wiggle, do the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. Yeah! Huh? Is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep! Hey! Chrono likes a good dance like the rest of us. And he doesn't even need a drink, unless he's been drinking, which is fair enough. I need a drink to dance personally, but there we go, that's um, <laughs> that's Cromdo's thing anyway. Now, after this one, what we're going to do is go out of the area, come back in, and then Cromdo and Befik should be having that argument. That means we can then finish Cromdo's quest if you want, but, like I said, because we're already doing Befika's stuff, we're just going to go ahead and do Befika's stuff. Um, or sleep until noon, sleep until midnight, what, whatever the do -si do whatever the do -ri me Let's try that one again then. I uh, don't think you actually have to go out to the new area. I think as soon as we go over to Cromdo's house, uh, they'll start the argument. Yep, there it is. Hey, I know you've been spying on me. Or you'll what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You think I'm the only one? Sooner or later, you're going to be back. Uh, whatever. <laughs> now, what I was doing, I wasn't following Befika to the toilet before you called me an absolute perv, but take a listen. Oh, did I say take it as Sorry, what I meant was, wait until she comes out, and then the next side quest will appear. <laughs> of course, we're not following Befrica. We're not following you to the toilet, Befrica. We were... I, I genuinely was wanting my next side quest, so... Okay, well, let's just brush that under the carpet, shall we? And go and find her those three grumpy snack pods, which will be on the Simmering Springs Beach. So then, there are three, I think there are five boats in the Simmering Springs, but I'm just going to show you exactly where um, the best places they are. This first one is directly in front of us. Climb up on all these sort of rock pool things right here. When you're in this area, go to the right in this little tree flowery area. The first one is going to be right here. Grumpy snack pod, even though it looks happy as hell. Anyway, we can just jump straight forward. Jump up onto this next rock if you can. Oh, well, actually, we can go down on the floor. Go over to these next set of rock pools there on the left, and the next one is just chilling, having a good time. I mean, I suppose it's grumpy if you look at it upside down, but it looks happy to me. Right, go through where the uh, bench is, or the hammock is, and tent and everything is. The next and third grumpy snack pod is on the wall to the left. So make sure to grab that, and then we can just head all the way back to Snacksburg and give them to Big Beth. How's it going? Hi. Ah, thanks, bestie. Isn't it so sad that I? No, for whatever reason, whatever I tried, Befika's next side quest wouldn't come up. So this is uh, one of the points where, if this happens to you again, go to a new area. Just come straight back to Snacksburg, and it should appear above Big Beth's head. So, it's snooping time again. Yeah, now that Sno I never got any dirt on Chandlo. If anybody... <laughs> Imitation Beef 1 and 2. So we're on to the final two side quests anyway for Big Beth. Uh, we just need to find out what Chandlo does at midnight. So, with that, we are going to take a little snooze until midnight. Man, this journalist the dude's got it down. Now we can go to the mill house, where obviously the sawmill and everything. And all Chandlow does is basically work out in the middle of the night as well. Uh, to get the conversation going, you actually have to walk up to him. And that one is all good. We're just staring, staring him out while he works out at midnight, apparently. 
Job done. Right, go back to Befrica to start the final side quest for her. What's up? What? Shut up. The more innocent I have an I I need you to try. And for the final time then, we are going to head to Simmering Springs for Invitation Beef Part 2. Now we just need to turn Befka's arms into green snacks. The way we do that is to catch four green grape skeetos. Uh, so if you've got a full set of um, uh, bug snacks there on your bottom left hand corner, make sure to give them all to Gramble's Farm for obviously upgrades and to get rid of them all so you don't have to keep releasing one. But these green grape skeetos only come out from 4pm till 4am, so just be aware of that one. It's half one in the morning, so we're all good. So if you don't see one yet, go to sleep till midnight and they should be out. Or, you know, 5pm or midnight, that'll be fine. So, the way to grab these, put these razzies, put these rasbies, get some chocolate on them. Green, green grape skeetos are going to come down. And as soon as they get a bit chungus malungus, too much to fly, yeah, give that a little catchy duty. Same thing's going to happen with that one. So what we're going to do then is just put the chocolate onto these rasbies and let the green grape skeetos do their work. There's the next one. Then just go back to the um, little camping tent area with the hammock. Sleep again till 5pm or midnight and come back and grab the next two green grape skeetos. Grape Skeeto ate the Mars Bars job, Jan. Right, head back to Snacksburg, and you need to turn Befica's arms, remember. All of her arms should be green snacks. So make sure to do it on her arms, and her arms only. Otherwise, you'll have to come back and grab another one. And <laughs> we don't want to do that, do we? Evening. like a campfire later great huh? oh yeah great ah uh -huh. great uh -huh. great ski uh -huh. oh yeah this is here's the plan so will it and obvious it's not so snort <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Chandlo, is that you? Oh, uh, there's no. Oh, uh, where? Bro, you remember that deep. Oh, ah, uh, Chandlo, it's hard for me to know, but the truth is, Chandlo, I. <laughs> Befika, what did you get here? How dare. Uh, bro, she just rat. Hello? Ooh, I like gossip and stuff, but I'm not like that. So apparently you've turned her into Marge Simpson now as well, with the gummy frog thing on her head. Anyway, talk to Befica, that will be the end of her side quests. And then after that, what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to Cromdo to go and grab our third legendary bug snacks. <laughs> Ready to get rich? <laughs> so 
So then we'll automatically go to Sizzling Sands. So all you gotta do is just follow Cromdo for the time being. Out of this dump! After this, I won't have to work another day in sales for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use the cash to open a little karaoke bar where I can serve fancy drinks and sing as loud as I want. And I'll owe it all to bug snacks. Oh, and uh, you, of course. Hey, check it out. An old timey casket. Wonder if there's treasure in there. Hey, hey, get it, get it, get it. Don't cut it. Eh, whatever. On to the real price. This is the place. Looks like we gotta do something to call the bug snack out. Should be a switch right about. Da, 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 da. Ah, here! Whoa, that is something, all right. But it looks like we still gotta blow this thing open. See if there's anything good and explosive around it. And so, when it all kicks off, then, we've got a pizza cutter, hilarious, because the Monster Supreme is a pizza. Use the snack wrapper on the pizza cutter to open this one up, and this is called a Bombino. Now, when they are stunned, they are this is currently in a stunned state, just drag him over, drag him up, and push him onto the um, rock right there. And you can catch him as well to get yourself a new snack. Now, what you, all you have to do to get the Monster Supreme to appear, we just need to put our lunch pad down. Right in the middle there. Lunch pad in. Monster Supreme comes. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Now, it's... I mean, the majority, it's easy enough. The final um, phase of this big flame pizza can be potentially luck-based, but it's not too bad. So, what we have to do then, we have to awfully, obviously... We need to get the stunned and not on fire so we can just um, go up and put it on the lunch pad at the top. So, keep them following you. Keep them following you into the water. And eventually, I mean, they must be stupid, but, uh, you know. No, get right, there we go. So, don't catch them. Of course, we've already caught one. That's fine. Just what we need to do, he's going to stick his head in. Then we can grab it. Go all the way up to the top. Now, luckily, we don't have to do this with every single one because a lot of them will be sucked up by the Monster Supreme, fall down, and be stunned. So, there'll just be a load of these bags everywhere. So, put it on the lunch pad. Now, what he'll do is go from each of the four sides. So, just wait for a second until he goes over to the next side before aiming and launching it at him. Uh, just in case you start, you launch, and then he moves. It's a pain in the butt snatch. So there he goes, he's over to the other side, give him a whack, go straight down, get your snack grappler out. He'll have a couple of seconds, so make sure to get the pizza cutter down, and that'll be the first phase done. So do this for the second phase, exactly the same thing for the second phase then. So, let me explain why it's going to be a bit more luck-based than skill-based this time. So, this time around then, the Monster Supreme is only going to go to two of the four pizza cutters available. So, for you, it might be different, but all he's going to do is just swing from side to side and get more of these hurricanes up. So, what we have to do is get one of these Bombinos to the opposite side of where the Mothra Supreme is. So, obviously, for... Obviously, he's just going to go over to the other side. So, wherever, wherever he is now, go to the opposite side and put one of these Bambinos down right in front of these statues. Now, what should happen then, hopefully, is with his hurricane, he whips it up and he knocks himself out. Uh, but that's all you got to do. I'm doing it in a really stupid place because he's not actually coming to this place. He just, once again, he goes to the opposite side. That's all. So, I'm like, yeah, do it. And then he sort of flies straight past. And then I'm like, oh, man. Man, what a goddamn douchebag. So, as you can see, when he is the opposite side, like now, 
go to the opposite side that he is. How many times are we going to say opposite side, by the way? And then put some of these Bombino bags down, and hopefully he will knock himself out. But again, it can be luck, because some will fly straight past him, but he will get one that will hopefully slap his pepperoni bowels off. So like I said, it may take a while, it may take you a lot quicker. Luckily for me, he gets knocked the fudge out, son. So again, make sure to quickly get your snap grappler out. Use it on the pizza cutter. Skablamo, friend! That's the end of this third legendary bug snacks. And that is the end of Cromdo's side quests. Yeah, girl! Hubba, hubba. Nice work, pal. Let's go. Befica to cut the grump, Cromdo. And maybe your feet. Or. You sneaky little. Oh, uh, wait. All right, all right, all right, all right. She and yours. Oh, no need. <sighs> this hey, you don't get it, pal. You think I like being a scumbag? Because then I got some, but I wasn't born rich. So unless you're gonna. So after finishing with the angry stupid man, Cromdo or Grumpus, now we're going to do Triffany's side quest. These ones are very, very nice and easy. Um, just a couple couple of quick ones. Should take no more than 10 minutes, this one, nicely. Uh, so talk to her again. For, for whatever reason, the <laughs> dialogue option we need is on the bottom there. Sounds lovely. Right, so, well, let's nip off over to over, uh, Flavor Falls. We're going to go there automatically. Alrighty, what we're And all we need to do then, we need to feed Triffany a pinkle, which is the jar, as you get whacked in the air by the sandwich. You could really do with a subway now, to be honest. And we need to scan a stone grumper. So there's the pinkle. Again, this one's very easy. We just need to use our trip shot. Oh, in fact, no, I think we can just um In fact, no, I think we can just use the um 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 Baba the Boopy. You know, Baba the Boopy. No, trip shot it is. Okay, sorry. I thought I was going to go for the snack trap there. Sorry, but we are slowly ever inching forward. Don't get too close to the pinkle, of course, because it'll just hide inside itself. So, yeah, we were using the, the um, <laughs> tri trick shot. Or trip shot, sorry. Don't need the jar. Nah, go away, picklehead. All right, so we've got the pinkle. That's all done. Now we need to go and scan a stone grumpus. Now, it's not behind this waterfall. What it is, is the opposite side of the waterfall, where we got the inch wrap, or the inch worm, and the caramel pop tick earlier on. So just underneath here, uh, again, click in your right stick, and that is the stone grumpus face on the right hand side. Couple of other things if you want to scan them, but the main thing is that's that grumpus face. Go back to Triffany, and uh, just smash all the dialogue, that will end this particular one. That there, all that's unlike, in fact, this me. So cool. Oh, 
wow! You might have noticed Pinkles. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. But oh well, let's head back to... So we follow her back, and now we're going to go for Triffany Numero Tuereno. That's just the uh, hat snack achievement stuff going on right there. That, once again, is in a separate video or in the main 100% achievement guide. Right. Yep, yep. Triffany, okay. let's go speak into her again. Yep. Yep. Right. yep. Now we're going to go immediately to Boiling Bay. So, again, no traveling for us this time. De Rifle. Lovely place, isn't it? If you don't mind. So again, the two easy things we've got to do. Scan a treasure chest, which is um, in the water, which is fine. We can grab that one easily. And we need to feed Triffany a pal Palatos Pale Tosser. And there, of course, is the Pale Tosser. So, you know exactly what we have to do. Let him in, lead him into the water. He's going to smash that soda out of the way, which is incredible force as well. So, just keep waiting for a sec. As soon as it splits up, go ahead and catch him. And from here then, if we turn around when we grab that, you can see the open treasure chest just underneath uh, this little arch or something. Or the remains of something, whatever that is right there. Um, also, if you want, grab a new snack while you're here. The, uh, that's the fruity one, right? That's the fruity snack pod. Happy fruity snack pod. Anyway, we've scanned the treasure chest. We've got the pale tosser. Uh, a paletos, sorry. So let's go and feed it and speak to Triff once again. He disappeared at sea. Hard to tell what it re. Paletas. <laughs> oh. Deal. You know, Floofty's got a. No telling yet. It could have even. <sighs> I didn't mean. <sighs> See, but we never. It's really. <sighs> Anywho. So, back in Snacksburg, we're going to talk to Triffany once more, and the only thing that we've got to do left, all we got to do is go to Frosted Peaks and do some walking. Yeah, we got to climb up to the highest point of the mountain, uh, and you can do that literally. There's only pretty much, there is only one linear path to go to the top of the mountain, as you can see directly in front of us. Or you can just follow Triffany, up to you, but all we're doing is going right at the top of the mountain, and that will end Triffany's side quests. And then we've only got Wingle... No, Wingle. Wiggle and Wamba's left to do there. God damn it, stupid monkey head, you took a time. I'm gonna freeze my balls and nips off up here for, for, for what reason, please? There is no reason. So let's talk to her to end this. this now, when we get back to Snacksburg, talk to her one more time What's to completely finish the side quests. That will be that. Yes. Ooh. If I wanna.
sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog. Oh, may I keep it? I Go ahead. I'm... I'll never... The end of Bronica Lotta... Just like everybody else, a place where I... But, you know... Now we are down to our last two final contestants! Sam, the second to last one is Wiggle! Now, you're not gonna see me ask her for the side quest, I'm not telling you why, because while I was recording, my electric went out and the recording got blown away! So, when you do speak to Wiggle, what she wants us to do is catch a Sandopede. Sub-Sandopede, Sandopede, yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, obviously I've already caught one there, which is bloody annoying, but I'm going to show you how to do the side quest anyway, of course. There's only three for her, so that's all good. So, the first way, when you speak to Wiggle, <laughs> Wiggle, Wiggle me timbers. Um, the first one, she's going to want us to catch a sandipede. So, go to Garden Groves and then go to Flavor Falls. And as we are here, we all pretty much know how to catch a sandipede by now. We've done it a couple of times for various reasons throughout the games. There's the sandipede. He's going to slap you out of his way. Right, go around the corner, as we all know. Get your trip shot out. Put it on this rock in the middle. Put it to the rock on the left. And... Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, wait. He's going to explode. We're going to grab all four pieces. I think only one um, is pretty much needed, but grab all four anyway. And that's the first one for Wiggle done. So now, of course, what you can do is go back to Wiggle, speak to her, and then she will give us the next side quest. Hi! Sando! <gasps> wow! Sando! <gasps> What she's gonna want us when you speak to her for the second time, she's gonna want us to catch a white chi poof. Now, these are only available after 5 pm. So, since it's a delicious quarter to eight right now, let's go to Scorched Gorge. Oh, Gorge, that is scorched. Scorched Gorge? Well, that's where I have my wedding, eh? Right, anyway, when it's in the night time, sort of after 5 pm, as I've said, go to the left right here. Now you can see the white chi poof just hanging, chilling, having a little fly about. And this one is as easy as putting your lunch pad down, putting your snap track on it, and slamming it straight towards him. hi -ya! Hardcore, baby. Right, go back to Wiggle, and then we can begin the third and final quest, and the fourth and final legendary Bogue Snooks. Scooby wanna Scooby Snooks? Hello, darling. Now again, it may be the case of when you speak to Wiggle, um, or that her side quest option doesn't appear above her head. Again, if that happens, remember, go to a new area, come back, and it should be there now. You don't have to do anything else, but now we can do the final achievement. Not the final achievement. I mean, it is an achievement for uh, grabbing the last legendary bug snacks, but the final quest for Wiggle. So all you got to do is follow her. She is going to sing, by the way. It's going to take literally three or four minutes for her to sing before we can actually do the final <laughs> bug snacks of legendariness. Crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. Mug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. <sighs> Another 
empty venue. And if you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Oh my God. Ooh, yeah. Where's the, where's the... <laughs> so, as you can see, I skipped the song. Nobody else needs to hear that. You're already going to listen to it. So, what you have to do for Mega Maki and Mini Maki. Uh, it's just a case of getting the trip shot down at the specific pot, but he's going to attack you with these balls. If you get, if he attacks you with these balls, move away from the poles because they can actually destroy the poles and uh, they don't actually grow back. So, if you hear him say Mega Maki and starts attacking you, starts throwing his balls in your face, well, boy, you better know it's time to move. Otherwise, all we can do for the time being is just get this trip shot on exactly where obviously the purple arrows are going and just wait and we wait So when he gets closer, get your snack grapple ready, because what's going to happen is the, his body's going to explode and they're all going to start running away, these mini Mackies. So you need to grab as many as you can. Again, it's three hits, so you can only grab three. Hit him again, it'll only grab three. But it's basically now the same for just the rest of the, the second and third phase as well. Every time he attacks, move out of the way of the poles, so his balls don't hit them. And, you know, nobody wants to hit their balls on a steel pole, do they? No, no, no. <laughs> Not me, personally. Um, but again, the only thing that's different this time is he's flying a bit longer. No, flying a bit higher, sorry. Close enough. So all you got to do is find the purple arrow, um, sort of where his path's going, in terms of where you can put the trip shot, and it's about as easy as that. Mega! So we've done it, we're coming up to the end, again make sure to get your snack grappler ready, grab the final three, although for some reason it, I'm sort of making, I'm making meal out of this last one, it's because Mega Mark, he comes and slaps me with his head, he's fed up with sticking his balls in my face, now he wants to give me head, nah, <laughs> not when you're about one inch, sorry pal, so after you grab all that, Mega Mark, is, is done, go ahead and speak to Wiggle to end her final quest. And, of course, the achievement for Bossy Bugs will unlock as well, providing you've done all four. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let wow. Aha! My head is just... Do the... Such a... So, these side quests may feel like they've taken a long time, and you'd be right. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like it's taken longer than doing the main quest. But anyway, just before we head on, um, we are going to catch the Golden Queeble. 
So I'm pretty sure he appears at any time of the day. So as soon as you see him and he's in that bush, wait until he pops out. You know, actually wait until he pops out first. That will always be a bit handier. Um, I'm not sure if um, if he if he's a bit too close, it might not come out. Nah, I think he should be fine. Just put your snack trap wherever he uh, disappears from. As soon as he comes out, there we go. Smash that one. So we grabbed the golden quibble. Now we can head back to Snacksburg. Now we've only got one particular side quest dude to do, and then finally it's done. Really enjoyable game so far, but I do sadly feel that these side quests kind of dragged on a bit. Didn't need to drag on for as long as it did, personally. It's almost longer than the bloody main quest, man. Oh, that's, oh, that's what I did. Why is that? Be and I've seen time and... Well, that's a nut. And finally, after what seems probably like hours, days, and weeks, we are finally on to the final couple of side quests for Wambus. And again, these ones are not too bad. It's We've got to plant a root and a fruit bug snack in the garden, which means we are on our way to Garden Grove once again. And Flavor Falls, actually. So the first one we're going to grab is the White Strabby. So when we get into Garden Grove, we're going to go straight, ignoring all the bugs underneath. We are coming up to the end. Tell you what, these side quests definitely did feel... Definitely did feel kind of chore-ish towards the end. Exactly kind of like the mailbox missions right towards the end. But still, we're there. So there's the white strabby. Uh, so again, you know what to do. Put your snap trap down. Hide away from the bush. And just wait. I still love some of these names. They've literally just gone right. It's a strawberry. How can we make it into a cute little... I'll just take some letters out. Screw it. Or we'll just get something that rhymes with it. Now, of course, if you could actually catch him first time, that would be very, very good. And less inconvenience for you than it would be for me. And there we go. All right, so got him this time. So that is the White Strabby. After this, we're going to go to Flavor Falls. So just head there after this one. And the white rootle is basically, well, he's at the beginning. So as we turn the corner, you can just see him, his little whiteness. There he is. Not not veggie bits, wrong one. There we go, white rootle. So he's just going to do the same as the strabby. He's going to be scared, hide. So put the snack trap down, move away. And as soon as he gets his big white, little tiny white thing up, slap it down. You're going to get a new snack, of course, if you haven't caught him first already. And there we go. Then we can just go back to uh, uh, Bug Snurks, Snurks, Snacksburg. So <laughs> why do I keep getting them confused? Let's go back to Snacksburg and we're going to plant both of those. You don't have to speak to Wambus, just plant them both to end the first side quest for him. So, go ahead, speak to Wambus anyway, after we've done that, and that'll be the roots and fruits done. Now, for whatever reason, we always have to go to a new area and come back. So, yep, do that to get a new assignment. This one's called Soil, so we need to go ahead and catch a Spuddy. Now, Spuddy are just the big crab-like things in Scorched Gorge. Scorched Gorge! So, go ahead and head to the gorge of Scorch, of the porch from the torch. Yes, I am El Rhymo. Right, Spuddy will be pretty much easy to catch. For, uh, if we just go left here down the river, you're going to see them. You're going to see them. There's the boy. All you got to do is get them together, get them all stunned. Job done. That's how you catch Spuddy. And why not catch a second one as well? Right, head back. Go and talk to Big Wambleberry. You heartless, you mind your own business. You know that's not what I'm that's so. I wish Ooh, 
little bit of a lover's quarrel there with Gramble, huh? Wambus? Hmm? Yeah. So, anyway, uh, he actually just, he doesn't need the Spuddy. So we actually have to feed it to uh, Flimbo. Philbo. I don't know why I keep forgetting the names, to be honest. Philbo Baggins, of course. So, chuck him wherever it is, and then basically after that, he is going to want to crap his pants. And we've all done that. I had a, um, <laughs> I had a delicious takeaway the other day, and, well, not 30 seconds later, I decided to absolutely crap my balls off. That was a painful gut one. You don't need to know my toilet experiences anyway. So, right there, we've seen the X button. That is us picking up the bag of soil. It's basically right next to where Philbo was taking a dump. So, you've literally just picked up Philbo's dump, more or less. Right, so, go ahead, give that to Wambus. To, um, you're, t you're telling me who we meet. Jesus Christ. So, again, apologies about my uh, little toilet story there. Anyway... After the third time, I think at this point he was just having another little argument with Triffany. <clears throat> so, what we need to do now is for the final one, we need to plant a snar coral in the garden, a Incherito, and a Sherby. Uh, again, they're not too bad to catch, they're just obviously in the places which are annoying to get to slightly. Uh, hi, piss off! Sorry, sorry, Wiggle, I meant hi! I just gotta go and do more stuff for more people with no extra pay. <laughs> so, it's funny, right? So, Snackweary then is in the Simmering Sands. He's basically the little drink right there that has been popping up all through the game. Um, all through here, he hasn't stopped, so get your trip shot out. He's gonna go up, down, and... And smash. So, Snack Query is very easy. The first one, job done. Now, we need to go and get an Sherby will be next. So, Anne's Sherby will be next. Now, this one is slightly a bit of a pain in the butt. Ever so slightly. Basically, just like the Incherito from earlier on, it goes underground. But it is also frozen. So, what we have to do is get him above ground. Plus, we need to set him on fire, just uh, just in order to be able to catch him. So, uh, you can use the trip shot if you want. But again, if you want to just want to make it easier for yourself, uh, what you can do is just go up to him. He's going to go above ground. And then just use the chocolate sauce. I believe it's the chocolate sauce, anyway. Uh, it's going to be the chocolate sauce that you need. And just drag him over to the fire, and then that will do it just fine. So, yes, chocolate sauce. Get the buggy out. There's the Sherby. Drills beneath the sun. Now, why would you want to do that? Leave my beach alone, beach. Right, so, bubble ball out. Put some chocolate on it. And then let's guide him away. Now, what he might do, he might start um, going underground for you. As long as it, it should be fine as long as he's still following the chocolate ball. There he goes. So as you can see, now he's going to start coming above ground. So it's fine as long as he's still following. Just get, just put your ball in the um, flames, and then make sure to go back over to Sherby. It should still be chocolate on him. He's going to try and eat the son of a monkey. Well, he's not, but we're actually just going to catch him by slamming the fiery ball into him. So. Where there's a will, there's always a way. So that's how you catch Sherby. It's the easiest way to do that. Just buggy ball him on fire. Job done, bro. <laughs> Job done. Right, next we need to grab an Incharito. So we are going to Sizzling Sands next. Right, what I'm inadver inadvertently going to do first is to show you how to catch a, uh, a tack roach. Now, this is after you break a prey in Picantis. So, there is the Picantis. Now, I actually done this one by accident, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, oh, okay. Well, what that can't do to you? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it properly instead of a quick sort of show how. Um, so, put the prey in Picantis in the water anyway. And we wait, and we wait for Mega Death Dorito Head, hot and spicy Dorito Head, flaming hot, searing pain. 
Right, now a couple of things will break off, including an injury though, and there is the tack roach. So, what he would normally do is just go and hide in a bush. Um, God damn you, Incherido. So, he would normally go and hide in a bush. Then, you just have to put the snack trap by it, move out, and wait for him to do that. Or, as you can see there, you can just get an Incherito to knock a tack roach out. And that's how you catch that boy. And then again, if you wanted to catch an Incherito, if you haven't, you should have by now. But this is how you catch the Incherito Diarrhea Soft Taco Yum Yum. So, that's how you do that. But anyway, we're back to Snacksburg, and, well, Howdy. that is pretty much it. That's the side quest done. One tear rolls down my face as all this schnit is done. Uh, right, all we've got then is one left before we get the side tracked achievement, and we're just going to visit Wambus later. So we're going to take a little snoop and snoop and snousins. So we still need to... Um, Grab at least 18 in the box there to get the full, I think it is 14 or 16 or something. Um, so we'll just take a sleep. You can take a sleep anywhere. For some reason, I went all the way home. Run, little piggy, all the way home. There we go. So as soon as we interact with Wambus for the last time, the sidetracked achievement will finally appear. And then we can just crack on. Yeah! Screw you, side quest. Stick your... Goddamn pubes in a sandwich and eat them! <sighs> anyway, that is finally done. Now what we're going to do is actually grab another missable achievement. No more side quests, but very importantly, this side quest means that we can do the final quest and get the survivor achievement without worrying about any of the Grumpuses dying. But what we're going to do then from here... Please ignore the um, quest in the top corner. Of course, remember we've done that. This is just an edit. Um, actually... Mm, actually kind of messed up the edit so i'm putting it here uh, but all we're going to do when it's in the night time go to garden grove now immediately get your camera out turn to the right and take a picture there is going to be a weird bug snack so go to the right take a picture now as quick as you can that will get you the candid cryptid achievement if not and you end up missing it for whatever reason there is one on the very final mission that stays uh, i think you just stay still or you can just take a picture quite a while away uh, from quite far away and you can get that achievement there. Or, if not, you again, what you can do is just head... Um, uh, sorry, sleep until midnight again. And then go back to Garden Grove and try that one again. But that is how you get the Candid Cryptid achievement. Right, what we are going to do now... Is just get one more missable achievement... Or two more missable achievements until we get out of this. So... What we're going to do is grab this Scoopy first, uh, this Instabug, sorry. So Instabug will pretty much always be in that hiding bush, being a bit of a pansy. So as soon as we grab the Instabug, now these are specific, we do need to be grabbing, in fact it's not the Instabug, but we can grab the snack, uh, the new bug snacks anyway. But what we have to do is break open a Scoopy, Scoopy Benoopy. So we need to break him open, basically for the um, Sunday Best Achievement. Uh, just like the... There you go, Scoopy's going to break. So just like the achievement where we had to turn a Grumpus with a uh, Bunga, Sodi, and the Frider, this is pretty much the same thing. So we have to get a Scoopy, a Bnopper, and a Cheery. And the way you do that is by breaking apart a Scoopy Bnoopy. Scoopy, Scoopy, Scoop. That looks goddamn delicious, by the way. So all three of them are off. I thought I could get... Um, the Bonoppa straight away, but as it turns out, it didn't. So again, the Instabug, very easy. If you didn't catch it there, you will catch one. They just hide in bushes. But for the Cheery, go into the bush, same bush that he did. Um, again, try not to stare at too long at the bushes. You know, we've got things to do, buddy. We've got places to see, people to do. Uh, sort of. As soon as he comes out of the bush, snack trap that one. So that is Cheery done. Now, with the Bonoppa, just like the red Bonoppa earlier, the red gone off moldy banana earlier we'll be doing the same thing so he will go and hide pretty much um in any tree but after you break up in a scoopy they normally end up in the same place um you know hiding in the trees and the bushes and stuff so as you can see the binopera is flying from tree to tree so just get the trip shot on the one tree into the other one and that is how we're going to catch this skinny banana boy job done right now to catch a scoopy 
Uh, he's just going to appear, like I said, underground, and he's going to attack you underground, etc., etc. So, why don't you just... Go away, man! What you need to do, anyway, is get the chocolate going when you don't get iced up. Make sure you've got a trip shot that is on fire, or just grab him up to the fire. You don't actually have to put the trip shot on fire. What you can do is just get him close to the fire so that he turns on fire, and that is job done. Again, don't try and catch him yet, because... Ah, my tannage, my tannage, buddy. There we go, there we go. So, eventually, we're going to chill out, and then eventually, he's going to chill out being on fire. So, just wait for a second. He's going to start melting. Melting! I'm melting. But, there he goes. So, as soon as he stops being on fire, then we can catch him. So, that is the Scooby. That is the Bonopper. That is the Cheery Dunner. So, now we need to get the Midnight Snack Achievement. The way we get that is by basically feeding Gramble. So, of course, remember, Gramble doesn't like any um, food. For, um, he doesn't like to eat bug snacks. So, the only way we can do that is when he's sleepwalking in the night. So, head back to Sugar Snacks for now, anyway. Or Snacksburg, or whatever it's called. So, of course, you need to make sure Gramble is all sleepy as soon as he is. Let's feed him. We're going to feed him anything. I had a Scoopy Banoopy, but of course, you can feed him the Cheery, the Banopper, and the Scoopy. So make sure you've got those three, the Cheery, the Bonoppa, and the Scoopy. And of course, there was a bit of edit in there because, again, I messed up uh, a, a little bit. But I'm showing you and telling you exactly what to do. So hopefully we're all good there. So get him the Cheery, get him the Bonoppa, get him the Scoopy. That will get the Sunday best achievement. So we just knocked out two achievements there in one because we are strong like Big Dong. You know, man? Yes, absolutely. Right. So we've done all the side quests. Now... The main reason, like I said, we've done the side quest before finishing the main quest, as I probably already mentioned earlier, is that the Grumpuses become invincible. So, the now we can actually talk to Philbo and get it going. Again, it's going to tell you um, it's the point of no return. So, But it doesn't matter, because any other achievements and stuff we can still catch later on anyway. Um, but I, again, highly advise doing the side quest, because if you don't do the side quest and you don't get all the Grumpuses' invincibility... You may miss out on the survivor achievement, and the survivor achievement is for making sure that all Grumpuses survive. So again, to summarise, highly advise, do side quest, then go nuts. That, that, that's pretty much, yeah. So, we need to get everybody dancing, and we have to do a couple of things in order to do that. Yeah. Listen, Philbo, I appreciate but these Grumps aren't friends. Sure, but... <laughs> Here's such a so, Big Phil is going to go and dance on his own anyway. Now, what you have to do is actually speak to the person first, and then go and do whatever it is that they want. So, I end up changing the um, radio station right here. Um, go and speak to Befica, but she's like, Nah, bro, I don't want to be dancing. Screw Dan, man. <clears throat> um, so, what you have to do is speak to her first, then go and change the radio station, and then Befica will dance. 
OMG, they're playing my song! Next, we need to go and grab some what is called Bug Snacks juice, which I assume is at least 80% of uh, volume there to get your knockers going. Grab one of those there from Crumbler's table, and just behind you, we're going to give this one to Wiggle. That'll be the third dude to dance, third chick to dance, or Pineapple Nugget. At last, Bib! So, for the next two, what we need to do, go ahead and speak to Gramble. He's not going to want to dance because he fears that Wambus is going to stick his hat right down his nugget. So, what we have to do is go and speak to Wambus. He's going to ask us to get him some more 80% pure Russian um, crab juice, or bug juice, sorry. So, go and give him one of those. Go talk to him. Go back over to Gramble, and that'll be the two of them dancing. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. Hey, now I... Gramble. I... You... You're... I don't tell jokes. Oh, apology. No, but I suppose... So, this is a bit of an easy one. Let's go and get some more of that delicious bug juice. And then if we just go behind where the bug juice sign is, throw it at the big... Nut thing just above Shelda's head, and that will get him dancing. A heart enraptured is my. Now, what we need to do then, go ahead and speak to Floofty to get another two. We have to go and speak to Floofty and Snorpy, and they're gonna have what is supposed to be an apology, but I've seen. I've pulled better apologies out of my... Hey, hey. Right, so we're going to tell him to go and dance. But to get Floofty dancing, what we need to do is go and speak to Triffany. So all the way behind you, just where Wham behind Wambus, go speak to Triffany. Now you've got to make sure to say uh, you should go dance. Talk to her again. Yep, speak to her again. Go on. That way. And then say you should talk to Floofbag. And then he... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Then she's going to go and talk to Floofty. Then we just need to speak to Floofty again, and then you have to speak to Triffany again, and to get both of those dancing, that should be 8 out of 11. Oh, you believe it when Triffany has convinced me. Phew, I'm all topped out. Makes me want to shake my tailbone. Right then, to get Snorpy and Chandlo dancing, what you have to do is speak to Snorpy, and he's going to be a bit, uh, bit nervous. Maybe he just hasn't brushed his teeth for a while, those cookies are not going well. Right, when you speak to him, he is going to go and speak to Chandler, who again is just behind Crondo's house. So that's where we need to go. So, you know, go there. Ah, there we go. Right, little conversation is going to happen, and the cutest, most wholesome thing in the whole game is happening. Oh, Snorpy, we've been dating for you. Wait, wait, what? Dude, remember that time we made up? Well, yes, I, I just thought that... Sorry, Snorpdog. Zach. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. How cute is that? We thought they were just too different, but... Ah, that's nice. Look, Snorpy's happy and everyone's happy. Right, go ahead, speak to Cromdo to get everyone dancing. The party goes well, until it doesn't. did it, buddy. We're all together again. Well, almost all of us. But you know what? Knowing Agabella's out there gives me hope that Lisbert is out there, too. I mean, none of this would have been possible without you, buddy. I know you have to go back for your job eventually, but I'd sure miss you if you left. And, well, you still need to interview Lisbert, right? So... Our end is nigh! What? End? Well, is, is that a metaphor, or...? Gotta move! Now! Uh, are, are you okay, buddy? 
All right, I, I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm... Our doom approaches! Pray to your gods, children! It's the queen of bug snacks! She's rising from the depths to devour us all! The Grampanati aim to silence us for good. Their machinations are coming to fruition! Now hold on, we're not gonna die because of some cult or monster. That's right! We're gonna die because the volcano's going off! That's right! Wait, what? Oh, bad timing. Suppose we're gonna end up buried like all the others, eh? Come on, bro! We can survive this! As long as we got bug snacks, we'll be fine. My barn collapsed! All of my little ones escaped! Bummer. Whoa, 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 we're homeless and out of bug snacks? Oh, it's a grumpy grump world now. <laughs> uh, dibs on eating Philbo. Please do. I'm quite curious to see the result. Will Bethika turn into Philbo or the bug snacks he's eaten? Hold on a moment while I retrieve my notes. Hey, 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 don't give up yet. We may not have homes or snacks, but we have each other. I know it's pretty scary right now, but we can't fall apart every single time something bad happens. We have to stick together. Well said, Philbo. Edgabro? Edgabro! You're all right! What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back, Dr. Batanugget. Uh, hey, everybody. Chandlo, Floofty, Mr. Troubleham. Doc? I'm glad you made it. Does that mean you figured it out? That's right, Philbo. I know how to get to Liz. That's amazing! We gotta go right away! Ooh, sorry to say it, but is now really the best time? This might be the only chance we get. Liz is in danger, and this disaster is only getting started. The worst is yet to come. So spills forth the toxin unending! Quiet, you! Doctor, you are only subjecting yourself to needless risk. Elizabeth is likely deceased. Dog, this bird is alive. And we're not gonna leave her behind. I just need Philbo and, uh, Philbo's buddy. Sorry, Chandlo. Bummer. Well, what are the rest of us supposed to do while y'all were gone? You prepare for the worst. What do we need right now? Well, I'm sick of being in the dark for one. I wanna know what's out there. No worries, Beth. I'll build a couple bonfires, maybe a watchtower. Whatever's out there, we'll see it coming. But what do we do when the queen comes to devour us? Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. How about the more practical threats? You know, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and what have you. Simple. We find a way to get off the ground if the need arises. Well, none of that matters if I starve to death. You got my sauce. <laughs> no way, pal. I ain't gonna chow down on that nasty plant goop. Mm. I stand corrected. No more concerns? Great. Let's get to it then. So then, there's not really much left to do now until the end of the game. So what we're doing, we're going to follow Egabel, and then a whole bunch of things are going to happen. But the path, the path, the pathway to it uh, is pretty much very, very linear. So all we're doing is heading to the Frosted Peaks, following these guys, and um, yeah, there's not a lot much left to say except, come on, baby, keep on rocking. I got tiny. Fingers, but that's okay. I don't know what I'm on about today. Still tall. Oh, do you need a break? Uh, how about water? Let me check your vitals. No, no, I'm okay. Besides, we're we're almost there, right? Right. But in the future, you could stand to do some exercise, or, or just hang out with Chablo. Alright, we're here. Um, 
How we get this thing open, Agabelle? Turns out she wrote the order backwards. I guess even the great Elizabeth Megafig can still make mistakes. Well, <laughs> nobody's nerfed, <nerfect>, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. We're coming, Liz. One, two, three! stuff. Ugh, it's slimy and cold, and I, uh, I, uh, I kind of want to eat it. Uh, if Lizbert is really down here, we better find her fast. Let them through. Now this is unexpected, very unexpected, from a game which is supposed to be about catching cute foods, to this, interrodasting. Philbo, hmm. are you serious? I regret. You came here to interview Elizabeth Megafig? Fine. This, this is the art. That's kind of, it's disgusting. They're parasites. They get in. They make you want them. And before you know... It's not... You'll show them a weakness. What you see here, this is what's left. They always win. After I saved Egabel, I fell in. Bug snakes were crawling down my throat. And that's... I almost lost myself. But somehow I pushed back. I made them into me. That's right. I just wanted to make everyone leave this awful place. <sighs> no. They're so ravenous that they're shaking. But it's like fighting us. There. I'm sorry that I put you... I can't hold them back for... Wait! If you're really not coming back... What do you mean? It's only a matter of time. I, I'm. <laughs> they, I'm sorry I put so much on your shoulder. Me? What are you saying? I led you to. I didn't understand what any of. So now I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. Liz, no. No. I should be the only one to suffer the consequence. Ha! Uh. Uh. Bill? Get up. Get. Hey! No, you stop it! I didn't... We're getting out of here. Uh, I... I can't. If I step outside this cave, my connection to the... Huh. Move over? See? It worked! It... Wait! Huh? Oh, huh. Mm. So, um... Oh, <clears throat> but I'm sure Liz and I can keep it together. What?! So hey, don't worry about us. We both survived so much by ourselves. Okay. It's time to get moving. Get back to snacks, food. We're going to have to take a bit of a shortcut. Hold on.
back to Snacksburg as fast as we can. We can't let the others eat any more bug snacks. If they transform all the way, then, then, then who knows what'll happen? Oh, why did we feed them so many already? Until we're all so this is going to be the start of the very, very final mission. Like I said, as long as you've done the side quests, you don't actually have to do anything. You can literally just take a chill pill. So what we're going to do, the main crux, crux and the crannies and the fannies and the funnies and the floofties is, you're going to go, I think it's about four or five, but you're going to go to two of the grumpuses that are fighting off some of these bug snacks. Again, didn't expect to be saying that um, <laughs> throughout the game. That's what we got to do. So basically, we're just helping two two grampuses at a time until we can all get on the boat, flying boat ship, and leave. So again, as long as you've done your side quests, uh, you will get the survivor achievement. If you haven't, it's pretty much just a case of they'll give you a weapon like the snack trap here. We just got to smash those off. The next will be uh, the shooting saw slingers and stuff like that. All very easy, um, but uh, yeah. So. Well, I'll just enjoy for the next five minutes or so. <laughs> Never mind. Buddy, you better put that trap to good use. for now, buddy. Go and help the others. I'll have the balloon ready by the... <laughs> Stay still, you pug! One has... I'm a swan. It's not enough. Ah, but here comes someone with a healthy capacity for violence. Take this device and clear a path for us, please. Enough mortal danger for one day. <laughs> Come on, snacks! Let's see what you got! Uh, Tom, I've just finished another device. The trick. Don't worry, Snort. <sighs> oh, you. I'll pilot the drone. You and. How about this? Hell you! <laughs> Don't celebrate too- oh. <laughs> uh, You see anything yet? All this smoke is making- <laughs> Don't worry- You got it, fire it!
Whoa! It's almost a shame to wait. Oh, bestie. But now. Eh, short. Hey, Another one for us. Yes, oh, my back. Never come back. I don't feel like I'm even scramble. I'm not a pop. Well. Ouch. over. No time. Come on now. Get, get, get your varmints. It's no use, Wambi. Must have learned a few things since the Stone Age. Well, what do you want me to do? I won't let them take my garden. There's hardly any garden left. There's enough. I still got my special sauce, fresh grown. Oh, good thinking. What? That's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't see you there. Would you mind helping out? Just a matter of life and death is all. Dead escape from snack tooth. That, that, yeah, they're the lyrics, right? They're exactly the same ones. Anyway, this one is done, so we have now completed the main story for Bug Snacks. Ugh, it's the melon! 
Quick, chuck a knife on it. Meh. There's the achievement then. So Survivor is done. I love how it's a rare achievement. Oh, go away, Peter. You were as still as morning breath. We don't like you. Oh, Elizabeth and Agabelle's come to save the day. As like a weird it the clown kind of looking creature. Still, that's the end of this one. So what's going to happen is we're going to go on a beach. All you got to do is just talk to Philbo to end that. And that basically ends the game. So we should get the survivor achievement here, which we've already got. And then the va vacations end achievement um, coming up shortly. Hey, buddy. All right, everybody. I hate leaving it like this. Yeah. If no, I know. I, it's gonna. I can't go back. I can help you with your story. Great. To admit, you got tracking down Elizabeth inside an erupting volcano? I'd call it fix. <laughs> it's. Point is, you're a regular grumptress, Thompson. <laughs> yeah, too bad. <laughs> I, I I hate. Um, I. Don't worry. Your fa. This story's a page turner and all. But oh, please. It's not like I expected. Also, you're legally dead. My. Well, that wasn't. So. I hear the alert. I could use a helping. Well, that's a pretty cute picture there of Liz and Egg Bell before they turn into Egg Council Creep Cake Legs themselves. But that is the end of the game. It's not quite, not quite the end end of the game. We've still got a few left. Now, this, to me, specifies there's going to be another bug snatch, bug snatch game. But what the hell kind of ending is that? Omne Vivum X Bug Snacks. What the, that is basically Illu Illuminati stuff right there, right? Surely. I think that's pretty much Illuminati all weird cult crap. So, after we've done the main story then, we've got just a couple more missable achievements to do. Then we're going to end up doing the mailbox requests, grab the rest of the bug snacks, and then we're going to finish off with the sort of free DLC that was already included in the Xbox version, but on the PlayStation, it was classed as free DLC. So, what we're going to do is get the In the Arms of the Gramble achievement, and that is for donating full bug snacks to Gramble's Ranch. So, remember, obviously, I said to do it, I, I think I pretty much said to do it within the, within the first hour of the game. So, if you've been donating all your bug snacks into the ranch by now, then um, you pretty much would have got this achievement uh, anyway. Otherwise, what I'm going to highly advise you to do is just he keep heading back to Garden Grove. So, we've obviously been here uh, quite a lot throughout the game. Um, obviously, through all the side quests, I've told you it's the easiest place. The reason it's the easiest place, of course, is the smallest map. And there's only, like, you know, 15 bug snacks, which you can all grab relatively, pretty much very easy. So, for now, obviously, if you do still need this achievement, just go back. I think I needed another five. So grab another five or as many bug snacks as you need. Go and donate them until we get the achievement there called In the Arms. In the Arms of the Gramble. Giving me Bunger Frider. I'm gonna stop singing cause you're going deaf. Sorry about that, I suck balls. Not literally, of course. Just a singing, yo. Shut up, shut up. I 
Spider. And there that one is again then. So in the arms of the Gramble done. Now what we're going to go for is the Feeding Frenzy achievement. So, as I just mentioned with Garden Grove. Now, obviously I've already mentioned it and, and explained how to do it. But I'll just do a quick explanation now. So, for all 11 Bug Snacks, uh, Grumpuses, you need um, to make all their body parts turn into uh, Bug Snack food. As I mentioned earlier, there are 14. So you'll have 14 on each uh, particular single one. Um, when we are doing, when we've done all the main quest and side quests, um, you pretty much, like I said, you get a, I'm pretty much, pretty sure you get around six or seven automatically just from doing the, the, uh, main and side quests. So all you need pretty much is around seven or eight potentially on each, um, Grumpus just to finish it off, which is not too bad. And obviously, like I've mentioned before, you can get... Oh, you can get 9, 10, you can get pretty much up to like 13 or 14 bug snacks in no time at all. Especially when you get a good rhythm going down with it. Um, as long as you're not um, being too silly like me right there. Um, but that is just all we need to do there to get the Feeding Frenzy achievement. So keep coming back to Garden Grove. Catch 8, 9, 10, however many you feel. Go back and um, just go to each Grumpus, make sure that they've got... Or the bug snacks. Now I leave just to make it easier for us for ourselves. I'm gonna leave the final one um, until Gramble, and the reason being because obviously we can't feed him until the middle of the night. We, as long as the if the achievement doesn't unlock, then we know that we've still got Gramble to do after we've done every one, rather than trying to you know look around and stuff. So leave the very final one to Gramble. Go and grab all of these, and that is pretty much how you will get the feeding frenzy achievement. But what I'm actually showing you is basically the easiest, quickest way to grab all of these. But if you've already got enough or whatever, just go ahead and skip to pretty much 520... Around 526, 527 to see just the end product since I've already basically explained what to do there. Friday.
ามlike a campfire. So I apologize that probably took a few minutes. Uh, again, I was just showing you the easiest way to get the Garden Grove ones, but with the feeding frenzy ones, again, you can just, well, you know what to do. We've left Gramble to last, so we definitely know that he is the final one that we need to grab. And obviously, you know, as soon as you do their bodies, then that will be the final one, as you've probably known by now. So, slam, slam, slamity, bam, slam up your man, slam up your nan. No, don't, don't slam your nan. No, wait, that's... Whatever way, if you're slamming your nan, whichever way you want to look at it, it's all wrong. So, don't do it. Anyway... Now we've got the Feeding Frenzy achievement done. Fantastic. Right, so, if you remember, when we were doing, I think it was Chandlow's side quest, we actually managed to grab one of the hats. Now, again, it can come at any point. It's all randomized through the game. So, every time you go into a new area, I would probably highly advise trying to look out for any bug snacks with any hats. Because as soon as you grab one, what we're going to do, obviously... I've grabbed one, hopefully you have as well, if not just keep having a look out because the picture there at Gramble's farm doesn't appear until you've collected at least one hat. So, every time you go to sleep um, and come back and have a look, it's going to be a new picture, i.e. it's going to be in a new location. So, I highly advise, instead of going to Sizzling Sands and Boiling Bay, which were the first two, keep sleeping until we get a picture which either has waterfalls which will be Flavor Falls, or this um, bridge, which we all know is Garden Grove. So again, because they are the two easiest areas, there's not many bug snacks in them, that is where we're going to find the rest of the hats. Um, basically a lot easier. Because you can go to Sizzling Sands, you can go to all these other places, but it'll take you, I think I went to Simmering, the Simmering Springs once, and it just took me ages to find the bloody bug snacks with the hat. So that is what I advise doing. As soon as you get the hat, keep sleeping until you get the picture which shows either the Garden Grove or the Flavor Falls. And then you can just have a little look around until you see the one with the hat. So we've got the Garden Grove one. I'm putting sauce on the floor for no reason at all. For me, as you can see, just on the Shishka bug above... Or just a head, sorry, that is where the next hat is. So, go and do your thing. Lunch pad, snack trap, slamity dam dam, slamity bam, that wham, that mam, that nan, etc, etc. And, oh, I have a message. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but that will be the next snack hat. So, that's the easiest method that I find of doing these hats. It's literally, it just saves you a little bit more time. 
rather than walking around and trying to find one, just go to sleep and either come back to these first two areas. Because when we do that, eventually when we all load up and load in and we're all good as herd in the bird, in the herd, in the nerd. Not in the nude, sorry. Um, but if, when we come back to this area, then have a look at the picture to, uh, in Gramble's Farm just to see if it is either Garden Groves again or Flavor Falls. If it's not, we're just going to go ahead and take a nap and keep doing that. Now, remember, we need to grab 10 hats. So, just like the Feeding Frenzy one there, I cut down the time. In fact, I've cut down the time a lot more than walking around for three minutes. Uh, but I've cut down the time on this one just to... Uh, basically explain how to do it you don't need you don't need to see me trying to grab 10 hats when you know what to do so it's probably worth just pausing the video grabbing the 10 hats and then we'll come back to it but a lot of the time that I actually came back to flavor falls I think the majority like four or five of these were on were the hats on this sando subopede whatever it's bloody called so well we know what to do trip shot him up and this is actually going to be the final one and then we can start cracking on with the mailbox requests joy to the world So with that one finally done then, by now you should only have three achievements left and I will be showing you right now. So the first one is to gotta catch them all, catch a hundred unique species, complete the adventure of Broken Tooth which was the free DLC on the PlayStation, already including the Xbox, and go ahead and do the mailbox requests. Now, the mailbox requests, since we've done all the main quests and all the side quests, um, if I let me just show you, let me just tell you what to do sort of here first. So when you press Y to toggle, you, the, for the achievement, we just have to put one item in every available slot. So, as you can see, that's what we're going to do first then. We're just going to put everything down. Um, as you can see, there's like little lockables, which we unlock by doing more mail quests. Um, but the majority is, as long as there is a blue patch, that is where we can just go ahead and, um, yeah, add an item. So, normally... Upstairs and downstairs. We won't get upstairs the second floor built until we reach 50 mailbox requests So keep that one in mind, but on each floor There's going to be two bits of basic furniture whatever you want two little small items on there plus two photo frames a rug um, And a bed as well Don't know if painting the walls helps um, or if it does count, but obviously it's worth it just to make it look pretty uh, look pretty as well now the another main thing which I missed actually the first time through was the s the hanging thing on the ceiling plus you need to put two things outside so that explains that one then now what we can do like I said as long as you've done all the main quests and side quests which you should have if you followed the guide we will have 27 of the mailbox requests complete which means we only need to complete 23 of the mailbox requests. So we should only have 23 to complete. So what we can do then, just go over to the mail. And like I said, from now 
I'm not sure if these mailbox um, requests are randomized. I don't think they are. So I'm pretty sure you should be able to follow along. If not, let me know in the comments below there. But after every completed one, we're going to go back to the mailbox to start again. And just keep going from there just to pick up a present. And let us begin. You should have this side quest here, and that is for getting two hoops in one. Now, what you need to do is go at the back here, next to Snoopy and Chandler's house, grab the one ball, press the X button when you go underneath it, throw it in again, and that should complete that mail quest. Now, uh, I don't think this is random either, so every time you complete one mail mission, the next mission should be the same for you as it is for me. If it's not, please let me know, uh, you know, just let me know if that's not the case, but hopefully, after you've done the main and side quest, you should be able to follow this guide lovely. So, as you can see, so what I always do, whenever I complete one mail objective, I come back, there will always be one letter, uh, just interact with that, grab the next one, and we can go again. So... Again, hopefully, and again, you should have the fast travel option as well. So, if you've gotten as far as completing the main quest and the side quests, you should have the fast travel ability, which make things make, does make life a lot easier. So, we're going to scan a shy weenie worm. So, we're going to go to Scorched Gorge, head to the left down the river, and there's going to be a left, if you can remember, just down this hole right here. So, nip down here, get the ketchup out, stick it on the shy weenie worm, press in the right trigger, the right stick and then press the right trigger there to take the picture and that will complete that mailbox mission so now what we can do is just head back and again pick up the next mail for the next one and what we're going to do is we're going to find a lost item for Befika. so this time we're going to go to garden grove and again a lot of this will be edited out um just just saves a little bit of time there in the video, right, just getting straight to the point. So, uh, the Befika's lost item. Jump up onto the rocks on the right, go onto the trees. Uh, sorry, the uh, <laughs> talking's a bit fast and everything there, but uh, put the lunch pad down, jump on it, aim yourself and launch yourself over. Boom! And there's Befika's lost bag. So, as soon as we do this, we go back, um, and then obviously every time you do one, you get given an item to uh, in order. You get given an item to be put in your house, and obviously you get the next mail objective as well. So you'll you'll get an item, and then this time we're going to scan a honeybee. With <laughs> so what we're going to do? We're going to head to Sugar Pine Woods because we're going to scan a honeybee. And again, I do apologise if it is a bit quick there um, with the explanation and everything. But hopefully, like I said, with you, where we are at, at the same point of the video, depending if you've done the main and side quest, there's the honeybees, by the way, you should be on the same as me. So that is what I'm hoping. Again, if not, let me know where and I'll see what I can do. So, the honeybees <laughs> have actually gone away. So the, we need to be out uh, sort of midday. So if that's the case, we're just going to go for a little sleep, sleepy sleep till noon. And now what we do, head from here, go to the right. We need to grab a basketball. So jump down here. We're going to where Chandler was. So jump it down. Uh, no, we don't, need to <laughs> we don't need to go back up. There should be a basketball there all the time. So now we can just head back up here. Skablamo! Right, again, sometimes you have to be quick. I've done this in, the, in an order as well that I think is the easiest. These are the easiest ones to do. You might think others are easier, which is fine. Again, let me know if you thought some were easier or some not. But make sure you've thrown one. As soon as the basketball hits one of these honeybees, it will actually stun the honeybee and it will fall down. And that is when you can take the picture. Um, but you just have to time it just ever so slightly. Perfect, right there. So, as you can see, you get 10 seconds to take the picture. Just take the picture, damn it. All right, there we go. So, when that one is done, that's that mail request complete. Now we can go back. And we're going to do the donating the mystery bug snacks to Gramble's Barn. Now, there's a couple, a specific one of these. So, with this one, it looks like it's a flying heart. So, obviously, you have to read the descriptions carefully. Um, if not, if you have a search on Google... There's this big list of um, uh, what what people have done, and if there's specific, you know, specific the specific order category, and there's ones on YouTube as well. But this first one we're going to grab is the lovely Sweetie Fly. But again, hopefully, because it shouldn't be in a random order, 
it should always be the lovely sweetie fly one that will come up first. So, when we get here into Simmering Sands anyway, put your trip shot down. And just put it the other side of the rock. Wait for... I think you should be able to put it down now and he'll just fly into it. But for some reason I decided to not do that, which... Eh, sounds about right for me, doesn't it? Anyway, pop your trip shot down. Pop it back to the opposite side of the rock. The lovely sweetie fly is going to be... He's going to be a little tired, isn't he, babes? He's going to be a little tired. <laughs> so, there we go. Stun him. Grab him. Lovely sweetie fly. Beautiful. So, now we actually have to go back and donate him to Gramble's farm in order to finish the quest. Now, we have to catch five snack pods in under 30 seconds. This is the next one. Again, should be in roughly the same order for you. So, we need to catch five snack pods in 30 seconds. Should be easy enough. We're going to go to Garden Grove for this one then. And now what we need to do is we're going to head to the right and go into Befflicker's Cave. Get your snack grapple out, of course. Grab this one off the wall on the right. Then immediately go out, turn to the right, and hug this right-hand wall. Go down. The next one's on the tree. From here, go straight ahead of us. Pass Bunga 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 into the caves with the Friders. Turn around, and it is just on top of this cave. Go to the right-hand side, climbing up these steps. And then high on the right-hand side, off the cliff's edge, is the fourth one. Keep going straight. When we get here, turn to the left, and the next one will be right there on the cliff edge. So again, that would be the five snack pods in under 30 seconds. If you don't get it, sleep till noon, try again. Right, now we need to find a lost item for Philbo. This would have been one of the next ones that came up. And again, it's very easy. It's in snacks bugs, or whatever the hell we are, the main bit. So go into Elizabeth and Egabelle's room. Climb all the way up, take a little step back so you can get a good run up, run over to the tree, run over to this rock, and then just take a little jump over it. If you're a bit worried, you can use the lunch pad as well, but it's probably easy to just run. This is the uh, lost item for Philbo. So, now we can just go back to the mailbox, grab the next item, and now we need to catch five different bug snacks in under 60 seconds. Now, the, the wording on that is important. You have to catch five different bug snacks so you don't you can't just catch five of the same ones it's got to be all different so back to garden grove it is and what we're going to do we're going to climb we're going to go down don't run off too closely though put the lunch pad in here put the snack trap on it and then put it on this shishka bug grab him first and then grab that one next put your trip shot up put it on this tree on the right hand side and then put it over the post which is sort of you know cutting across ever so slightly. Put out your snack trap and grab this Dr. Sodi as well. So that's the second one. The third one will be the Bunga then. If you miss the Sodi, don't worry. Just try again. Um, now just run up here once you've got those three. What we need to be doing is grabbing the White Strabby, who is going to be just on the right-hand side in this area. So put your snack trap down. Walk away. Wait until he comes out. And then you'll get the notification there to press the right trigger. So skablam that boy. Use the snack wrapper if you want for a quick and easier thing, and then turn straight around, do the same thing, snack trap, and then if you want to get this weenie worm going a bit quicker, just run after him, and he'll go a bit quicker. As soon as he's done that, skablam him, snack grapple out, boy, and that should be the five different bug snacks in under 60 seconds one done. Right, back to Snacksburg, have a look at the next one. Now we just need to complete the interview with Egg Bell. Now I'm not sure if you can do this one before getting the... Uh, before getting this mail mission, or if you interview her before, that means that this one is then complete. Um, but but anyway, um, I obviously didn't do it before, so I get the mail story. I think if you end up interviewing Egabel, you will probably get that as a completed mail mission. So there we go. So from Frosted Peak, go all the way to the left here, and then all you have to do is just interview Egabel, and then we can finally take a little bit of a breather. Fantastic. <laughs> Getting too fat and too old for this talking over video stuff. Still. Now, like I said, remember, as long as you've done all the main quests and side quests, you would have had 27 completed mail quests, mailbox quests done. So you only have to do 23. Remember that one. So luckily, we don't have to do all 50. But 23 is... <laughs> it's a bit of a chore as well, in all honesty. Um, as fun as it is, just going back and forth, catching different crap... It gets a bit tedious after a while. But anyway, enjoy your interview with Egg Bell. And again, as soon as we've done this and the um, side quest or whatever it is is complete, go back to Snacksburg, 
Get the item from Mega Bell, whatever she's given you, and then get the next mail slot. Stay safe out there. And then when we go back then, the next one we can do is get knocked out of bounds by a bug snacks. And that requires us going all the way back to Frosted Peak. And we're going to get a bit of Scoopy Benoopy in our lives. He's going to freeze us, but he's going to knock us the crap out of bounds, which is exactly what we want, of course. So, now, of course, obviously, with all the edits, it's going to obviously take you a lot longer than, you know, a bit longer than 35 minutes to do all the 23 remaining mail missions. Obviously, just to let you know. But when we get here, then, turn to the right, and he basically goes in one big scoopy banoopy loopy So if he's not there, he's going to come down this little piece of mountain hill. So just get him on the edge, wait until he follows you. Bam! I want to break free from this ice mountain. And there we go, that is that request complete. Next, what we can do is now catch 10 bug snacks in under 90 seconds. Now, this time it doesn't have to be different ones. It can just be 10 bug snacks. And guess where we're going for that? Oh, well, we gone go back to Garden Grove now, man. So, head back to the ever-legendary place. Right, so remember, 10 bug snacks in 90 seconds. So, the first one we're going to do... We're going to turn immediately right, we're going to grab the crispy snack pod from Befrica's cave, go out, to the right, hug the wall, jump down, grab the second um, bug snacks. Another snack pod. Use your trip shot, use it on this tree on the left, and then put it on the tree to the right, and that is uh, Bunga Bunga, who's going to eventually get through there, so that'll be number three. Right, next, use your lunch pad, get your, not trip shot, <laughs> no, 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 not trip shot. Use the snack pod, snack trap. Oh, god damn it. I'm rushing now, that's what it is. Use it on the shishka bug, and that'll be your fourth one, just about. Next, use the snack trap again. Oh, in fact, use the snap grapple first to grab the next crispy snack pod. Use the snack trap, and hopefully you can get both at the same time. If you don't manage to get both Fridays at the same time, I managed to do that time, which is good. But if not, just do the exact same method and grab the other Friday as well. Uh, so that would be two, and again, if you didn't have the achievement by now, you will, you can obviously get it right there, the double trapper achievement. Right from here, grab the lunch pad, just go stay over this side of the river, so the shishk about doesn't run away. Put the lunch pad down, snack trap, get him over to the shishk, bam, that's another one. <clears throat> Remember, the, there's a sodi can floating down the river as well, so get your trip shot. Put it over from the right, put it over to the post on the left, get a snack trap as well, and make sure to, you are catching your Dr. Sodi. So we just wait for a few seconds. Come in. Right, grab Bunga. God damn it, that's annoying. And then make sure to activate your snack trap, of course. And then we can grab Mr. Sodi. Now, that should be the 10 bug snacks. Again, if you need more, jump up these steps. There is a snack pod on the right and a cup and a stra white strabby up there as well. Right, next we're going to donate another, uh, the second of the mystery uh, bug snacks, which requires us going to Scorched Gorge. Again, it should be, as I've said earlier in the video, it should be in the same order. So it shouldn't just pop up with random ones. You should be all in the same order. So for this one, head to the left and we're going to head up this ramp. Ramperoni, mother flipponi, and head just head over here to this sort of main area. Go to the right over this little verge, grab a trip shot, your trip shot, put it over to the right, put it on this sort of post windmill thing on the left, eventually. Come in. There it is, okay, there it is. And make sure to grab some ketchup. The, oh, the old bunga boy likes that one. So it's the barbecue bunga which we're going for this time. Well, just make sure to keep getting the ketchup, and eventually he will smash himself up. Barbecue bunga job done. Right, from here then, again, apologies, I got a bit um, edit happy earlier. Um, but every time you catch one of these, you actually have to donate it to Gramble's farm. Uh, the, the mail doesn't actually end until you do that. So, again, apologies. Now, the video was quite a bit quick earlier on. <laughs> My bad. 
But hopefully you were able to catch up and all good. Otherwise, we can just chill on our way back to Snackenberg and Haugen Schnauzen. You know what I mean? Yeah, me neither. Right, there goes Marge Simpson, just ahead of us, with a gummy bear on her head for some reason. And then just head to... Of course, we're not going to get any mailbox, <laughs> any new mail just yet, because we have to actually donate our little boy. Or little girl, whatever it is. But barbecue bungalow is done. Now we can go and grab the next mail one. So we can grab the item... And next, we have to. We, we no, what we're going to do now is scan a crapple, carrying another crapple. <laughs> crapple is a funny name for anything. Also, shishka poop, and also poopy pants. That's a hilarious name for something. But anyway, we're going to Shimmering Sands, or Simmering Springs. Sorry, completely got that one wrong. Anyway, Simmering Springs, basically the third area, I think, of the game where we came to. And what we're going to do then, we're going to head down, we've got to, we've got to do a bit of luring right now. So get your sauce out, make sure you've got enough chocolate. Again, there's plenty of chocolate flowers about here if you need it. And you can see the crapple, which is a crab, and an apple, which is quite, which is why it's called a crapple. Again, you can do it either with the buggy ball, and just guide him along, or you can just keep him, keep him going with the bits of chocolate as well. Probably easier to do it with the buggy ball, but anyway, get the crap apple. Hey! Give me my balls back, boy. Okay, right. So, if he does that, he ends up just hiding, which is fine. Just make sure to... <laughs> try and make sure to, you know, get him nice nice and quick away. But obviously enough that he's still following us. Because I think if we turn around right now... He's not going to be there. But anyway, shoot that other crapple. Oh, there he is, yeah. Shoot that other crapple with chocolate. If he hasn't got chocolate on him, make sure to do that. Bam, he should now be covered in chocolate. So if that other crapple starts walking away, uh, just go and grab him back. Should be fine, though. What might be easier, actually, is just now um, walking away. And then eventually, as soon as that happens, then take a picture with the crapple, carrying another crapple. And that is that request complete. Right, back here, we're going to scan a flaming barbecue bunga. Which... We have to go back to the Scorched Gorge in order to do that. And again, we're doing a little bit of sauce trickery to piss him off and confuse the crap balls out of him. So, how are you? Good? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's great to know. So, here we are. And again, we go again. Scorched Gorge. Absolutely gorgeous. Um... So as we just head to the left up here again, we're going back to the barbecue bunker. By the way, if you want to, every time you go back to the mail place, you can um, put an item down in the house as well if you want. Or you can just wait until later on. Completely up to you. Um, but basically, as soon as we do the 50, that should be all golden nuggets. Right. So we can put the hot sauce on the barbecue bunker, get the ranch dressing or the ketchup. I think it's probably the ketchup that actually uh, makes it easier. But we need the barbecue bunga to come over exactly where we are with the scorpion. Or scorpiano, whatever his bloody name is. But you have to put the hot sauce on the barbecue bunga. That's going to piss off this flaming scorpion. As soon as he's on fire, make sure to take a picture. And that is that request complete. Next, when we go back, we're going to find the lost item now for Wambus. Right, so now we got to go back to Flavor Falls. Because Wambus needs a Crambus. In his bambus. So that's exactly what we're going to do us. Back, back, back to Flavor Falls. Yeah. Right, here we are then, Flavor Falls. So when we go, uh, when we're here, we're going to go basically into the main area, ignore the Sando P, the sub sandwich. Um, and if we go basically straight in front of us, just up this rocky hill right here, all we have to do is get as close as we can um, to the exit. Well, here we can get a fruity snack pod as well, if you so wish. Or a twisty snack pod, sorry. Which is basically a pretzel. It is a pretzel. Uh, so after you grab him, put the lunch pad, but you've got to put it kind of right, right at the edge of where we are right now. Launch yourself up, and that is where Wambus' stuff is. Oh man, it's dirty. God, it stinks. What the hell is that? Anyway, now we can go back, and now we need to scan a sandalpede hanging from a lolive. So once again... We're going to need to fast travel to Flavor Falls. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to go back so uh, to the main area. So get over the centipede. Now the green lolive will always be here, flying above us right here. So we need to get a trip shot going. We need to cover the centipede in cheese. So make sure to get your cheese ready. And then as soon as it starts, as it, there's the green lolive. So we'll just be flying around there. <clears throat> Um, now, it may take one or two attempts. Uh, a little bit of an edit there, sorry. Um, so, as soon as he's all full, put, put everyone with cheese. Put every centipede with cheese, and a lolive should grab one. So, as soon as we do that, quickly as you can, take a picture of that green lolive uh, and the centipede there. Next, we're going for another Donate the Mystery Bug Snacks. This one, it, it loves the cold, but isn't frosty, nor evasive neither. So, we are now going to go back to Frosted Pooks. Uh, Frosted Peaks. And what we're going to be doing is getting a bit of Scoopy Benoopy. Or, I think, yes, I think it is the Cheery. I think it is the Cheery, this one. So, just head to the right. We're going to need to find the Scoopy Benoopy once again. There she blows. Now, again, you can either do the trip shot on fire method where he goes into the... Um, uh, into the trip shot, or you can just rub him up against this campfire, and he's going to start bursting in around 20 seconds. So, that will... It's probably the easiest way to do that, to be honest. Much, much easier. Rather than getting your trip shot, making sure that he tries to go through it. Literally, just get him to follow you onto the campfire. This is called the Campfire Sound Sound. C-A-B-F-I-R-A-S-O-N-G Song. Oh, Scoopy Poop. Right, so he's just pooped himself. Now we need to be following the Cheery. So, just follow him until he goes to whichever particular bush that he prefers. Whether he likes a big massive bush from the 80s, or not so big a bush like now's. It'll always be the 80s bush. Uh, apparently, I got him in the... <laughs> I got him in the wrong bit for some reason. Oh, god damn... This stupid Scooby thing. Anyway. <laughs> almost got lucky with that one. Uh, but he actually went back into the bush again, so it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm just waiting for the Scoopy boy to knob off. Oh, there we go. Cheery run out. There we go. So we've managed to grab Cheery. Whatever way you do it, it's a Cheery that we're after. So now we can go back to Snokesburg. <laughs> Scooby want a Scooby Snokes? <laughs> Scooby Lokes, Snooky Scooby Snokes. That's a very obscure YouTube video. Very, very funny stuff. Um... Not that you probably have a clue what I'm going on about there. Scooby Snooks. Anyway, once we are back to Snacksburg, again, go to Gramble's Ranch, donate the Cheery Boy, and complete that mission. Or complete that mailbox mission, whatever it is. So, now we can go back to the mailbox. Now we just need to stay on fire continuously for over 30 seconds. This one is very easy again. Like I said, I'm only going through the ones that I think are the easiest ones that we can do. As quick as we can. So we are going to a boiling bay this time. It's boiling. It's a bay. That's why they ended up calling it boiling bay. Funnily enough. So as we start. We're just going to go to the first lava pit. Right in front of us. And then we're just going to run up and down it for 30 seconds. That's all we're going to do. So don't worry about burning to death. Apparently that doesn't work in the world of bow snokes. So just keep running up and down this lava pit until the mailbox requirement is complete. And then after the request is complete, go and get your butt straight in that water for a nice cool down. That was some hot stuff. Anyway, what we need to do now, go back and we can know what's called purging a green crapple, i.e. catching a green a crapple. That's just um, hippie yoga talk for uh, catching. Oh, purge one soul out of this green crapple. Whatever. Anyway, all we got to do is catch a green crapple. So we're going back to Boiling Bay. Again, this should be... Uh, at least one of your mailbox requests. You can crack on and do some of the other ones if you want. Like I said earlier, I'm just finding these the easiest ones to do. So, the green crap crap, the green crababble, I've been calling her Crandall, is in the water right at the beginning of Boiling Bay. There it is. And it basically just goes in this one big giant circle. So, 
We can just whack a snack trap down quite close to him. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait for my first customer. He does try to avoid it, but, uh, you know, you can get him down just enough. Absolutely lovely to grab that one. Again, just like the Gramble ones, we have to... We have to actually go back to Snacksburg, put him in Yoga's, Yoga's, Yoda's, Shelda's, whatever it is, box, for in order to complete this one. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello, darling. And when that one is done, we can turn around, go back to our mailbox, get a delicious other present or two. And we're going to go for another donation one now. So, it jumps from tree to tree. Okay. All right, all right. Let's just take a little look then and see. I get startled by a bug snack that jumps from tree to tree, but it's so fast, I don't even know what it is. Even so, I'd love to have one in my barn, please. You lazy di Go do it, your bloody self. But apparently, that's not allowed in the world of... Uh, bug snacks, we've got to do everything for them, even though we're just a journalist. But, you know, if we're a journalist for the sun, we can go and jump off a cliff. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> right, so the, the mystery one that he wants is in Garden Groves here. Now, what I actually do is inadvertently grab uh, a sweetie fly. So it's sort of in the same vicinity, flying around in the same vicinity as the bonopper is, or the cob hopper, sorry. So, uh, to catch the sweetie fly... Uh, what you need to do is put the trip shot on the left side of the rocks in the sort of trees in the middle of this area right here. So we need to put it kind of just to where the little red sort of rockies are right there. Um, put the trip shot down and then put it on the tree trunk or the sort of the, the bottom of the tree right there. Right at the top. The tree on the top of the branch at the bottom. And the sweetie fly is going to smash straight into it. And that's job done. So you grab the sweetie fly there. Bop. And then what you can do then is put uh, the trip shot on the big rock on the right hand on the left of us. And then right in the tree, right at the very top is where he goes. Carrot looking dude. So there it is then. So there's the tree just down the river that the sodies floating down on the bottom left corner there. Put your trip shot on there, put it up to the tree high and in, high into the sky on the right, and eventually this um, lubus looking thing, cob hopper. It's uh, right, it's a cob, it's a sweet corn. Alright, anyway, whatever. Uh, we grab him, now we can go back to old uh, Snacksville, or Snacksburg. I don't know why Snacksville would have been a better name, but anyway, uh, who am I, huh? I'm a no one. <laughs> so sad. Right, anyway, back into Snacksburg territory. We're not too far from doing the end of these now, actually. Thankfully, because honestly, doing it seemed like a bit, it was a bit of a chore. Even though they're very easy, it, <laughs> some of them can be a bit of a chore. Back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, get the cob hopper in there. And anyone else that you've got, of course. And when we've done that, now we can go back to our mail slot. Get a little cheeky present from Glimbo. Flimbo, whatever his name is. Okay, no problem. Now what we have to do is purge a rasby. Now again, that is hippie yoga talk for catch a raspberry. And that's what we're going to do. And we find them once again in Simmering Spring. So, get your big nugget down there. Simmering Springs. Again, another very easy one to catch. As soon as it loads up anyway. Oh, here we go. So, back in Simmering Springs again. But you're sick to the back teeth of this now. Right, head down to the left. This is where we're going to find that um, <laughs> that one, by the way. That um, bug snacks. If you scare him, he hides in a bush forever because he's a proper pansy. So just be aware of that one. But anyway, there's the rasby. So just like the white strabbies um, from the farms from Flavor Falls. Put a snack trap down. Wait until he goes back to his coveted position. Slam him down. And job done. So grab him. Go back to Snacksburg. Put it in Shelter's box. <laughs> and then that's that one complete.
<sighs> Another fine day. And for the next one, we're going to be helping out Wiggle, the worst singer in the world. Um, no, I'm joking. But anyway, she's lost another sack of stuff, so we need to go back to Simmering Springs. Hope you enjoy the beach, because I do. I love going for a long walk romantic on the beaches. Or whatever the hell I just said. Try and put the, whatever I just said into an English sentence, please. Right, so from here, what we can do then is go all the way back to the left... Ah, damn it, almost had him that time. Um, <laughs> all the way back down. And you can just see the bag in the distance. Go past Crabapple, Crandall right here. Onto this little bit of rock formation. We need to put the lunch pad, uh, lunch pad down. Uh, excuse me. If you could stop trying to hit me from the side. I'm trying to jump up right now. There we go. Uh, sadly, we can't jump all the way up. So you're going to need your lunch pad back. Uh, so basically, just jump all the way up to the top. Gr grab wiggle stuff and then make your way back to Snacksburg back to your mailbox And this time we're gonna catch yet another mystery bug snack something that flies around in the desert But isn't sweet meaty or any kind of cheap beef. Okay, right so he's on fire more or less so what we're going to do then, we're going to head to um, the Sizzling Sands. In fact, no, he's not on fire. He's just a black olive. Sorry, got, got my ones mixed up there. It is a black olive that we need to catch, though. So when we arrive here at the Sizzling Sands, uh, there's a couple that are flying about, but we're going to go to one specific section, basically where, sh where we found Shelda earlier on in the story. Um, because there is one there, but what we need... I mean, th these black olives just fly around. But what we need is to go to Shelda's little tent because he's got the perfect angle, pretty much, to put your trip shot down and we wait. So there it is then. So, well, you know what to do. Put the trip trip shot down on this rock. Send it over to uh, Shelda's old tent. And we wait. And we wait. Well, it's almost closing time. Better close up. And we wait. Come on, Nat. Come in. I haven't got a day, black lot of douchebag. Okay, there we go. Catch him. And that is exactly what we're doing. So, you know the drill now. Go back to Snacksburg. Put him in Gramble's Ranch. And get another one complete. Oh. And in fact, this will actually be the last one that we pretty much need to do. So doing all of these, and hopefully you've done the same ones that I've done, you should now have enough in your inventory in order to put everything down on the first floor. Now that we technically have done 50... Um, as soon as you put him in anyway. There you will see Philbo Baggins with Chandlo. And that this is where he starts to build the second floor for your house. So if you're wondering how you do it, just do 50 of these requests. And as you can see, there they both are then. Beautiful. So, Chandlo's put a second floor on our house. <clears throat> so, we don't need to do any more mailbox missions now. We do just have one more thing to do in order to get ourselves a roof. So, what you need to do is go around now your first and second floor, and basically just um, put, you just need to put one item in every slot, that's all. So, wherever, wherever there is a, press Y to go into toggle mode, wherever there is a blue patch, like the one in front of us now, um, which will be, you'll need to put up like two desks, you'll have to put two ornaments on, two picture frames, I think, downstairs, a bed, a rug, um, so yeah, and... Uh, I think it's three ornaments downstairs actually and now you also need to put one thing on the outside which should be rock climbing walls Now as we go upstairs, let us put everything that we can down So again, we just need to place one item in everything that is blue make sure because I <laughs> Pretty much I pretty much messed it almost messed it up But make sure after you put everything down have a look at the ceiling because you need to put something up onto the ceiling as well both upstairs and downstairs so that, that had me, um, <laughs> that did trick me a bit there. But it's the same situation then, just put everything that is blue, um, put something on it. And again, make sure to look at the ceiling, both upstairs and downstairs, and you need to put some hanging stuff on it as well. So, just be aware of that one, of course. Like I said, that did trip me out a little bit, because I was wondering what was going on. Um, so when we've got one thing in place, in every single place... 
So you probably just see there, as I looked in there, you've uh, seen the blue spot on the ceiling. Um, <clears throat> now we need the roof. Now the way to do that is you don't actually have to do it um, through a mailbox mission. Um, again, I'm not sure if the paint counts or not on the interior and exterior. Not sure if it does, but just in case, might as well, isn't it? So, what we actually need to do is... Sorry, one more thing. We need to get two things for outside. So, as you can see, I've got the bell there and the weight bench as well. Bench weight as well. So, um... So, yeah, what we need to do then, we need to basically find the cactus that Wamble was um, banging, or married to, sorry, earlier on in the story. And it comes absolutely randomly. So, what I would do, sleep till noon, have a look. I th I'm not sure if it appears specifically at the farm or if it appears um, somewhere else in Snacksburg. Just to make life easier for yourself, it's probably worth just keep sleeping till noon. For me, it, I got it the second time. Uh, but it's probably worth just sleeping till noon, having a look if the Wamble Cactus and the Triffany Cactus is right next to the farm. If it's not, just keep sleeping till noon. If it is, then that is how we get the roof. Again, you do not get the roof from any of the mailbox missions. So as you can see there, second time lucky for me, the <laughs> Wamble Cactus, or the um, Triffany Cactus, sorry, is uh, there. So make sure to scan that one. And you can scan the Scare Snacks as well. Very, very funny. Anyway, with that one done, now we can go over back to our home. Again, and you can have a look in here as well. What you'll get is the roof. So you will get the roof. And now, so press Y to go into toggle mode. And there was that little bit there which you can put, uh, which you can toggle the roof. It's also um, where you can toggle different roofs. Is also on the left-hand side. So with the roof on, <clears throat> again... Make sure that you've got absolutely everything. Sorry, a bit of an edit, because I'm just showing you exactly where it is. So, the ceiling were the ones that caught me out. I thought it did glitch on me, uh, because there's been some people that have said, um, even though they've put everything down, they had to replace every item once in order for the achievement to unlock. So, if the achievement doesn't unlock, and you put everything down absolutely everywhere, including the ceiling and all these little ornament bits right here, Including a bag, two picture frames, and like I said, um, and obviously the ceiling, etc, etc. As long as you've done all that and the achievement still doesn't unlock, replace everything once and that should be as golden as nuggets. Um, again, this is a bit of an earlier edit skip there, but now we are back to square one. So th that is where you can place the other roof there if you wanted to. Uh, I say the other roof, um, there's two... Two bits that you can look at which tells you which part of the roof you can put on, if that made any sense at all. Um, now, for me, I got a bit confused because I didn't actually put anything on the ceiling at the top, which is why I was getting confused. Um, <coughs> but I will show you right now. In fact, I think I get about halfway through replacing everything. Again, I thought the achievement glitched on me, and as it turns out, it didn't because I was just being a bit mongish once more. So there's me replacing absolutely everything, even though I don't need to. So again, it's it's just a just-in-case thing, though. If it doesn't unlock, replace everything, you should be fine. I think I've said that about 12 million times by now. And now I go, what the hell? Oh my god, look at that. There it is. So as soon as you put your last decoration down, though, the achievement should unlock. And that should be live, laugh, and hut. Achievement and trophy done. So then, with Live Laugh Hut done, now what we can do is go and check how many bugs that we've got. So for me, I had already picked up 80... Yes, 82 bugs. So I only need to grab another 17 bugs. <clears throat> Obviously, the, way, uh, the easiest way we can do this is go to our Bugopedia... Go in, take a look, um, it'll obviously say how many you've seen, how many you've caught. Very, very, pretty much exactly the same as a Pokedex. And so, if we've got any missing, we can just go straight there. So for me, we're going to head to, again, hopefully, you have um, pretty much got the exact same that I've got. 
Either, if you're missing one, hopefully it's only going to be one or two. But again, just check your Bugopedia. Have a look at the timestamps. And obviously you'll be able to see exactly where the bug snack, the one particular bug snack that you're missing, um, be done. So, there is the green lolly for me anyway. And again, this is as easy as smashing a trip shot on it and picking that one up. Job done there. Next up, staying in um, Flavor Falls, we're going to grab the Ruby Peel Bug. So exactly where we just were after we got bummed here by the Sandipede. Uh, don't I? There's only one. There's only one hole a, a sandwich like that is going, and it's down my mouth. So put the snack trap on the one side. It doesn't matter what side you do. Just run around to the opposite side. Goodbye, Mr. Sandipede. Pop the buggy ball in. Guide him in. Now immediately, as quick as you can, run all the way back around. Get your snack trap ready, and as soon as it lights up. You will be able to catch that. Bam! There we go. Pick that up. Now, for me personally, anyway, that is Bug Snacks 84. So hopefully you'll be on the same, if not more, if not only one or two less on the same as me. So next thing we're going to do is be catching the Tropica Bug, which is in the Simmering Springs. Now, this is the pansiest Bug Snacks of all time. And I'm going to tell you why, because... Once it gets frightened of you, it never comes out again. Until, obviously, you sleep and then it comes out. So, technically, that's a lie. So, from Simmons Springs, what we need to do is go to the left, but ever so slightly go to the left. There is the Tropica bug. Now, what I've seen... Personally, what I've seen other people do is use choc put chocolate on the bug, and then the Queeble smashes them over. But it wasn't working for me. So, what I'd done was just put the snack trap up, put some hot sauce down... I put some hot sauce actually on the snack trap, and then that's the easiest way I found that. So, uh, for whatever reason, the Queeble just was not... Well, he was, eventually, but he was doing it the wrong freaking way! Stupid Kiwi. So, just put some hot sauce down, back away, obviously, uh, as to not frighten him too much. That gets the Tropica Bug done. Now then, this is another time-specific one, but staying in Simmering Springs, we're going to be catching the Baja, or Baja, Baja, Tack Roach. So let's sleep until midnight, just to be nice and safe. These do primarily only come out in the night. So then head back around, going to where the, um, sort of in the main, the sort of main entrance slash exit bit. Going to where we found Wiggle earlier on, and there is the Baha Tack Roach. So pretty much where we got the main quest with Wiggle a lot earlier on. And all we're going to do is put out the Snack Trap. And pretty much the Badger Tack Roach. I, I think I got, got kind of lucky with that one there. Um, so I think they like cheese. Yes, so they do like cheese. So <laughs> I got lucky with him running in towards it, but... If you need it, put the snack trap down, put some cheese on it, and um, just catch the tack roach that way. Right, what we're going to do now is stay in once again in Simmering Springs. We're going to go for another sleepy Snoopenhausen, and we're going to grab the Waff Stackerack. So take a sleep until 5am. It's been a hard life doing everyone's friggin' jobs for them. Now, what you have to do is go back to where the Baja Tack Roach was. Ignore uh, Snorpy and Channel there. That is the uh, little bit of DLC we'll be doing in just a minute. So, come, come back here where the, the, the Badger Tack Roach was. Ring the Triangle Bell. And then the Waffen, Stack and Rack and Hack and Tracken. Two of them are going to appear. Now, it should be as easy as just putting a trip shot down. Putting it from one log over to the other. Get them to follow you. Hit them in the trip, uh, the trick shot. Trip shot, whatever. And you should be able to catch it that way. But sometimes it may take... Obviously, they might they might get in the way. I mean, obviously, one did just run into the other one. So if you can get one running into the other one, that'll be fine. If not, trip shot him. Job done.
So heading over to the Boiling Bay, we remember we got the Green Grape Skeeto very early on in the game. Now we're getting the regular Grape Skeeto, who is as purple as a blue ball. And uh, provided we're not too much on fire, which incredibly much we are. Ah, bam! Get on fire, you son of a monkey's butt! Exactly, exactly. So let's go for a sleep. We're going to sleep until 5 p.m. because the Grape Skeeto doesn't come out until 5 p.m. Um, oh, <laughs> somehow it's been stunned long enough for that many hours until we just... <laughs> Man, you dead now. Man, you dead. Anyway, there is the Grape Skeeto flying just uh, to the entrance of the cave. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to put the buggy ball down. We're going to put some chocolate on it. And then what we go... To... Oh, no, oh, stuff's happening. And then what's supposed to happen is the Grape Skeeto... Now, <laughs> the Grape Skeeto... Is supposed to obviously try and get. Um, obviously, it can't lick it off the ball. <laughs> Say that what you want. But so what? What we need to do is get the la sodier out of the water, then cover the soda with chocolate, and then the grape skeeto will grab that and turn into a big fat blue ball himself. So that's the grape skeeto there. So yeah, if you try licking chocolate off a ball, well, it's going to get tangled, isn't it? Right now we are going to grab la sodier. Less sodi ooks. And again, it is just as easy as um, putting a snack trap down and grabbing him that way. So, stay, staying once again in Boiling Bay, we're just going to make it uh, make it a bit noonish so we can see what we're doing a little bit more. We need to grab the Palatos Grande, which is basically like Big Bopsicle earlier. Or have we... No, we haven't even got the Big Bopsicle yet. We basically need to catch him where he is not split in two. So, get him to follow you. Get him over the lava pits. Now, what we're going to do is use a trip shot. So, put a trip shot down on any tree... And we are going to grab him over here. So, he's going to start obviously trying to follow us. There he goes. So, get him over here. Get him in the trip shot. And we have caught him whole. So, there's that one done. Next, we are going to be grabbing the flaming cheese poof. I love flaming cheese poofs. You all love cheese poofs. We didn't love cheese poofs. We beat lame. And the way to do that, of course, the flaming, flaming, flying, flaming cheese poof is in the cave. So, what we have to do then, we need to get Les Sodier to help us out again. Les Sodier. So, get him some chocolate on. He's going to be all fuming and be like, get off. So, we need to obviously use the buggy ball and get some chocolate on there. Now, we can use him. Again, try and be a bit careful because he can easily wash out the chocolate. But, of course, you still need... <laughs> it's a bit weird. You still need him to follow you. So, you need to be close enough, but just far away enough that he doesn't actually splash us. Uh, but if that does happen, just quickly put some more chocolate on your balls. Uh, uh, more chocolate on the ball and get him following you. Then, eventually, what's going to happen is he's going to come down here, see some stuff on fire. For me, he's going to put the noodler on fire first and then eventually put a flaming chi poof on. Uh, but we do get there eventually. <laughs> So, next we're going to be grabbing the two scorpions, the two evolved scorpions. So, next up we go into the Scorch Gorge. And we've got, what are we on now? So, we're on, personally for me, I'm on Bug Snacks 92 and 93 out of 100. So, we're almost there. So, as we enter, remember the Scorched Pepper thing, Scorpion Pepper thing is on the right hand side there. So, put a buggy ball down, put some cheese on it. And then we're going to be doing some guiding with that buggy ball as well. So if you put hot sauce on it, it's just going to blast it away. So you need to put some cheese on it. Because that scorpion loved the cheese, baby. Loves them cheesy balls. Well, you know I'm not one to judge. 
So, <laughs> he is going to, again, just like the last Sodiel, we need to get him close enough that he's following us to the water. That's exactly where we need to go. But far away enough from us that he doesn't um, put us on fire and ruins the whole thing. So, if he keeps going into the bush, just um, sort of guide him around it. Obviously, you can't put the ball, you can't put your cheesy balls into the water because that gets rid of the flavour. So, just keep slamming out the cheese, keep putting it on the floor, and then eventually... He's going to get enough cheese, and he's going to just go into the water, stun him. That's going to grab us that one. Kablam! Right, next we are going to go to Sizzling Sands. So head to the sands of the Sizzle McNizzle Wizzle, Snoop Dizzle, Mushizzle for Rizzle. Oh man, I am so, I am such a white guy. Yes, even pepper is spicy. That's how white I am. And in the summer, I don't go. I don't go a nice tan brown. I go a nice tan Dr. Zoidberg lobster red. That's how wide I am. Anyway, enough about that. We're going to be grabbing the score pepper, which is on the sort of cheese mountain, if you were. And it's pretty much just the same thing. You just need to get the buggy ball, put some cheese on it, lead him over to the water, which is going to be behind us and to the left slightly. Um, an inchorito might get in the way, but hopefully uh, he gets his ass blasted. Literally, of course. There it is, his ass did get blasted as well. <laughs> but anyway, just keep making sure that the scorpion has follow into the water to grab him. And for a very last easy one, what we're going to do is grab the meaty snack pod. That's what they call me. Hello, Mr. Meaty Snack Pod. Now, it's basically, there should now be one on top of this mountain, this mountainous pyramid thing. There will be one right there on the pillar, as you've just seen. So make sure to grab that. That should be number 94. Next, we're going to grab the Rainbow Sweetie Fly, which is in the Sugar Pine Woods. So head right there, right now, for the treat of a lifetime. It's me singing. No, that was just... <laughs> I don't even know what that was. That was stupid, right? So, let us go all the way over. Now, I'm pretty sure he only appears between 4, uh, like 5 a.m. and 4 p.m. So, you'll only see him here in the daytime. So, just go ahead and sleep till noon if you're, if you haven't, um, if you're at the, the sort of wrong time and the Rainbow Sweetie Fly is not here. But here's where we were doing Chandler's main quest earlier. And again, it is as easy as putting a trip shot down on the fence, putting it over, and then using your Snackle Grapple to wapple him in your Bapple. Okay, getting close to the end now. So all we need to do now is grab the big Bopsicle. Uh, of course, just like the uh, Palatos Grande, we need the Bopsicle to stay in one piece in order to grab him. And of course, the big Bopsicle is all the way over the opposite end of the Sugar Pine Woods map. Now, what we have to do is actually lead him to a bit of water where... He gets stunned and he starts walking a bit funny. And then we need to use the trip shot in order to get him whole as one. But the only other thing is, you've got to lead him straight to the water. Because after, I think, after he runs out of breath twice, he ends up just walking back. So make sure after the first one, you've got him into the water. And he just destroyed my trip shot anyway. So... Eventually, he's going to... No, in fact, so as you can see there then, what, <laughs> we can't even catch him there. So actually what happens is, he's knackered so he starts walking out. But you need to get him far enough into the water. Uh, you need to get him far enough into the water so that he actually gets stunned. But I'll show you exactly where I've just put my trip shot. It's literally on the two trees right by the water, by the body of water. So that's why you need to get the bopsicle down. Uh, down, done and dusted before he runs out of breath. So... As soon as he comes back here, all of a sudden he's going to catch his breath back. <laughs> Hell, son of a monkey's uncle, but that's nuts, isn't it? So that's all we're going to do then. So I'll show you where we put the trip shot, get the bopsicle going, get him far enough into the water so that he's stunned, and then just um, get him over into the trip shot. That is how we catch the big bop. <laughs> Bop, 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 bop,
And for the final time then, we're going to be going to the Frosted Peaks. The final few that we need to grab are here. And the first one is called the Egg Roll. So it's like an egg roll, but it's a frozen. So for some reason, up in the highest mountain, the highest mountainous frozen areas, they call an egg roll an egg roll because it's frozen. And that is a fact I just completely made up. So as we begin, go up to where we found uh, Eggabel for the first time and where we fought Daddy Cake Legs for the first time. Um... Mm -hmm. And then what's the, one of the ag rolls is in here. So put a trip shot on your flaming bro. And then just as you can see, get him over onto this big icicle. <laughs> well, I mean, if we can get the trip shot to actually work. That'll come in mega handy. There it is. Over the ag roll. Job done. Except it's not on fire. So we'll just try that one again. Okay. So, uh, you know, like I said, there's been a couple of times through the game where we've been doing stuff th third time lucky. Third time lucky it is. So, smash him out, and then what you need to do, when he gets defrosted, retrieve your chip shot, trip shot immediately. He's going to start heading out for the entrance. He's going to start coming after you. Uh, buddy, what's the matter? You stink! That's what you are. You're a frozen egg roll and you stink. Come on, bruh. There we go. So he's going to start catch, uh, trying to catch us. So go to the entrance of the cave, put a trip shot down, and then just get him running through that. And that should be 97 out of 100. Okay, from here we're going to be grabbing the Stoodler, which is the frozen noodler. So from here, go behind... Also go to the left of you as you exit out of the cave and start heading up the uh, snowy... Mounting hilltop once more. And eventually there's going to be a little bit of a cave that we can sneak our way into. There it is. So you can see a chilly nilly plus you can see a Stoodler. Now I think I'm pretty sure he only comes out um, after 5pm. So if he's not here just go to 5pm and do that one. So what we need to do is put some chocolate onto the Stoodler. Uh, sorry, no, th yeah, so there's the, yeah, 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 sorry, blah, blah, getting a bit ahead of myself. So what we need to do is put some chocolate down, put some chocolate on the Stoodler right there, and obviously our frozen friend's going to smash that up, and kablam, that is the Stoodler. And you can grab the Chili Nilly if you haven't got one yet as well. But that is how you grab the Stoodler anyway. Next, what we're going to do is basically keep heading forward, we're going to go all the way up the mountain top. we are now going to grab the Flutter Jam, which is... Literally jam on toast with wings. And what we're gonna do if we're not on this if we're not on the correct time, we're just gonna sleep then until 5 p.m. And once again, it is as simple as, as you can see, there he is, the flying jam on toast. In fact, they didn't even put no wings on him, they just put a couple of eyes and a bit of jam on him. Uh, we're gonna put so oh in fact it's as easy as putting peanut butter on him, sorry. So put peanut butter on him. And uh, that's it. He gets absolutely knocked out. Now, I kind of got lucky with that one there. I kept spamming the X button. So, if he does keep flying around for whatever particular reason, slam him with some more peanut butter. And that is how you will catch him. You don't even have to use the trip shot. I thought we were going to have to use the trip shot there, but evidently not. So, that is how you catch Flutter Jam. Now, we're going to grab the last one, which is the Melty Snack Pod. So, we're heading all the way back up to the top again. I, I obviously only done that because I fell. Hopefully you won't have fallen either. But we're going all the way back up to the top because the Melty Snack Pod is right on the tent. And as soon as we get this one, we are going to do our celebrations. Celebrate! You did it, you sons of goddamn rare achievement unlocks. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Bug snacks and man. Well, there's going to be a new Pokemon game, but woohoo! 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 We freaking done it, baby! Thank God. So that is all of the bug snacks done. But we have, of course, only one more achievement to do. That is the deep impact for completing the adventure at Broken Tooth. So obviously, you were already would have had Snorpy. Um, you would have already had Snorpy talking to you about, "Oh, come meet me uh, down on the beach." 
So you should have had that one already. So now what we can do then is go to Simmering Springs. We're going to talk to them. And this DLC is roughly about an hour long. So it's not too bad. All we have to do is do four main quests for people. Fight a big dude. And then that's it. We don't have to grab any more of the bug snacks, the, the new bug snacks than we have to or anything like that. So it's literally as easy as following along. And, oh, well, man, we're there. We're there. Any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure. But it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new... Uh, must we? We need to form a, a gathering. Ooh, shelter. You said you want the fu... Oh, I suppose. Anywhere. Get home. I do. I got no business. What's up? Yo. Nice to see ya. You again. Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and un so of course I'm going. You're asking me, despite the pain and that scary. So soon, and we're not. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got. <sighs> Alrighty, I'm. Ooh. Thanks, bro. Indeed. If it isn't, of course. Uh -huh. <gasps> Be I will respect you as so. No, you think. No, you bring ruin to. I'm starting to think this might. You know, six. Four, Which. Uh... We're all going. Actually, Chandler, uh, what? Bro, well, uh, of course I do, but come on, Snorp Dog, it's probably fine. Yes, somebody shut it. You can go if you must, Chandler. But, bro, we do everything to get me. Well, I I'll be on the. Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment, and we stop wasting time. <clears throat> you two are like mirrors. What? <gasps> Far be it for me to give. All right, don't worry. Right. Bro. <laughs> All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to Chandlo. Listen to me, Snorpy. Oh, Grump, the- No, no, I think we're just- Oh, how unfortunate. But maybe we should go back and tell him? The threshold! And if you think I'm spending another minute on that- Yeah, you're always right, Sheldon. Huh. Looks like- 
So when we get onto the actual island, we've got a little bit of things to do first. When we get onto the actual island, it may seem like it's pretty massive to begin with, but it's actually, it's a little midget one. It's, it's kind of a tiny one. So get out your trip shot, of course, using the left bumper and then the right stick to move it to get your trip shot on. Try to actually put it on the fire instead of throwing it on the floor, because that always comes in handy. Uh, <laughs> pop it on the fire. Aim, of course, with the left trigger and then right trigger to fire over to the other side. That's going to whip open a bridge for us. And if that's as easy as it was, then goddamn, Braz, we should go exploring. Well, how about you explore? Nah, let's not go exploring. I, I, man, even just running, even watching these bug snacks run, I'm, uh, I'm tired. I'm a lazy man. Right, um, <laughs> a few, we'll have a few of these puzzles as well throughout this DLC. Uh, basically, we have to use the buggy ball. So again, what we need to do is get the buggy ball out there. Deploy it with the right trigger, of course, and then we can guide it with the right trigger. Uh, these puzzles in this game are easy enough. You literally just have to go, you know, either way, it's all good. Just wait until you can go up the platform, go down the platform, and, well, you've done this sort of stuff before, I'm sure. Still works after all this time? If that's Whoa! Oh goodness! I can even see evidence of one is more concern. If my eyes do not deceive me, new bug snacks. There's an easy. Well, ah, uh, a wonder. Five. Oh, cool. Bros. You seeing what? Excellent. What? Way ahead of you, do oh dear. You better go. Now, there are 11 new bug snacks in this area, and they're all goddamn steroid infused massive. And they look freaking tasty as balls. N not the balls are tasty, of course, but you know what I mean. Like popcorn chicken balls are tasty, but anyway. So, when Chandler gets mashed over to the rocks, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna pick up one of these vases. Um, now, you have 30 seconds until it explodes, but what we need to do, like I said, there are 11 bug snacks, they're all massive. So, you need to grab one of those vases, throw it on the. Um, I was going to say Bunda then, the Bunga, Bunga Bunga, and then of course when he's small we can just whip out a trip shot or any other particular way that we can use to catch these things, we're going to do it. Now there are 11 like I said, but we're not going to be catching all 11, we're just going to be catching, um, we're just playing through the story, so you don't have to catch all 11 or anything like that, we're just playing through the story as quick as we can to get the deep impact achievement, so bro, feed your bro his huge bunga royale man that sounds oh god i could do with a burger king right now that just sounds like an epic burger king doesn't it the bunga royale and all it costs you is about 27 pounds that's that's not bad if you know if you're willing to not have electricity gas and any other food for a month the last tell me channel we found a job a statue eh like a uh, that sounds whoa no, no. Ah, uh, but shoulder. Silence! The mother guide! Okay then. Uh, meanwhile, I am fascinated if I can determine. Alright, bros. I know if this island can make big. That's not what a hypothesis. Oh, hush. Well then. <laughs> Welcome, baby. It's island time! Right, so. The main premise of this story is you just need to do a couple of quests for all four of these bras and then we'll basically do one big whole thing. So what we're going to do is speak to all four characters just to get their quests up and running and then we will get up and running. Speak to a strawberry, white strawberry bro. And then speak to the resident hippie, as it were. Or resident, you know, nice guy. Right, so, first thing that we're going to do then, from here we are going to, 
Um, jump down, we're going to go to the left, we're going to go ahead and grab a, another one of these vases. There will always be these vases here, so nay panic yourself about that. Uh, we're basically going to do a couple for Floofty, for the old lady private area first. So, grab one of these, head up, and press the right trigger there to stick that square in the box. And Floofty's going to be like, hey, hey, that's pretty good, i got straws in my teeth, eh, hey, yeah. And then what we're going to do then is just head all the way back down, grab yet another shrinky malinky vase. I tell you what, you wouldn't want one of those um, <laughs> put in certain places on certain males, would you? Whoops, I accidentally shrunk myself. <gasps> anyway, grab one of these vases. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm on about, by the way, as you should all know by now. Throw it at Floofdus, and, uh, well, he's going to scream very, very manly, as it were. But that's powder cake complete anyway. So that's uh, Floofdus first um, Floofda done. Uh, but now what we're going to do is actually do uh, Triffany's side quest. Um, because we need to get another two specific um, bug snacks. So when we put the buggy ball down here, we're going to have the Cheddorb. Yes, that's supposed to be a piece of cheese, not just a <laughs> not just a genital wart. Um, but he's going to fly through, and we'll go, go ahead and grab him in a minute. So grab your buggy ball back. We're going to get Millie Machi, which is this frozen ice cream worm-looking thing right there. <clears throat> so, of course, we're going to go back, and we're going to head up and up and up. Because we are needing some fire as well. Now, um... Obviously, the best way to do this, through through the campfire, there is another little uh, torch placed there. So, fling it over there. And then, with this one, chuck your trip shot on. Throw it over straight in front of us to another one. Now, a, we'll have to do this quite a few times with a lot of um, different sort of torches. We need to light them up. So, what we can do then is just head down from here. And, basically, we're just going to the place where you just shot it. So, yeah, that's pretty much as easy as it is. But instead of actually doing that first, for whatever particular reason, I go and shrink the Millimachi, Millimaki, whatever the hell it is, the snow worm. So we, well, I mean, you could do it in any order. It's all going to go well. So, uh, obviously you can't catch him because you're going to freeze your absolute nutbags off about it. Which is, you know, it's, I mean... Is that a bad thing? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. If you're frozen in ice, you're not exactly going to wake up like Philip J. Fry from Future Armor in the year 3000. So, grab the trip shot up here, pop it down there, and there we go. So, the mini machi then should still be frozen and should still be midgety. I mean, small. Um, I did try and actually just shoot him from there. Uh, instead, what I'd done was... Now, again, what you're supposed to do, really, is use the trip shot, put it on fire, and put it on a place where the Millie Machi is, and obviously it'll go there. But another thing you can do is just set yourself on fire, run into him, and then catch him that way, which is probably the easiest way of doing things. So, that's the one. That's the first one we've got, Millie Machi. Now we're going to catch the Cheddorb. Now, of course, the Cheddorb is the big genital wart rolling around. Now, what you do... <coughs> excuse me, as I don't have... Covid, of course. <laughs> yeah. Now, what you're supposed to do is shrink Cheddorb down, and then what he does is actually hide in a nearby log. Now, this nearby log here is not a good, suitable place because there is a spider at top. So everything you put down, like a snack trap and stuff, he will just um, he'll just put it up. He'll take it from you, and it's just an old bit of a pain in the old butt snatch. So, grab an vase. And then, as I said, there was a little bit of an edit. Now, what I would do is wait right here just for the Bunga Bunga to go past. And Cheddob's eventually going to show his butt. There he is. He's coming. So, I would definitely stay right here because there is a log right where Barbecue Bunga Bag is. And which he's going to hide into. So, slam dash up the gash. There he goes. So, he's going for a hide. Now, there's no way you can actually get ahead of him and then use the snack trap, because he just avoids you, just like the others. So, wait for what's it legs to bagger off right there, or Cheeto legs. Put the snack trap down, use the buggy ball, put him into the log, get him out, quickly go to your snack trap, activate that, and that is the Cheddar done. So, 
that will be Floofty's second quest done. So just nip up to the old Floof bag. And remember, you need to turn Floofty's hand into Cheddar and Floofty's leg into Millimarchy. Cheddar. <clears throat> Intriguing. Millimo? Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. Ah, unfortunately, in their shrunken state, I am still forming my... It will be simple. Now, I've observed... Regrettably, I must not... <laughs> and now, we need to put a chocolate in Floofty's pig trough. But, um, unfortunately, we've got a couple of things to do. So what we're going to do is crack on with Triffany's uh, side quest. Um, we can't actually find a chocolate, which sounds goddamn delicious. Sounds expensive, but delicious. Um, until we open this door coming up ahead. So where the cheddar was rolling around, straight in front of us there is the door with Triffany. So, uh, get the trip shot, sorry, pop it on the fire, turn it around, and we can... Right, excuse me, Mr. Wart. Get out of the way, man. There we go. So, we've got a couple of fires, which, of course, it's always worth keeping these things going, because, uh, well, you know, <laughs> a lot of doors require torches to be lit for some reason, etc. and more. So, here is another one of those puzzles, but this time there's a little bug in there. Now, if you get caught out by the bug, as I will show you here... He is going to grab you and fling you straight out. So again, a little bit of timing's uh, needed just to nip past the bug, but it's very easy. Just wait until he starts darting off to the right, and then we can go um, to the right and enjoy ourselves. As it were, the proverbial enjoying ourselves. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Now, when you open up this door, the Chocolate Land should appear here. Uh, now, what you're supposed to do is shrink the chocolate down and wait for the ched orb to run him over, basically, in order to catch him. But, since he's not appearing for me, there is another, another way you can get him, and we, I will show you a little bit later on. But for now, we are going to scan all the things in the underground chamber, um, just everything that's sort of basically in our view. Pilo bite looks freaking delicious, by the way. Uh, so everything that's sort of sparkling... There should be one more, I think, to the left, or to the behind us now. And there it is, pile of rocks right over there. So, go ahead, speak to Triff Dog again. Judging by what we've said, gosh, this shit, hmm, but I don't, but uh, it's Pat. Oh, I'll meet you by the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so it's a it's a big piece of celery, apparently. Um, yeah, so we'll be catching a spider, Tikada Masala, which is just a hilarious name for it, and a big giant piece of celery. Okay, that is kids' nightmare fuel right there. Anyway, grab out your snap gra snack grappler, get rid of the rocks. We're going to open up. There is a cloberoni, who is basically a piece of pasta shell. Now basically this just reminds me of the new Pokemon games where they cannot, you know, this is just extra Pokemon that they didn't know, just like, I don't know, let's just, let's just put a bin bag and call it Trebbish. Like, come on, how is that a bloody Pokemon? Anyway, enough about Pokemon names, what we're going to do, we have to do a bit of a race against this mini Mochi right here, so you need to get your trip shot out after speaking to Triffany, get your trip shot out. You have to put it over to the torch on the other side, but wait until the mini mochi is coming more towards you. Now you have to make a break for it and get into the temple doors before the mini mochi gets rid of the fire. So if it gets rid of the fire, the doors close and you just have to go again. 
Wow, thanks very much, Triffany. I do have fancy footwork. That's what they call me. Mr. Fancy. Mr. Footwork. Mr. Smilebows. Anyway, that's for another story. So, this is a giant puzzle, and it does look complicated and confusing, but it's actually not too bad. All we have to do there is start from the bottom left-hand corner, and you can't really get lost. You can't really go wrong. All you're doing is following the platforms up and over to the other side, pretty much. There's really not a lot to go wrong with here. And if you do, then, um, well, I guess I'll send you some money. Don't, don't quote me on that, though. See, man, we get there eventually. <laughs> eventually, eventually. Right, so this is the last bit. This is going to complete past tense part four. And now all we have to do is um, take a break home, take a little nap. That is my, that's my perfect bit of adventure in that one. Ah, just go wait in camp, take a, take a little nap. <laughs> okay, I can adventure. I can adventure that way. So, smash through the dialogue as we've been doing for the entirety so far. And we just need to wait a day for Trifty to finish. So that's what we're going to do, head back to camp. Now, there's always, basically, wherever we go, there's like a big crater right in the middle of the map. So when we go down there, as I'll be able to show you now, so try not to get your butt frozen right there. So we can head straight down. Instead of going down to the left and all the way around, if we turn around, like now, turn around, douchebag! Okay. All right. So I didn't turn around there, but from here, what we can do is turn around and you will see a big crater. Um... I don't know where I'm bloody going, sorry. Right, here we are. So, there's the big crater just to the right of us right there. <laughs> that is where the crater is. So, whenever you're up high up on top of the cliffs or the mountains, you can just jump straight down, go through the big egg crater, and you will always end up... If you go straight from there, you can end up here. If you go to the right, you're going to... Well, you'll see, you'll see. That's why. I, what, that's what I meant by the bit... The, the map seems big. But it's actually not that too bad at all. So, anyway, go take a snooze. Go and enjoy yourself. Ah, 
And when we are awake, it's beautiful. So what we can do now is just head all the way back to Triffany. Of course, remember, we need to go through this big bloody door right here. Uh, come, just coming up past the Ched Orb, up the mountain, and past the Millimachi. You, you should know where to go. It's an easy one to remember this. But head back to Triffany, get past the pilot bite, try not to take a bite out of it. It's... Mm. Man, I'm starved. Not going to no one. Oh, I'm sure. You know, to be honest, look. But at least we gave it. A well, goddamn, she sucked. Uh, right, but we are going to be coming back here a little bit later on. But that is Triffany done. Now we've just got Floofy, Chandlow, and Shelter to go. So, what we are going to be doing first then, is we are going to venture to grab a chocolate. This is where the big egg crater is, which will come in... I mean, this will basically basically be one of Shelda's missions a little bit later on. That's a Takeda Masala just up there. I really want a pie, and I really want a Tikka Masala, as we get run over by the Gen Jenny Ward of Life. Nice. Right, Clawbaroni, again, like I said, most of these we're going to be catching. Not all of them, though. So if you want to, if you want a guide on how to catch all of them, um, there's a couple on YouTube and a couple on, if you uh, Google search it as well, if you want to do that. Um, but again, this is just a primarily, this is just a primary, primarily a playthrough, just to get the dip impact achievement. So, we're going to he go, go ahead and grab the vase right there. So again, went a bit back on myself there, apologies about that, but what we're actually doing is going to be bombing the celery stick. We're going to be catching the celery. Now, the reason we're going straight for the celery is because he has a bunch of chocolates on them, which we need for Floofy's trough. So if the chocolate doesn't appear at the bottom when it's supposed to, um, just, <laughs> just knock you out, boy. Just get rid of this celery and four will appear. Uh, so we might as well grab this celery stick because he is needed for Chandlow's, one of Chandlow's missions a little bit later on. So um, shrink him down, get your trip shot out, a piece of celery, which, I mean, Chandlow, bro, that's a piece of celery is not going to make you big. You might as well just stick to McDonald's every day. Have heart failure, but be massive at the same time. So... There we go. So that's a celery stick. We'll uh, come back to him a little bit later on. Now we just need to grab one of these choco lands. So we will be doing the same thing. Obviously, we need to shrink him down, but he looks goddamn delicious. I feel like Homer Simpson right now. The land of chocolate. Wow, chocolate half price, etc., etc. For those who know, well, you know the Simpsons. So go back down, ignore the deliciousness that is this pear, grab another one of those vases, head back up and stick it straight on Chocolant's noggin. And it goes bam, 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 boo, boo, bow, bow, bow. So he's going to hide just like the Ched Orb a little bit earlier on. He's going to go for a little hide. So we know the drill. Get your snack trap out. Put it either side. Makes no difference. Um, again, make sure that there is no spiders in the trees as well because that gets really annoying. So use the snack trap on the way that they are facing, actually. Sorry. Then use the buggy ball. And again, guide him in. Quickly snick, uh, snap to your snack trap. And then catch him right there. Quickly switch to your snack trap is what I'm meant to say. Not quickly snap to your snack trap. But you got what I mean. So that gives us the chocolate. Now we can head all the way back to camp. And stick it up the floof there. I mean, in floofy's trough. You, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Hmm. <laughs> 
At last, a viable s- This requires my- And luckily it's a nice easy one for us to do now, so take a little nap and then go and sp- Go and speak to the Floofdenator in a little bit. Like right now. <laughs> Blast it all! I do not need- I've obtained dry- Perhaps if I had- You cannot- Afraid? Yes. One senses- Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I've been informed- <gasps> Strike! But sure- I do- One would- Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. No, if that is waft, I'm and among the oil of vitriol, a common but floof did it. Well, this is and your so that is floof bags all done. Now we've just got Chandlo and Schnelder to go. So, as you can see there, it says we've uh, obstacles destroyed the obstacle in the river. If you've been following the guide, you will get that one automatically anyway. So, now what we can do is just follow Shelda and go to the Nature Shrine. A hippie's paradise. With a burger on his head. Mmm. Oh, the front end, but I believe... So, as is always the case, we've got to do quests for these lazy, boneless people. So, jump down. Um, again, if you can, <clears throat> try and actually hit the target, which will always be nice. So, get get your jump on, and you should be able to make that with no problems. There we go. Right, so, what we need to do now is do a bit of quick-fire trip shotting. So, stick your trip shot in the fire, bung it over to the torch on the left, that is going to open up the... It's not a bridge, it's more like a stair gate, just in case you keep falling. So now put it back on the fire, and put it over to the two torches over the other side, that is obviously going to open the door. Man, wouldn't it have just been easier to bring a lighter with you? Or a bunch of matches? Anyway, you were probably done for arson or something. So, what we need to do now, we have to go back into the... To get over to the other side, jump onto the middle sort of platform thing right there. That's not exactly how to do it. But jump onto this middle platform. Now, um, the Clobsteroni doesn't go over to the other side. So, you're going to have to whip out the hot sauce Bombay bad boy pot noodle. And keep slinging it until we get, um, just until we get to around here, right in the middle, so that we can jump on, jump onto the other side. But doing, you made my pee pee go. But noing, noing, noing. The way you move it, I ain't never seen a get a snack grappler out. Get out the rocks. Sorry, I was just uh, seeing some old style M and M right there, and have a chat with the old hippie strawberry nose. The story. I grew up hearing stories about the dead. Not that many did. It wasn't really a come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. <laughs> so again, man, follow the man. Follow the man now as he goes down here into the egg crater. So, what we have to do now is actually find three eggs. Which, the first one is obviously very easy enough. It's just to the right of us. Yes. So the story goes. And so Mother Nature unleash. Looks a lot like... But that story, she's not the... If I can, I need to... You see that egg, Lachey? And the way you crack open the egg like an omelette, use your snack grappler there. And just, um... You can eat, you can push it, but obviously it's a lot easier to just move away a little bit. Grab the grab the egg, job done. So go into this egg cup, chuck the egg in. That's going to smash that one open. That's going to get a chicken tikka masala, or tikada masala, sorry, going. Now we have to go and find the other two. Now the second one is high up in the trees, just to the opposite side. You can probably just see where the spag hider has it, just up, um, basically opposite of where we're standing. So. We need to go all the way back up to, well, you know, where the Minimachi Shrine, where Triffany's place was a bit earlier on. So just head through this cave, through past the Pylobite, and head up. Mm -hmm. 
So what we have to do then, when you grapple him down, we need to move it as quick as we can. So, as you can see, the spider's trying to get that schnitt, so just keep moving back. If he does grab it, that's fine, we can just grab it again. And just keep either trying to... <laughs> Oi! Son of a bitch, give me my goddamn egg back! That's my kid's only food for the month, that is, since electricity and gas bills have gone up, since the uh, Tories in the UK like to bend the British people over, and that's for another story. Anyway, so gra um, grab it back as far as you can. Be careful not to fall, which is why there was an edit. I did have a little fall. Push that down, grab it in the egg cup, and get yourself a nice soft-boiled egg, and hopefully you can stick Boris Johnson's fat, blonde, dumbass head in there. Sorry, sorry, getting ahead of myself again. So I was... I wonder how many people are going to be angry because I don't like the Tories. Right, so that's the second egg anyway. And the third one is behind a puzzle door. So, if we turn around, you can see where Shelter is right there. We're going to go past Big Shelter Dog. And it's basically on this side. We just have to do one of those puzzles with the buggy ball again to find the third and final egg. So, we can just keep going up here. Climb up the old flat-capped mushrooms. There's a Bungo Royale right there. <laughs> wow, he's gone up in price. And, again, I got lucky with that one, to be honest. It wasn't the first time. I actually failed three times. So, um, <laughs> don't worry if you do fail. You've just got to bounce on the club Roni over to the other side. And then just do this small puzzle again. Now, there is one of those bugs, but this time he will not... Um, as I'm going the completely wrong way. He won't throw you out. You actually need to get caught by this bug in order for him to put you up to the top. So don't try and avoid him. He is going to help us this time, this little choco lant. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Ah, cheers, miss, cheers a bunch. Right, now all we have to do is get the egg over. So, snack, grapple him. <laughs> Where there's a whale, there's a way. Oh, ah. Okay, I kind of got lucky with that one, but there is a little ramp there if you need to um, get the egg up, so don't worry. Now all you got to do is obviously just push him straight from here, over to the other side, into the egg crater, get the egg smashed, get yourself a third boiled egg, yum 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 yum. Now there was, as you can probably see, just above, oh well, it, it's in that area, but there is, just in front of us, now it's to the right, whatever, there is a pile of rocks that we can snack grapple off, which we need, we have to do in order to get the tikka dala, tikka da masala a little bit later on, so... Before jumping down there, I would have suggested just grabbing those rocks off. But I will show you anyway. We'll come back to that bit a little, little bit later on. Um, obviously, it just makes it easier to shrink one of these fiery boys down. Anyway, once we are done here, speak to Shelda to end this quest. I know. Ah, uh, bugs next. They're also the old... Ah, I'm going to need... <laughs> So then, from where we just were speaking to Shelda, what we're going to do is basically go back to the same place that we were. We're going to open up that wall and open up the door which has one of those blue shrinky vases in it. So, up onto the old flat cap and hagen mushrooms. There it is, just past the hot sauce flowers or the cheese flowers, whatever they are. Make sure to snack, grapple and pop that one open. Now what we need to do, like I said, is open up the door as well. As you can see, it's locked, and the only way it unlocks is if we set fire to the torch right next to it. So, give yourself a bunga bunga. And now, what we are going to do is actually head... Uh, we need to head straight in front of us, right there. So, wait until the club Steroni is in perfect view. Give yourself a bash over, and ba doink doink. There we go. Whap your trip shopped out. Skablam, and then... Use it on the torch. I don't know if you'll be able to... I don't think you can reach that one. No, we have to put it over to the one on the right first. And then we can go to that one and put it over. Door opens. Let's catch some chicken tikka. Da.
but there is no point grabbing it yet. So what we have to do, we, we have to do this in kind of a weird, sneaky way. We have to get the Tikamada Sala, bloody whatever the bloody hell thing it's called. I'm going to get him over to the mini matchy right here. So whip out your chocolate boy hot sauce, or your regular hot sauce, and eventually he will start coming. He will start coming fire. Oh, I bet that burns. I want to see a doctor about that. Anyway, let's get him up here. And then what we need to do as soon as we can, ignore the old pasta clobsteroni. Now we need to put some hot sauce onto the Minimachi thing. There we go. Get him all nice and soaked in hot sauce. Oh, he's boiling pasta first. Lovely. Right. Straight away, we're going to go to the left. We're going to grab one of those vases. Bam. Obviously, we've got 30 seconds, usually plenty of time. And then what should be happening now is our our friend Tika Matada there, Masala, is going to keep getting frozen. So you just need to keep trying to shrink him. Eventually, he will unfreeze himself. But because the hot sauce is still on the mini machi thing, it, he will try and keep eating it. So he's not exactly just going to fly away. So quick as he can, sling him down, and then we can just grab him straight away. So that is how you catch the Tikada Masala. And from here, we can now just head all the way back to the camp, offer him that chicken tikka for £20. You know, inflation is, um, it's making us all poorer these days, isn't it, inflation? And chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala's costing me 20 quid. I am not happy. Thank you. I may, unfortunately. <gasps> yes, but no. Oh. Ah, shoulder. You, if you're here to temper you, oh, the pack. Oh, you are. <laughs> if I can, I'm not. However, I can show. Ah, but if I know you, I'm here to learn. Ah, step one of step. Thank you for it. Now you better leave. So we've only got the bro left to bro. I mean bro left to go. And that is Chandlo. Now, of course we've already spoken to him earlier. If you haven't got his quest going, make sure to speak to him. And then we can catch one Clobsteroni, which of course is Pastoroni. So obviously you always I always every flower I go past, just make sure to keep your stash topped um your stash topped up. Now we don't need this Clobsteroni as a ramp anymore, even though if you just sleep till the next day, he will appear back again anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. So, grab yourself a vase, slap it on the boy. <laughs> you know what, pasta being that big basically reminds us of how everyone cooks pasta. You always cook way too much and there's about a billion left over. In fact, there'll be a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of starving kids in the world that will enjoy the pasta that everyone makes. Um, but sometimes this works a treat, other times it may not. Oh, there we go, right, so we're good. Right, so as soon as you can wick him up, whack him off, get your snack trap out, catch the clubs to Roni, go back to Chandlow and feed him the old big pasta boy. While all the starving kids in the world cry because you've just fit, you're about to feed a big weird toothy animal thing all the pasta which was left over. You naughty bastard. Clubs? No. Yeah! Oh yeah! But... I didn't... You know what, bro? I guess that means my invest... Relax, huh? I've been so busy... What the grump? Oh! You know... Another... Another nice Rancho Relaxo one coming up now. So, doesn't matter if you win or lose, we're just going to shoot some hoops and some poops with Chandlo. So, uh, you know what to do. Make sure the line is going into the basket. Press the right trigger to throw it. Job done. The first to get the five wins. So, um, sit back, relax. Become Will Smith. You know, before when he was cooler instead of slapping people for making fun of his bald wife. I'm not saying much, I'm bolder than the sun, so, you know. Grump, I missed! Three points, dog! My turn! <laughs> Two points for me! 
You got four points! My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! Whoa! Five points! You won, dog! Thanks for playing with me, bro! Now that we're done ha- You sure about- How about this? You get me two- So, after all that losing- Cause you're a loser! LOSER! Now remember we caught these Selly sticks from earlier on, didn't we? To get the Choco Lamp. So, that should be one out of two done already. So we can just go ahead, feed old Strawberry Head these Selly sticks. Again, that doesn't... A huge piece of celery nose does not make you massive. Sorry, mate. That uh, trend on other... <laughs> another steroids will do that for you. Um, eating big, alive snacks. Basically KFC and everything. By the way, vegans are already having an absolute heart attack and stroke at the thought of this game. Eating live animals? <laughs> How could ye? Anyway, now we need to go and get, finally get this pilo bite. This would make you massive. And the way you have to get this pilo bite is you have to snack grapple all of the little stickers or whatever it is that is on the side of him. The little locks, whatever you want to call them. He's obviously going to sprint away because, <laughs> you know, bro's just chilling, man. He doesn't want to be eaten. Uh, but it's tough titties, man. So he's actually not sure if this is going to happen every time. But for me, he ended up coming up here with the choco lance and celery sticks. And made it just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. And I will tell you why now. So when you get the lid off, we actually have to go and get one of those blue vases. Shrink him down and trip shot him. But again, it's not as easy as that. Because you've got the choco lance, you've got the spider up in the tree and the celery stick. Um, having a little walk around, but I will tell you exactly where to go and how we are going to do it the best place to put it So go and grab the vase anyway, and then shrink the pie down Run forest run well, I never see no shit like walk right like run like that before Run run as fast as you can you can't catch me I'm the pilot bite man. Right, shrink this boy down. Now, go over to the left right here, next to this log. That is where we are going to be using this trip shot. Um, now, if you could be less moronic than I was right there, <laughs> you will get this done a little bit quicker. Uh, but what we have to wait until the celery stick comes around. Obviously, always take a picture again of the pilot bite so you know the exact path that he's taken. But just wait until the celery stick sort of um, pops. There he goes. So, thank you for breaking that, you douchebag. That's why nobody likes celery, see? Anyway, now we can put the tra trip shot from this log just over to the concrete just there. That will get the pilobite gone, dead, and now we can head all the way back to Chand Bro. Feed him the bros, and then we can bro on, bro on. I'm worried. That's... I thought... But it's only got... I've known Snorpy all my life. But, uh... One must... In... That boy. Well, yeah. I make sure he's safe. Chandler. But you cannot... Snorpy is locked. That's... Oh. Yeah, thank me when you ask. Hey, bro. Well, I'm... Right, speak to Triffany and the Floofdonator. They're gonna both speak to Chanlo, and that is basically gonna be the end of that, and we have, we've have we done with this now. So we've got roughly about 10 minutes or so left. We just have to fight the final big boss, which again is very easy, and life will be good. Is the important word here. Look, there are- No, those are real. We got them from- Oh, Chanlo, b b b b b point is, Snorpy might be a- yeah, I guess. No problem.
Oh, I suppose it. Are we here to speak ill of my? No, no, that's not why I asked you. He wasn't like this. Snorpington. What happened? But and Snorpy doesn't really like. Oh, I'm. However, I will gladly take. We were working to. But our dear. And despite my product. Well, yeah, I don't. Am I the world's? If it must. Easy to. Yeah. <sighs> and after that. So. <laughs> still. Don't mistake. All right, Flip. Mm, happy to have enlightened. No, not this time. We're. C Perhaps. But for now. My work beckons. Bro, I've Snorpy never would have come to s all I do now. Sheld is right. I'm gonna stay here. Nice. This might be a fantastic. Thanks for meeting everybody. It's indeed. Oh, uh, not physic. Sorry, I could do not apologize. Huh. And with some yet talk remind grump. Yeah. Uh, the tooth. Re that is. But first, after some exp something about the. Sn there is no using my. I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was Ha! Oh, you missed it, Triftog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain They Shocking, I know. Yes, the path. Oh Unfortunately I believe we may Oh yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a ruin the surprise. Trust Ooh, a more ominous sin. Well Well, there it is. God damn, they talk a lot in this game, don't they? <laughs> in this bit of DLC. That's a lot of talking. Well, it makes me talk less, so I think everyone's happy with that. Right, get your buggy ball, stick it over to the four guys, and now we're just going to turn around and wait for a surprise, would we? <laughs> hey, baby, come back. You didn't show me your surprise. If anyone knows that voice and that future armor reference, I will give you more monies. Ow! What the grub is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Gotcha! <sighs> you may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform Orbacular Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Oh, we finally got a way snack in! Power? Problem solved. Oh, yeah! Send to your... Oh my gosh, he's huge now! That is a big old strawberry. That could feed me for an hour. At least an hour. Right, so this is the room with the final boss in. It's He's got a couple of faces, etc. But he, again, he can't die, so it's not that hard. So we just need to scan everything that's um, sort of lighting up. Sort of with the um, bits floating all around it right there. And then a bit more dialogue is going to happen. And then we can get into the nitty gritty good stuff. That's an understate. Well, hmm. I found this machine thing buried. Indeed, yet large enough to launch. I believe an ex. <laughs> Seems to be a tr uh oh. No, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is ready yourself! Rose. Oh! 
Here he is then, he is the Christmas cheese and cracker board. So, our giant strabby is going to get flown up in the air. It's going to be a couple of cheese balls. So, you need to, there will be two of these um, little sling launcher things right here. You need to get rid of the rock and then what you need to do, as you can see, he's going to throw a piece of cheese at you and then you can um, smash, snackle, grab, grab, snackle the way out of it. Sorry, that sort of happened a lot quicker than I thought there. So, every time he picks up one of these cheese balls, get to where you need to go, which is right here. He's going to throw it at you. Snack grapple that. And that will be the first phase done. So, he's going to be angry now. And instead of just trying to kill you, he's going to kill them instead. So, what you have to do with this one, we need to get one of those vases. Uh, there's, again, two of these big rocky piles. So, get one of those vases. Throw it at one of the... Yep, but when you stop throwing rocks at me, it's very inconveniencing to me. Throw it at one of the old cheese boys. Hey! You come back here and you go small. Act like it's cold. Go small, balls. Not having a good time with this one right now. If you can obviously do it again a lot easier than me, then by all means, you would be a lot better gamer than I am, which you probably are. Right. Uh, yeah! Right, there's one. So when one goes small, he is going to automatically go in the big rocks. And he is going to smash the pile of rocks for us. So again, just wait behind here until we get a cheese ball thrown at us. Give it the whack of life. Bam. Again, if the smorgasbord boss here is throwing rocks, just wait until he finishes throwing rocks. And then um, use the snack grappler. Um, otherwise... Man, his eyes are funny. Are you high, Mr. Smorgasbord, Christmas cheese, cracker board? Right, throw the... Again, <laughs> again, try and do that a little better than me. But obviously we just have to do it for the other side as well. It is an incredible inconvenience right there. J just go friggin' smile! Okay, there we go, we're all good. So, that's the second pile of rocks done. So, just... Oh, man... It's kind of annoying, actually. You're sort of just waiting there, like, right, come on then. I, I know I can't die. Well, let's just crack on. Let's just crack on. Let's just crack on. Right. Nice. Thank you very much. Good, sir. Right. So he eventually grabs one. And it's the same tactic. Wait. Snack. Grapple that stuff. Eventually. And that should be another smash bang. Up, oh, yeah, ma'am. And then, of course, he's going to get angry again. Smash that one. Now, this third phase is a little bit different. Uh, what you have to do is actually just stand in the way here. And then as soon as he throws this cheese ball, get out the way. And what should happen is uh, he will go into the hole. And then you can snack grapple the um, basically like a little switch at top. And that's how you do that. But of course, as you can see, I just got absolutely bummed out the way right there. Mate, you've got one in your butt. You've got a cheese. You've got a cheesy butt right there. Just... Okay, he's going to ignore that one. So as soon as he turns around, as soon as he throws him, move out of the way. Turn behind you. Snack, grapple the switch at the top. Sometimes it'll work well. Other times it won't because he will start throwing rocks. So, if you want to, just um, make sure to have a look. Make sure that he stops throwing the rocks. And then actually uh, do the snack, grappling. Snack, grapple and popping. Because I think... Again here, I think he starts... Oh, no, not this one. I think it might be the next one. Anyway, when we've hit him with that one, we're going to go to the other side and just do the exact same tactic. So as soon as he throws, move out of the way, snack grapple, and bam! And we're almost done. Oh, I'm gonna 
Dude, this Christmas cracker cheese board is not very happy. Right, so we're on to the final phase now, and the final phase is basically just a puzzle. So, are we going to get giant Strabby back down? And now we can start guiding him over. Absolutely lovely. So, guide him over to the puzzle. Should be on the right hand side of the room. As we can get out the way, you big cheese butthead. And the entrance should be the big ramp right there. So, again, it's an easy one. It's very linear. Just, just. Do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams! There we go! Right, let's catch the dude. Turn directly around, grab your grapple out again, throw the um, blue vase at him. He's still going to try and throw rocks at you, but that's fine. Now it's just as easy as sticking down the trip shot, putting it anywhere between there. That'll be fine. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah. Can't go long. Can't go wrong with being longer schlonger. Grab him. That is the Cheddar Bordel Rex. Very, um, very originally named right there. But anyway, that is the end of the DLC, so just do a little bit of chatting now with Chandler and the rest of the gang. Obviously feed him the old uh, Christmas board. And that is the end of that free DLC. Oh. Yeah! I don't know if it... Oh. Phew! That was the biggest snack I've ever seen! <laughs> Speak for yourself. Agreed. But you know, I mean... Well, yeah! We huh. If yeah, I'm thinking much bigger. Wrath of Mother. Amusing as this Chris. Maybe it. Ah, uh, I. Unless. You know, I. All yes. right. Okay, so wonderful. And on the way. Nothing else to do except ride the ramp home. So you can have a look around, but there's actually nothing there. When we go home, you will unlock the achievement Deep Impact, and that is the end of that one. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of DLC. Hope the walkthrough was very helpful. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And I shall see... Well, thank you so again so much for everyone. If you did, if you did like it, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as usual. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. Your, you guys and gals are just absolute legends. Thank you to everyone who interacts with me the daily as well. <laughs> We're finally done. Yeah, boys. Right, I'll see you in the next Game Pass game then, guys and gals. <laughs> Big love.